So if I hold these up and you're watching this on record, then of course what you can do is pause and actually have a little look. So here you've got the cupcake. So you've got two cupcakes there. You can see what she's done is she's added a little bit of icing there, a few little swirls, and of course you can go in and add your paint to whichever area you like. Maybe add a few gems, maybe there's those little sprinkles, and a bit of glitter on there potentially. And I think these would just be lovely if maybe you're doing an afternoon tea. You could be having these out, couldn't you? Maybe out on your patio, almost make bunting out of these as well. You will get the bunting alongside these, I think, within this bundle, um, which again is another nice one for you to be making. So those ones are your cupcakes, the dog. Oh, now I was a bit con concerned about doing a dog because to be honest, I am not very good and I wouldn't do him any justice. But here you go, if I hold this one in place, you can see Lou has sketched in a design again. So you could um, be creating this one. I think she said, oh no, what did she say it was called? It's a cross between a staffy and a beagle. And I can't remember what, or was it a pug? A pug and a beagle? Puggle. Is it a puggle? I think it is a puggle. That sounds about right. Um, so you can see where those lines are in place there. So if you are watching and you want to uh, pause, then of course you can follow that layout there. The hot air balloon, um, the lovely Steph did the one that we've got on the counter with some fabulous felt. Stitched it all together, it looks amazing. Um, on this occasion, you've got your hot air balloon, but you can see Lou has put all those different uh, lines in there ready for you to add your colour. Um, and this one, I was tempted to make a little basket to sit at the bottom of this because you have got your little rectangle, but what you could do, because you've got so much excess um, cardboard on the outside, you could cut multiples of that little piece in the bottom there um, and actually make like a little basket, maybe for a little teddy bear to sit in or something like that. And then I started getting um, crafty with the paw prints because I thought these would make fabulous little, little kind of uh, blackboards. So I just used my gesso on there and I was going to carry on and do the others as time goes on. Many of you who um, follow me on Facebook will know all about the dog pods that we've got under the stairs. So I was thinking that maybe they could be a little bit of decoration for, the, for our little doggies there. But so, there you go. So I'm going to clean up here. And then shall I dismantle the desk and show you how it comes back together? Perfect, we'll do that in a few minutes then. So I'm going to hand back over to Rachel. Now, do you remember that trick that you used to do? You know, people used to do this, didn't they? Do you remember? Come on, you know what I mean, Hayley over there, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, go for it. Hey, ooh. Ooh. It's going to go wrong, so I'm going to stop now. <laughs> anyway. Quit while you're ahead. Yeah, so you could do that past trick with these, but actually the reason I have these is to show you the different paint finishes that you can have. So if I just show you, if I, you know, show you how you can um, finish them, so you can see that although it is um, this kind of material, you might think it's going to give you the same finish every single time. It doesn't. So on there, look, you've got a lovely um, sort of gloss on there, but restrained gloss. But look at that. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, and does it say on the back what they are? Yeah, industrial spray paint. Oh, you wouldn't have thought that would look like that, would you? Um, on this one, we've got a matte spray paint. Oh, now I like that. That's a little bit. I just like that. I like that depth of colour. I like the finish. Yeah, that's nice. Um, now, on this one, we've got metallic paint um, done with a sponge. So let's have a look at this. So you can see the different effects that you are getting. So a little bit of texture coming through there. This one is your metallic uh, poster paint, and that is done with a brush. So that's interesting as well. This one uh, is your acrylic spray paint. So once again, that's, now we're getting shinier. Shiny. Um, this one, it doesn't say what it is, but that's very, that's quite glossy. That, feel, that feels like, um, it's almost like a house paint, that one. Yeah, it's got a nice finish to that one. Uh, this one is a matte emulsion. Yeah, no, it's interesting, I said a house paint. I bet that is. I bet that's just a gloss that you would put onto your skirting board, because this is a matte emulsion. So, once again, you can see, you get that nice matte finish. This one has been stamped. Yeah. So you can see that you can stamp on them. And this one is a Sharpies. So just simply using a pen on there is fabulous. Lovely. And then if I just show you the last one, which is on the floor. Oh, and this is your metallic spray paint. And I like this one as well. I mean, look at that. Now, you, if that was like on a wall or something, you would not know that that was made out of that, would you? You'd have no idea. 
but when you see it like that it looks a lot more expensive in that lovely copper mm, so there you are you see the different mediums you can use to get different effects there so i think that is very clever mm. right very quickly let's go through what you get here so you get the pack here up in the clouds so you get your balloons you get your clouds and you get your rainbow that Haley was just showing you there all for 24 pounds and 99 pence we're talking about three clouds and one hot air balloon there and that was decorated by Rachel then we have got to Yvonne and uh, Yvonne is uh, making the doggies and we get the paw prints and we get the dog and we get the bones. Now you actually get three doggies here and you get three bones and you get the paw prints there. So once again, think about how you would uh, use them on the wall, maybe, or stand them up. Um, then we have got your cat for you. Here is your lovely feline. So you can decorate this cat however you want. If you've got a cat, you might want to impersonate. Well, not impersonate, but you might want to... Uh, interpret your cat in this um, then we have got uh, the next one which is your lovely butterfly this one is quilted so you can wrap fabric around these shapes or you could use the mediums that we've just been talking about there five six five five one two twenty four pounds and ninety nine pence and then we've got the little tea party. So here you've got your teapot and you have got your bunting and you've got your little fairy cake uh, and you've got your teacup as well. And all of that is coming in today for £24.99, 083508. And don't forget your letters. Those letters are fabulous and you can get numbers and you can get all the things like the hashtags and things like that. So do have a look on the website, hochanna.com, and you can find everything there. Four letters there uh, coming in for that price that we just mentioned there so everything is there for you on the website not Haley though she's not available to buy on the website but she is on the telly <laughs> I am indeed and I've dismantled my desk now so it could to be that I've got to the end of the day or the end of the project I've got people coming around potentially and uh, I need to tidy up it's all gone back into the box but the beauty is say if you're doing something like a barbecue outside you need an extra little bit of table space or maybe you are working from home and you need a desk area or homeschooling another way that you can create a desk is with this fabulous desk now just just going back to the beginning, we have got your box, obviously when it arrives it's got everything in there and what you will find is you've got your cardboard pieces that have been created with this fabulous honeycomb element in there. I've lost my little circle that I showed you earlier on, I don't know what I've done with it, but it shows that you've actually got a, a kind of the, the upright element that you've got within here that really does make it um, sturdy. Um, so that's the key thing about this, it's not going to bend and bow, you've got the stability there and you can actually put up to 50 kilograms of weight on these. So you'll have two pieces that look very similar. Those are going to be your support. So just going to pop those to one side just for a few moments. Then the other elements, what I suggest you do is rather than trying to pull them out, just tip the box upside down. So as I say, if you're doing this by yourself, then it's really easy. You don't need a second person to help you at all. Turn it round, drop the box down and literally lift the box off everything. Now, it might make a bit of a noise, so I'll apologise in advance, but you're not going to do any damage to anything. So you're just literally sliding that off. And oh, there you go, stood up this time. Um, the box is to the side because I'm not going to throw that away. Keep that because that is your storage box to keep everything together. And that is the beauty. You don't have to decorate them if you don't want to. Just use them as there it is. Now, you'll have a piece that's got a little foldy bit to the side. And that's actually going to be your extension part of your desk. You can just leave it so as when you've actually got your desk in, sight, in place, that it just flops down at the side. But the support will allow you that extra area. And I certainly do keep that in place so I don't worry about that so that is your desk top and you've also got your desk sides and this is the part that folds in half but when it opens up you can see you've got a couple of folds in there that give you structure to your desk so we're going to start off by putting the uh, top of the desk down on the floor first and this is how I found it easiest to do so I'm going to pop the desk down I'm kind of doing it back to front so as you can see what I'm doing Drop it down on the floor and just let that arm extension just drop to the floor. It needs to go flat. If you have it the other way around, then you've got to kind of lift up the flap. So that's why I leave it that way. And you'll see here we've got the different segments at the back here with the little markings, little holes in there. They literally just pop out. So when you get yours home, just pop them out. You can hang on to them, actually. They're nice little pieces to have a bit of fun with. Maybe trying out techniques, paints, textures, things like that, without actually using your final project. And then you'll have this piece that we've got here. Now, you'll notice at the bottom, we've kind of got tabs. 
and then at the top we've got this curve so this is actually going to be the bit that makes contact with the floor when we've completed the desk but the tabs that we've got at the bottom are going to go into those holes I've just shown you so top tip from me open it out so it's kind of making a square U shape and then where you've got those tabs at the front on both of them just take the tips of those and push them into those holes that you've got there just locate them and then they will drop down in place then the back straighten the back up and what you'll find is they will automatically go into those corners and that back slot that you've got there then we've got your structure pieces so your structure pieces you've got a couple of those one will have two notches on that's going to go on the outside so we're going to pop that one over there for a moment and then this one is your structure for the um, the lid or the, the top of your um, desk should I say and the back support so turn it round so you've got your notch at the bottom and your notch at the back and again if I turn that round is that the right way can we just about see it so the tip of that is going to go into the tip of the hole again just put it in and then just let it rock back and drop in now obviously if you're dismantling this and opening it up you might find that the coating peels away a little bit just pop it back in place um, outside now we've got to put that structure on the side there to support the side arm and again similar sort of idea you've got your two notches so the bottom one just put the little tip in there and again you will find that they locate really nicely and then when it comes to turning it round because I've not actually glued this all I suggest you do is put your hands on the outside squeeze them gently together maybe use your foot as a, almost like a little anchor point you tip your toes pull that together so then the tension of you pulling the sides together brings everything together and flip it back like so and then again if you do find that anything loosens off just squeeze in the sides and pop them back in now if you are looking to paint it what I would suggest you do is if you're going to be dismantling it try and keep your paint away from the notches because obviously it's cardboard if you put moisture on it then what will happen is it will swell slightly and it might make it a little bit tricky for you to push together when you you do come back to use it but then you've got your table there that you can use in different ways so maybe you're into your dressmaking maybe you've got a pattern oops Daisy there go my paints um, but maybe you don't want to get down on your hands and knees and cut your pattern out well you've got a nice area here where you could put your fabric out I've got um I think it's a meter of fabric I've got here so that's going to sit down quite nicely on there I've got my pattern pieces so I can lay my pattern out quite easily I'm not on my hands and knees I'm not putting any um, damage on my knees when I'm getting down on the floor I can literally lay my pattern out and cut it at a really comfortable size this is a dress pattern it's a, a kind of to the knee dress pattern so it's not a, a short garment at all but you can see there you can quite easily lay your pattern out beautifully and equally so if you wanted to use it as a sewing table as you saw at the top of the hour then what I did do is bring in my big sewing machine and use that with the embroidery unit again it will allow you to work with this now of course if you've got anything that's got electric in it then you're going to need some little holes to put the power through so you've got a couple of little desk holes at the front there and then you just drop your power supply down there plug it in at the wall and away you go simple as that I think we go back to Rachel aren't we we are indeed over to you Rachel Thank you, Hayley. Yes, they have got up everything with those holes because I've got a desk that I had put into my uh, little studio and it was made for me and it's like a wood desk, but there's no hole. So I have to literally pull the wire from the computer down the front and put it in an extension cable. Nightmare. So that is a really good idea to put that hole in there. It is a brilliant desk. How are we doing with stock now? Because it's, I mean, it was. 80% of the stock has gone now. Amazing. We did, we did think it was a massive stock, but we did think it was going to be very busy, and it's been even busier than expected. Uh, as they were saying, they've sold 5,000 units, and they only started making these in lockdown. Lots of five-star reviews as well, so absolutely incredible. Uh, if you want to get hold of that wonderful desk, it is 988-500, and that is £34.99. And, and there is a picture of the desk. Of course, you can decorate it to the colour of your room that is the beauty you can design it to match your room also as well the fact that you don't have to glue it so if you do want to just put it away um, whenever you have finished as Haley is doing right now and it's taken about five minutes uh, then that is just a brilliant brilliant idea so 988 500 is your item number grab it while you still can because about 80% of the stock has gone and lots of people are now coming in on the website hochandler.com or picking up the phone and giving us a call but of course other people are buying these things from us today as well um, should we go through the finishes again because I think that was quite useful wasn't it 
with my my blocks and my magic tricks. Let's do it again. Oh, Hayley, that's your fault. Uh, she told me to do it. Okay, let's have a look. Um, right, this one is the metallic paint, and it's splodged, as you can see. So I like that one with the effect. Then we have got this one, which is a matte spray paint, and I, I love... I love that. It's like it's made like that. It's not like it's painted. I mean, it's just so perfectly covered. Uh, then we have got this one, which is the metallic poster paint, and that was put on with a brush. So you can see that's an interesting finish as well. These are all ideas for your desk. Um, and then we've got this one, which is uh, an industrial spray paint. So you can see there, that's giving you a bit of a gloss effect. Then we have got this one, which is the acrylic spray paint. So we're getting slightly glossier now. Uh, then we have this one, which is the copper, and this is a metallic spray paint. Lovely. I'm just looking down because I've got loads on the floor now. <laughs> I shall go get the other ones. Oh, eee, make those noises you do when you get older. Eee, oh, even though you don't need to. Right. Then we have got this, which is a stamp, as you can see. So that's just been stamped on there. Fabulous. And then this is really clever. The Sharpie. Who knew that you could use a Sharpie and get some fantastic effects. And then we've got this one, which is uh, a, mat uh, a matte emulsion, like that. <laughs> then you know, it all fell off then. And then you've got this one. It doesn't say what that is, but you know, I think that is like a house paint myself. I think it's like a gloss. It's like, a, yeah, it looks like it. It feels like it as well. Like, like you know, like your skirting boards would be done in. Uh, but yeah, that's that. Lovely. So, those are your ideas. We're now at 85% of those desks gone. So a lot of people are buying those desks. Um, right, let's have a look at these shapes then, because these are great fun if you want to uh, decorate these and put them on your walls. I think in kids' bedrooms, they would be fantastic. But I think also, you know, if you've got a really bright, lovely kitchen or something, you could just do a little scene with your balloon, couldn't you? So you've got a balloon floating up into the clouds and a rainbow. So here you are going to get three clouds, a hot air balloon there, um, and a rainbow as well, all for £24.99. 729518 is your item number if you would like to get these things home and uh, decorate them. As you've seen, this one is fabric, of course, because you can wrap fabric round. I was saying earlier you could do some decoupaging, so get some paper and glue that onto place, or you could use any of the textures that we have been using there. Lovely. We've also got the doggy, of course. So you get three dogs, which is fantastic, and then you get your bone. And also as well, this is a really great idea, and you get the paws, because if you do use blackboard paint, as you can see there, you can then chalk on it and use it as a blackboard, so you could write notes on there. Um, um, so that's a good idea. As I was saying earlier, though, you could decorate the dog like your dog, Golden Labrador, Labrador. do it in those colours. If you've got a little white dog with a black uh, spot around its eye, do it like that. So you could make it into your dog. Um, so 108421 is your item number, £24.99. Three dogs, three bones and the paws. Then we have got your lovely cat again. What kind of cat do you have? A black cat, white cat, striped cat, ginger cat? So you could do that. Of course, cats like fish. So you get the fish here as well. So three cats, three fishes, and six fabulous paws. Uh, and that is 605815. You could do actually some really great patchwork on here. You could stick on strips of fabric and make a brilliant sort of patchwork face if you wanted to do that. Yes. Uh, then we have got some beautiful butterflies. Now, once again, with butterflies, you could go crazy on these. This one, rather well done by Cheryl, has been um, fabriced. So she has put some fabric around it and stitched onto it. So you could do that. But of course, as we've said, you can paint and you can stamp and you can draw, you can colour. And in this one, you are getting two of the large and six of the small butterflies there. That's 565-512, £24.99. And, and then we have got your time for tea party. This is very, very quintessential British, isn't it? So you've got your uh, bunting. I know it looks like a piece of cheese. It could actually be a piece of cheese. You, you could. You could have cheese with your tea. It could just be arrows. It just could be arrows. Yes. Yes. Turn left here. Yes. <laughs> This way to the whatever. Um, but you've got that. And then you've got a nice little cake. 
I was just looking at Hayley. Hayley, can you show us yours? Because she just, yes, I like, I well, like what Hayley's doing. It's like a little flag here. I, I love a challenge, and whenever I uh, get to guests on a show, I like to use elements in a way that they were intended. Many of you crafters out there will do the same. So what I did here is I took one of the bunting flags, um, and I attached it to some of the waste that was left over, actually, from the bunting panel. Just put two pieces there, because I did find that it needed a bit of stability, and I used the masking tape, as I showed you earlier. So I was thinking that would be fabulous if you can get a copyright-free image of a cross and um, um, cross and no skull and crossbones yes. not cross and skull bones similar sort of thing just the other way around um, and then you could be making little pirate flags but I thought that could be um, the corner flag of a football pitch or maybe um, a golf hole uh, flag thing don't play a lot of golf can you tell can you tell but then it could be a, a birthday or it could be that you're, you're using it in the traditional way that it was intended which is for your bunting but there's loads of scope with these I'm just doing my ironing regular iron it's the only ironing that i do at home which is actually working with my fabrics and it is now limited in stock incidentally so if you've not got yours already then please do so perfect to get your fabrics ready or do your ironing if you need an extra space to do your ironing and of course the beauty of this anybody that's watching don't worry that iron lifts up but then of course you could use it potentially for your quilting because of course you can use its quilting table as well taking your fabrics and it's all down to that fabulous honeycomb element that you've got in there that's where you've got the stability that's where it comes together and you can see there that is the strength and I have to say it's incredibly busy for these lots of you taking advantage of them and uh, Rachel thank you thank you for supporting me in this show oh well thank you for showing us I mean who knew if you said to me can you demonstrate a desk I'd just kind of sit behind it and go here we are but Hayley has shown us so many different ways to use that desk and that's why it's nearly gone so jump onto the website hopechandler.com and get yours before it disappears I'm going to disappear now but don't worry the lovely Derek and Hayley are up next I'll see you in a bit And this is what they have for you. It is the Fabric Freedom Fabric Street. That's a lot of Fs. We've also got the Be Crafty coming up show. And then we've got Crafting Yourself Silly. See you in a bit. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on her channel. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftoscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. I really hope you'll come and join me on Hachanda for my shows with Craftscope. Hachanda News! We're excited to announce that from the 1st of July, our broadcast hours on Freeview will be extended to 10pm each day. We know that many of you have been missing our live shows in the evenings and we look forward to having you with us once again. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. I've been working closely with Crafts 2 on the development of the John Next Door brand and also working with their fantastic range of products. I'll be bringing you some fantastic shows that are combining the John Next Door and Crafts 2 products. We'll be sharing things like the press cut dies, and some of the Find It Media and some of the other fantastic tools, accessories and other products that Crafts 2 bring to everybody at home. I hope you can join me on my crafting journey and learn some tips and techniques from me that I share with you. So don't miss the Crafts 2 shows with me, John Lockwood, on Hachanda.
Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows, we aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is gonna take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy Bee shows on Hachanda. Hello everyone, welcome to you, Fabric Freedom, Fabric Streets, uh, with uh, little Derek and little Hayley uh, with you for the next hour. Hi! So does that make the other one big, Hayley? Well, bigger, taller. Stop that. Taller. You can't yeah, don't see do what that. she's doing. It's very don't do that, honestly. <laughs> oh, the pandemonium in this studio. The wrong combination of people in this studio and anything could happen, let me tell you. Uh, anyway, listen, welcome to uh, what is going to be a spectacular hour. Now, the first few deals that I'm going to show you are happy hour deals, which are brilliant. Now, two things about that. One, that oh, three things about that. One, they're going to go very, very quickly. Um, two, they are ridiculous price tags. I mean, you can see, without even seeing what this deal is, you can see that it's usually $39.99 is $19.99, and it is five half metres of gorgeous, gorgeous, 100% cotton um, fabrics. They are beautiful, and they go so beautifully together as well. Uh, we were talking, we were running through this selection earlier, uh, Hayley. Uh, are you all sort of Sorry, in the mic uh, yeah. Now? Were you rubbing it in the wrong place? Not no, a genie, uh, what you know, had happened no... was it had fallen off and gone down the top. Oh, had it gone for a, gone for a wander? Yes, it had gone for a wander. I okay. fixed it now, so we're all good. Jolly good. So these five fabrics... Fixed. Yep, yes, she's all up fabrics, and running. Yes, paying attention. These five fabrics, <laughs> I love. Do you know what the, this one reminds me of? Are they the ones that you wanted for a shirt? No, that's later, isn't no, it? No, we're, we're doing my okay. shirt later. <laughs> I'm going to have quite a few shirts by the end of this show, <laughs> let me tell you. Um, but this first fabric, it reminds me... I, I, actually, I should turn that sideways, shouldn't it? Because it's kind of the, the wrong way around, is it? Let me show you this way around. Because it reminds me a little bit of um, licorice all sorts. Oh, I'm a licorice fiend, I have to oh, say. Are you? But it's beautiful. My it's like dad little loves licorice all birdies. sorts as well. Nobody else in the family likes them, just him. Do they not? No. Oh, so you and I can fight over the same bowl then? Oh, no, you, you and my dad can. Oh, OK. I can. Perfect. Oh, do you not, are you not, you're not a fan? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's amazing. Anyway, these are like little <laughs> all um, Kylie birds, aren't they? Very similar in style. But they remind me of the Twitter bird as well. You know, if you're on Twitter, oh, yeah, other I social mean. media networks are available. <laughs> um, they're a bit like the Twitter bird as well. So you've got the birdies, you've got... Um, the fabulous rabbits. I love the texture of this fabric as well. Yep. It's almost a little bit. It, it's a cotton fabric, and it's a lovely density. A, um, they are actually a quilting weight cotton, those because yeah, they it's... are all designed from the same collection. Because you'll see all of the colours running through. Let so me, you can let me see, turn kind them... of, they were actually designed as a full set, as a full collection. Let's turn so them. This the colours that you see in one, like the navy blue that will pop in. That's in the daisies that you've got there now. They fab, aren't they? Yeah. Now really, this might really do things well to your together telly. as a set. Oh, oh, oh! I like that though. Oh, is that the new shirt? 
beautiful. It could be a shirt. <laughs> I couldn't wear it on telly, though, because yeah, it would send, turn the cameras too loud. Send everybody's eyes a bit funny, wouldn't it? Oh, and then the clouds. Let's do them the right way up so, uh, so the rain knows where to fall out. I can't be doing with rain at the moment. We've got too much of it, haven't we? We need the sun back again. So on this collection, this is a happy hour collection, which means, just to clarify, this price is good for this hour only, and it is half price. So you're getting one, two, three, four, five half metres of these wonderful coordinating fabrics. Um, let's home in on the bunny, if we can, for a second, because the bunny fabric... Oh, let's see what of a mess I can make here. Um, there you go. Look! So, How beautiful is that? As I said, these are a collection. You can see a lot of those colours repeated all the way through. But you can absolutely break them up and use them as separate things. That's right. <laughs> You're that's right, just, Hayley. That's just Hayley de-collapsing her table in the background, <laughs> if you can hear her. The other Hayley. There's too many Hayleys so, in the room at the moment. I know. It's, it's a bit Hayley, a bit know, Hayley heavy this morning, aren't we? It's like a Hayley we? fest <laughs> today. Um, <laughs> they are brilliant, I have to say, and you're getting five different half metres. And they also and come with a quilt pattern, Haley, as well. The way that, yeah, they do. The way that Fabric Freedom design all of their collections is they start with a feature fabric. So that one that's got the bunnies on, yeah. that's your feature fabric. So ah, okay, that has right. your largest pattern, and it Let also has it, all then. of the elements that you'll see in all of the other fabrics. So on there you can see the rabbit in the plant pot, you can see the daisies, you can see the clouds on there. Everything that you can see on that first pattern, they'll take one element from each and replicate it in all of those other pieces. So that's how it will kind of automatically work. There is no thinking required, there is just cutting and sewing required. <laughs> there you go, and there's the fifth one. I finally freed it. There you go. Uh, listen, liberate those as quickly as you possibly can. Nineteen ninety nine um, is a brilliant, brilliant price tag. I'm sure you can think of many, many projects where you can coordinate all of those together. Uh, so grab them while you can. 454154 is your item number, and it's one, two, three, four, five half metres there uh, for your price tag, which is brilliant. Now, let me just shimmy those along just a little little bit um, to show you these. Now I definitely have a shirt in one of these. Now I'm, I think, actually I quite like quite a lot of colour, so I like, I mean these are, these are quite striking fabrics but there's lots of lots of tiny little floral detail in them. I love them. Now you get, um, do we get both of them here? We get both of them here and so they're 112 by 110 centimetres, which is brilliant. Um, again, quilting weight cotton, poplin fabrics this time, so they're really, really soft to the touch. It means there's that extra little bit of flexibility in them as well. Um, and actually, they're quite generous fabrics, aren't they, poplins? They are, and I think that, and they're brilliant for English paper piecing. Yes. Because they've got such a small pattern on, and they've got quite a lot of extra interest with the stripe and the kind of floral print on the top. And I, I prefer that. to English paper piece in poplin, because I think when you um, kind of move it around your shapes, you get a much crisper edge, a much crisper finish on the edges to, to sew them together. And it's really lovely and soft to the touch as well, yeah. isn't it, poplin fabric? I have quite a few poplin shirts, and they are really, really nice to wear. You know, some, some fabrics that you wear, you think, oh, I noticed that, and, you know, it, it can be either a little too stiff or it can go the other way, it can be too relaxed. Poplin's beautiful because it's got a lovely soft touch, uh, it holds but it its gives shape, you a nice though. shape as yeah, well. Yeah, it, it does hold its shape quite well. So you've got your two pieces there, your two, they're over a metre each, which is brilliant, so 112 by 110, you get both, you get the red and you get the, um, the darker one. Are, are, what are the names called, Meg, again? Oh, red and navy in this one. Um, they are beautiful. Again, lots and lots of um, complimenting. Again, it's another happy hour deal as well. So usually twenty-one ninety-nine, and beyond the end of the hour, it will go back to twenty-one ninety-nine as well. So take advantage of it right now. Ten pounds and ninety-nine pence, and oh, lots of tens. Um, Ten percent of that stock has already sold out and gone. I'm not surprised. I'm sure you have lots and lots of ideas. What would be your your first idea on those? Um, with those, again, I think English paper piecing would be nice, but because you've got that stripe in, if you're very careful with your bias binding, well, not your bias binding, your binding, yeah. you could have them as really straight, beautiful stripes. I mean, that is going to take a little bit of time and a little yes. bit of skill because you're going to have to press it straight along those stripe lines. But having those stripes with 
just something a little that's a little bit different in there to just break the eye up and break it up a little bit do you know what that would be good for as well i think for linings for things like bags you know that so many bags have black linings and you lose things inside not that i would know i'm a bloke uh but for wash bags and things like that do you know what i mean it, i just think it would make make finding things it's a very designer looking fabric as well isn't it, it is it's beautiful love it very very busy already 421797 is your item number right let's do some dotty spotty now Oh, I love this. Absolutely These are kind lovely. Of classic These are ones, so, aren't they? so. Ah, oh, aren't they? They These just are... remind you of nights out, glamorous outfits, <laughs> just really snazzy do's. Do you know what I mean? Or, do you know what I mean? I know it's not happening right now, but. Oh, well, actually, a lot of people are doing it from home. Like, hasn't it been. Is it Ascot, or has that been this week? Yeah. You could do Ladies' Day, but from home, couldn't yeah, you? Why not? A lot of the ladies are dressing up right, from home. I'm bringing the fascinator in next week. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. All those it's things. It's the only place we get to dress up now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, this gives you lots and lots of scope for actually, you know, for, for when things do start rolling again, you start going out to those occasions again. I mean, this would be amazing, wouldn't it? This one's just an amazing stash builder because yes, it you're, is, it's definitely. one of the, well, they're both fabrics that you can use with a lot of different things because they are an absolute classic. What, when does a spot become a dot or vice versa? Oh, is it the size there, of the is dot? Is there a rule? That, um, I don't know, actually. So what are we calling this spotty, spotty dotty? So we're hedging our bets there. Okay. I just didn't know if there was like a thing where it, we're going to have a, a little certain look. size, maybe when, it's, yeah, I don't know, like a like an, a centimetre. Then set, a spot becomes a dot, or vice versa. You set producer Meg a so, challenge there. I just wondered. Um, I like a to wonder things. A metre by 105 centimetres each. I should maybe See, it's not, not just about fabric. Them, this show is it? Should maybe not wonder them on live television and wonder them in my own time. Yeah. Yeah. Some things you should just think. Listen. You and me are as bad as each other. Some <laughs> things you should just think and not say on telly, but there you go. Um, anyway, £10.99. Um, not just a fabric show. This one. Already. Right, 40% of that stock. Why don't you carry on talking nonsense more often, should we? Let them... Is that not just what we do anyway? You know what's happened? Default Every... setting. Everyone's put us on mute and they've got a good CD on. That's what it is. They're not <laughs> listening to a word we're saying. Um, £10.99. percent CD. <laughs> How old are you? Oh, you know, maybe an MP3 thing. <laughs> right, next collection. Could you be quiet, please? I've got to move on to the next collection. Sorry. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry, Meg. Honestly, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying quiet. to move on. But she's, she's keeping me chatting again. Right, OK, so this one is four fabrics all together. Now, these are lovely because these are nice and muted, a little bit more toned down, very, very sophisticated. There's a little there's a little hint of the William Morris-esque, I think, to these, oh, don't the you think? Oh, in you mean? Yeah, they're yeah. beautiful. Really, really nice. And these, again, very, very classic. Great for decor. full collection. So that means that they're all designed to work together. You're going to have no problems. You're not going to need to find anything to go with these. Maybe no. a bit of white. Yes would just help yeah, you just need some a of those. solid don't you yeah, yeah you need one solid maybe and yeah. that would and you could even just go white the oh now i know we had a happy hour on the last hour that would have been perfect for this i'll see if i can sneak it back for our final call oh okay isn't it gorgeous and i know that orange is very distracting next to it but actually it's funny um using orange as a co complete opposite against that kind of works doesn't it uh 14 pounds and 99 pence there they are looking for their nuts Fourteen ninety nine. In fact, let's open that one up, then. I can show you the squirrels the right way around, then, can't I? They are so beautiful. So that's your feature fabric. That's the it's one with your biggest gorgeous. print, with the most detail in, with all of the elements in there that you'll see within your other ones. So you can see, because you're holding it up the top there, yeah. you see the purple leaves, and then you look down to the purple fabric, you can see that they're all within there. Those green leaves and those um, other kind of brownie coloured ones, if you have a look down, there they are. Yeah. All of your elements are echoed through, and they're designed to do that they're designed to work together with no effort from you and all the kind of hard work in terms of picking ones that go together is done i just love it i love the vintage feel of this green fabric by the way i that love that takes my mind back straight away to one of those sort of vintage 1940s tea room like kind of looks it's really lovely and very very sophisticated now listen we're going to go back to our spotty dotties because oh gosh 
Right. Um, we've only just we're approaching started. half the stock of that collection, by the way. The collection of four that we've just done um, sold out and gone. Spotty Dotty, we need to go straight back to because we're already limited on this one. I'm not at all surprised as well. If you want to get a project, I mean, this is fabric that you you don't even need a reason to have, do you? No, because you're going to use it. It's yeah. one of those classics. It's one of those that you're going to use with loads and loads of. Oh, we could make lovely ladybird pin cushions. It's so rich. Ah, oh, right, all allocated right now. Please do make sure. I never nag about checking out baskets, but that now has technically sold out. So if you have that in your basket, please do check it out. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Um, so many people have been waiting for this. Um, let's get these out straight away because this is just absolutely gorgeous. Now, this is your choice of either the cream background or the grey background. Yeah. I tell you what, so, I love it. This is much heavier. Yes, this. it is. This is a really good heavy canvas. So yes. if you're thinking about bag making, if you're thinking about home decor, so you're thinking maybe blinds, covering seats, maybe for the garden in yeah, the summer. Yeah, this is really super strong, it is isn't it? super strong. Oh. And it's actually got quite a, an interesting weave on it because if you actually uh, get a closer look at the weave on the fabric itself, what you'll find is you've got kind of two strands going across and then two strands going up and down. So you actually get a more pronounced, a chunkier looking weave to it, which is it's really, wonderful. really interesting. Do you know what? I, you've just, uh, that's such an amazing idea, um, covering chairs for outdoors. Now that's um, 112 wide, so Let me get, I'll I would get say one right out of the meter, if it's just um, your normal kind of seat pad off a chair where you, you know, you pull it out, cover it with a staple gun, pop it back in, you should get Four oh, sorry, that's, that, there's of the those out of that piece easily. Is that not just one of the most delightful fabrics I love it. you've ever seen? I like oranges, though. And, and isn't it great? I mean, you could just make one of those pop-over um, seat covers, couldn't you, for the outdoor chairs yeah. or whatever, and just brighten up your decking, your patio, or whatever it might or be. Or maybe in the you're chairs looking to just do seat, seat pads. Yeah. Well, Where it's, you it's just get a than... piece of foam and then... Um, you know, make the make the seat pads, make a boxed seat pad. That would yeah. work really, really well with it. Yeah, as well. you could just go over if you've got existing seat pads, and you could literally just use those as use, a template. Yeah, and just use go those over, as a template go over, straight over you? the top. And that would be much better than seeing the green, mouldy, mildewy wood underneath, which is my oh, god. What chairs, I would recommend, you. if you are going to use them outside, is use that on the top and the sides. Yeah. But then get uh, something like a shower curtain and put that on the bottom because the bottom is where it will go against either a plastic seat or a wooden seat or whatever and it, that is where your kind of moisture will congregate. Yes. So if you put put that as a waterproof lining on the bottom, so a, a PVA coat, a, PV, uh, a PVC coated cotton or a shower curtain yep. is brilliant for doing the base of those kind of things and then you'll get a lot less problems. And the strength in that is ridiculous, do you know what I mean? So very, very durable, very, very hard wearing as well. I think um, kitchen blind would be beautiful. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it would actually, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it brighten up a kitchen? Especially you could have if you've got quite a kind of kitchen. muted colours and then just oranges. Yes, yeah, go for it. Pow. Boom. <laughs> as uh, Leone would say. Uh, 9 99 So your choice of the grey or, sorry, the grey <laughs> or the cream. Um, on that one. Now, the grey at the moment is in the lead. I think it's a fab combination, actually. I would actually. go for those the grey as well, because I just think, off. yeah, I think there's just more contrast for those yeah. oranges, so I think it, it just really, really works. And grey is a really easy colour to work with, because it will go with absolutely anything. It's really fantastic. And, th and that's a digital print, is it, on that? Um, it looks yes. like a digital print, because it literally just yeah. leaps out. I mean, you can see every little drop of juice in those in those oranges, can't you? It's gorgeous. Uh, remember, this is uh, just £9.99, so grab it right now. It is a happy hour deal as well, so you have got that saving. Go for both of them. Now, the grey is going limited already. Um, that's how quickly this is moving. I'm not at all surprised. You've got the strength. Right, we've got an update on the squirrel fabric, which is the uh, set of four, which is the one here. Um, and they are now limited stock as well. So I've got a little bit more space now because Spotty Dotty has sold out um, to show you all of those. So your squirrel fabric is your feature fabric, but you're getting all four of the fabrics here as well. All 100% cotton, all designed to work with each other, all that classic sophistication. You can see there's that little Liberty-esque nod. There's that little William Morris um, nod 
there as well. Very, very sophisticated, very classic colour palettes working together there. The greens, the purples, um, and the music. That green is amazing in this fabric. It's, it's my favourite. I love it. You get all four of those. Remember, uh, £14.99. That is now limited stock. That's a happy hour deal as well, isn't it? That one, isn't it? Yeah. So normally, uh, £24.99. Right now, just fourteen ninety nine, but limited stock, so just the next few, um, and you could be missing out. So don't, don't miss out at all. And and this orange, I absolutely love. Right, let's go, let's go on another little journey. Let's go through the rest of our fabrics as well. Don't forget, everything you've seen so far is happy hour, so it's really needs checking out as quickly as you possibly can. Right, let's do some florals now, and again, these are fabulous. Now we have the four options here. Let me walk you through the four options. So we have peach, which is lovely and soft and muted, gorgeous, gorgeous, detailed floral in there. You could decorate that further if you wanted to and embellish that as well if you wanted to. Then you have the lime, and it's a very sort of, I would call that more of a soft pistachio, actually. It's really, really nice. It's sort of, sort of um, you know, these, when you make your own... These um, have a cherry blossom kind of feel yes, to them. They a have bit, a slightly it? oriental it's feel beautiful. to them as well. You know, it's almost like... Um, when you put, um, what is it when you put um, mint and cucumber into yogurt? Is it raita? Raita. Raita, thank you. It's a little bit like that. Do you know what I mean? Just that little soft hint of colour. Beautiful, beautiful floral. It's very, very fine. Lots and lots of different uses for this as well. This is quilting weight as well, Hayley, this one. Um, I well, think it's slightly it... lighter than quilting weight. I think you could quilt with this. I, I can't oh, this touch is a it. I'm not allowed to touch it. Oh, yeah, you can't touch it, can you? Don't can't touch this. Do, do, do. <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> But I think you could quilt with this very, very easily indeed. Right, let's go through the other colours then. We have the, the lilac, which is really, really soft, delicious, beautiful. Just that little wisp of a colour. Yeah, really, they're, really they're, nice. It's they're very almost delicate. like uh, the chalk paint colours, you know, yes. the kind of really classic chalk yes. paint colours. That's what they're like, and they've got that really nice vintagey, heritagey feel to the background colours. But then quite a... It's, all, it's kind of modern and classic at the same time i think it's, so yeah. it's a really nice fabric this one and a good one it's a good catch-all it's a good one to go for any project this one and here is your dark gray so let me just fan out the four colors that we've got here for you just flip this one i'd have the gray i think second. if i was yeah, going to pick I think, one i think yeah actually gray and lilac do go beautifully well together well, in any fact of the gray them, with anything the gray. goes well together yeah yeah any with the it's gray i think true. would be beautiful the lime is beautiful what was the first one again? It, Peach, that's right. And it is very subtle, isn't it? Yeah, they very, are very, very subtle. subtle. And I think that's why I kind of like the grey one, because the grey one has a bit more contrast yes. to it. Yes, it does. It's very, very sophisticated. I'm so sorry, Kirsty. You've displayed these beautifully, and I've managed to mess it up in one foul swoop. Ha! Ah, well, there you go. Some things never change. Um, so it's £9.99. I, I would imagine quite a few people are going to, with that one, they will go grey and. Yeah. So grey and either the peach or the lime or that pink one. I, it's beautiful. I would definitely do that. I think the, the grey is a, is a good one to go with any of them. It's you a stunner. Get those to go with absolutely anything. I it's will say one though, nice you may be builder. messing the counter up, but if it was Rachel, she'd be wearing them all by now. <laughs> so you know what I'd love for this for this grey one. At least it's staying on the counter. That's yeah, that's very very true. Um, for the grey one, I, I, and I've never had one. Uh, you can only ever aspire to one, but I think for a nice for a piano stool. Oh. I don't have a piano. Not so even just a small get the stool. organ. <laughs> but one day. Anyway, 125862 is your item number then for those. Uh, and it's the choice of four there at 9.99. Oh, whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, the grey orange has now sold out and gone. So enjoy your final look at that, Kirsty. Two, two metre throw that. That's good. Give me the discus next. I'll be in the Olympics. Uh, we have still got the cream available, I hope. Uh, that won't last long either, so that's still an option. And here it is. 
So we've lost the grey, but we still have the oranges on cream there. Nine ninety nine. Remember, this is forty four inches wide as well, which is brilliant. One hundred and twelve centimeters. Usually twelve ninety nine. That's on a happy hour deal at just nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Grab it quickly while you can. Oh, right. Okay, we're saying goodbye to another, and it is. It's the squirrel collection, and that's one, two, three, four fabrics all together and all sold out and gone thank you kirsty there's more room for the oranges now they can uh, they can take <laughs> you're just gonna have of one place. piece of fabric sprawled across Look the whole that. thing by the end yeah it could just be one <laughs> long piece of orange by the end of the hour right okay so we leap across to that a little a, bit of that love that was a now. very graceful little leap there I, I, it's a shame we didn't catch it on the camera what's that yeah, oh my graceful, graceful little, little, little leap. leap yeah my little Wayne sleep leap. <laughs> oh, that rhymed. Um, let's take you to some hearts now. This is lovely. I'm thinking straight away because this is lovely. This is, again, this is poplin um, cotton, 100% cotton. Your choice of either the green, the pink, or the white. Now, the white is this one here, isn't it? Yes. So, white, pink. So, it's always it's the background colour. You're looking at the background colour, colour. yes. Your yes. background colour is your kind of reference colour on those. And I'm these... thinking nightwear. Am I being too obvious? Uh, oh, I haven't gone nightwear with it. Oh. Because quite often, I mean, I think at this time of the year, I don't know about you, but I am I'm on top of the duvet with another duvet cover with no duvet on the top because it's really warm at night. So I don't oh, want my no. I don't want my fleecy bunny, you know, pajamas right now. <laughs> oh, I'm right. always freezing. Really? Yeah. Really? I'm full pajamas, duvet right under. Freezing. Oh. Oh, see, I'm hot stuff these days. <laughs> and the half has the windows open and he's on top of the duvet and yeah. freezing cold. And, uh, oh, I can't have that. I'm in. Really? I'm right in. Oh, so you're Need not thinking nightwear for no. these. Well, for those of us who are finding nights slightly a hotter affair at the moment, <laughs> then this might be... Uh, this might be good for nightwear. What, what else would we use it for, Hayley? Um, Backing, I think. Paper cushion. piecing is, is perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah, perfect. Because you've got that nice little ditzy pattern. Again, because you've got the small patterns, things like your binding, your sashing, it's brilliant for those. It's a multi-directional print, so you don't have to worry about getting it the right way up or the wrong way up because those hearts are tumbling in all kinds of directions. So that's a really handy thing to have as well. Um, there's a lot of uses for this one. Again, it's one of those brilliant stash builders, isn't it? Nice and stable as well because it is a because it is a poplin. Yes. Um, I'm just thinking if you are doing something like a hexi quilt or something like that. Yeah. And you're... Because the poplin's got that tighter weave. Yeah. That gives you that really nice stability when you cut it. Yes, it, it you know if you mess about with it a lot, it will fray. But it has generally because there are more uh, fibres crossing over each other, it just holds itself together uh, a lot better. Um, you are loving the green. You are very much loving the green. I'm not surprised. It's a very sophisticated colour palette as well because it's not sort of um, smushy pinks either, is it? I don't no, know what it's, that means. It's like a minty colour, minty pistachio on the background. Yeah. And then you've got... It's quite strong colours that are coming out of it. Yeah. It's got quite a lot of depth to it, hasn't it? So the three colours are the green, the pink, which has the, the, the sort of slightly deeper... Yeah, you're more looking at the background to get the colourway. colours, yeah. yeah. And then you've got the white, which has the, oh, almost cerise, I suppose, is that? Yeah, they're really, really quite bright on that one. So they, they've got quite a lot of punch. They're lovely as a stash builder, aren't they? So it's a metre by 112 wide. Uh, your choice of the three colours there. And the price is just £9.99, pence, which, again, is pretty good value for money. Um, let's move on to our linen blends right now. And this these one are gorgeous. This is my favourite. Right, I'm of just going to bring some of the things on the counter, out. this, I think, is my superstar. And especially, the way the width because you're getting a 150 wide and B the fact it's got linen in so linen's usually a lot more expensive so to get a linen blend for Ooh. for a tenner it's inside out we're we're both inside out here so we're looking oh. slightly more muted than we should do hang on a second so these i would be thinking infinity scarves which infinity scarf oh okay with one of them oh yeah that would be nice actually and wouldn't it because you've got that extra width they are they have got a really nice kind of floaty feel to these ones yeah, and that, they do, again actually. that's that kind of element of of linen in there and um, sarongs trousers anything a lot could of clothing you, make... you could make out of these because they do feel quite soft to the touch and quite soft with the skin oh he, off he goes so that could so this could be an instant <laughs> scarf then yes 
Oh, see, that's quite nice, isn't it? Because that's quite a soft mono. I mean, I'm wearing black and white but anyway. The fabric is quite soft on the skin as oh, well, yeah. so it's uh, it's really, really nice. You're doing it. <laughs> can you can you do a, a a magnum followed by a blue steel, please? <laughs> that's nice, actually. And both of them work really, really nicely, and it does have a lovely, lovely float to it. So um, things like sarongs, maybe you're not uh, kind of a, a girly girl and wanting the really bright pinks and things. Oh, there you go. I'm not tall enough to show you the uh, <laughs> sum total the front. of my uh, sarong. But there, you know, could work. <laughs> David Beckham styly. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, now, the colours on this one, you've got wine or the dark grey as the um, two options here. And you get an awful lot of it as well. So it's a yeah, metre and a half wide. Yeah, you've got extra wide width. You've got the 60 inch, so 150 centimetres, which means you've got a lot more options for um, you know, dressmaking and things. And I do believe that they are being cut as continuous pieces. So if you did want to dress make with them, put two or three in your basket, and it will come as a full piece. It will come off the bolt as one. Well. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. So it's not just for my hips, you've made it 150 wide then. <laughs> I'm glad to hear. Uh, £9.99. pence. That is lovely, actually, isn't it? Um, do you know as well, could you... I'm See, I'm thinking some kind of table decoration, or, or napkins even for the table. Yeah, could you? Is it too lovely. good for that? Well, it is too good for that, but at the <laughs> price that it's on... You get a lot of napkins out of it. one You're single piece. You're getting kind of, you know, luxury fabric for... Kind of quite very good prices to be honest. It is. It is <laughs> so ridiculous. So I would definitely be going for that one. That's How my classy that's is of the that? counter. That's my pick of the counter. That one. Yeah, it is. It's lovely. It is very very nice. And the value is ridiculous. Take advantage while you can. Nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Your choice of the wine um, and the black or the dark grey. Nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Nine eight two nine six one. I'm going to get Hayley doing something in this hour as well, by the way. You can't just sit there next to your sewing machine. She's wandered off now, anyway. Um, right, now we've got some li limited edition linear fabric for you. Zinnia fabric, even. It's not linear, it's zinnia. Hello. Hello. I've, I've come to stand closer, oh, she's, but she's two come metres closer. still she's away, still two so I can see away. properly. She's I'm behind the away. cameras. Anything could happen. I'm, I'm not touching anything. These are gorgeous, aren't they? These I love. If I have a second choice of pick of the counter, this this would be it. Yeah, but how do you choose the colour out of these? You're going to have oh, to go for you, at least one yeah. or two. You're going to have to go you, for at least I two, aren't you? I would put a couple together on this, especially the um, grey and the kind of minty colour together because yes. they've both Shall got the, I separate the darker I'll put print the pink on. in the middle so you can see the real contrast between... I think you either need to go with pink and the grey yeah. or the mint and yes, the grey. Yes, I agree. Oh, it's these two, isn't it? Oh, no, you see, I, I like these the, two. You like those two. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, well, well can everyone's put, can different. Can you put That's the green the one thing. next to the grey one, so the grey one's in the middle, please? Grey one in the middle? Yes. Oh, OK. That's how we just had it, though, wasn't it? Oh, we had it the wrong way, the other way around, didn't we? OK. Sorry, I'm just taking my instructions now. I want, I want the grey one in the middle. <laughs> That's better. Because then I think you can see the pink and the grey work really, really well together. Yes. And I like the grey and the green together because they've got the same dark colour. Oh, I see. That's there. why you had them that way around. Yeah. <laughs> see, for me, my eyes go for, for these two as the as the perfect combo. Oh. But, yeah, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. There's such a lot see, of detail in them, yes, isn't it? there's a Let huge Let me just talk to you detail. about the names just very, very quickly. So the pink one is English Rose. Glacier Grey is the grey. And the mint one is called Morning Mist. In those hearts there as well, is so they all look kind amount. of hand. I, I think what they've done there is they've hand sketched them and then taken them into the software to be able to to print them. And there's just so much going on in all of those little pieces. So remember, if you're looking at any of your smaller projects, again, we've said it before, but paper piecing, brilliant for that because yes. also you've got uh, a kind of multi-directional print, so you don't have to worry too much about a pattern match. You'd get away with a lot. Do you know what else I'm thinking as well is that 
I can see this working with a lot of mixed media projects as well. Yes. So you'd have your fabric project, and that would take up the, the bulk of your fabric. And then for your scraps for your and other bits, you could do some fussy cutting, <laughs> yeah. and you could be, you know, sticking them into your mixed media as backings, as part of your mat and layering for cards as well. You could use a layer of this, couldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you've got that extra wide width as well. So remember, for dressmaking... These are such a good idea because they've got that extra, it doesn't sound a lot, but you've got that extra 10 centimetres. Yes. And that and 10 centimetres can make a big difference. I love that. And it's just 11 99 as well. So again, a nice little saving on that one there for you. Usually 14 99 Eleven ninety nine right now, um, so take advantage of that. Remember, you can do that on the website, and most people do it via the website. But you can call us as well. The phone number is there on the screen: oh one seven double three six zero two thousand. If you've never dealt with us before, if you've never made an order with us before, very very simple, um, nothing complicated. And um, what I would do, if you think. Oh, actually, there's a lot of things that I've seen today. Maybe you're brand new to Hochandra. There's a lot of things that you've seen today. Think about Freedom Membership. Definitely think about freedom membership because six pounds and ninety-seven pounds, uh, six pounds ninety-seven a month, um, you would have your standard delivery included for everything you buy over that month. You can cancel at any time. You've got lots of bonuses. You get special shows and special discounts from being a freedom member as well. So it's well worth thinking about doing that. I'm not saying that for any loaded reason. I don't get a commission every time someone joins up. Um, but it, it does make an awful lot of sense. In fact, here's just a, a little rundown of, of the benefits. So you get unlimited standard delivery, exclusive member discounts, you get your badge and your monthly newsletter as well, as long as, as, many, as many, many other savings throughout the shows. £6.97 uh, per month. You can cancel that at any time you like, but if you do do a lot of shopping, so if you're thinking of getting a nice sort of stash of fabrics together, uh, then think about being a Freedom member. It's well, well worth it. Anyway, right, okay. So let's go up into the stars now for a little look around into the Stella uh, fabric collection. Now, this could make a really, really nice shirt, I think, for me. And I think colour-wise, oh, again, this, this okay. grey in these the mix of a fabric colour like and this. You've got to kind of remember that these are all the same colour palette as the ones next to them. So if you want to mix and match them, you can kind of oh yes um, mix and match. Yes, a we've bit got this well. animal range coming up in in just a moment, um, which is the Dakar fabric range. But yes, colours do work really, really nicely. I was going to go the other way to the ones we've just done, but yeah, you can oh. go that way too. Yes, you're right. <laughs> Did I go the wrong way again? <laughs> yes, you're right. If I just bring those into there, yes, they do actually. Yeah. So that's a really nice option of, of kind of combining them if you want to. So maybe you can't find two of the, the hearts that you, you like to work together, but you can easily dip into the next one along there, the Stella one that you've got, and pick up one from there. It's brilliant. Let me just quickly go through the colour options then for you. You've got Glacier Grey. Grey. Then you've got Grey and Teal with the teal stars in the background there. Green one is called Skylight. And then you've got this one, which is Pearl Blush, which is the pink. Um, again, beautiful. Really, really nice as... Just I classic. Think, yeah. Just classic. And that one, pyjamas, yes, because it's got stars on. Do you know, actually... For um, sleeping. If you're getting your one-day special today as well and thinking about the projects that are in that and the different directions that you can take those, yes. then these fabric ranges will be brilliant for that as well because you can do the same project but in many, many different ways. Um, so, if you like that one, 241323 is the item number there. Four different colours there. Again, 63-inch width as well by 160 um, centimetres, so it's more than a metre. More than a metre and a half, yeah, in fact. Yeah, it is. It's which is um, really, really good. It is a really wide fabric, and that does help you. A, especially if you're dressmaking, because yes. that extra little 10 centimetres, you'll find that you'll be able to get extra bits and pieces out. If maybe you're doing um, uh, smaller projects, then you're just getting more for your money. So much. So much value. Uh, now, I know your eyes are already seeing it, so let's get you straight to it. Um, this is the Dakar... Um, collection which is brilliant I love this and and, and do you know what it's for me this is all about 
the colors the colors are incredible the print on this fabric is is just such fun um in fact let me just turn one i love round. it and you, if you've got the the zebra pens that we've brought on before yeah you could easily color a few Definitely. of those in and have a whale of a time to yourself so four different colors green silver gray ice flow and sulfur oh these are fancy old names know, today who's been naming so these this one is the that's the silver gray then we've got ice flow which is wonderful it is almost like a soft glacial blue isn't it it's wonderful the green again is gorgeous really really nice very very rich it's the kind of green i like to wear so i would definitely actually do you know what when it's folded up smaller i wasn't sure about the shirt but now I see it, you know, more of it in the green, because green is one of my favourite colours to wear. Um, it's wonderful. I definitely have a shirt. Can you run us up a shirt in uh, how long have you got? Uh, Me? 18 <laughs> minutes? Not in 18 minutes, oh. no, because uh, I've got to do some other demonstrations. Oh, call but... yourself a seamstress. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm of the uh, teacher man to fish school. <laughs> um, sulfur. This will be the one that <laughs> absolutely quiet now, flies away. <laughs> yeah. Can you so, Derek? This is the one that will fly <laughs> away. I'm just ignoring now. I'm just ignoring everything she says now. Uh, it's just going to be insults from now until 5 to 11. I know it. You know we've got another hour together later as well. Yeah. Yeah. We can, we can continue the argument. Of course we can. The next hour. Of course we can. No, I just now, wanted to know, could, have, you try, have you sewn? Could you sew? Have I? Yes. Could I? Yeah, probably, yeah, with some, okay. with some tuition. But I can't touch you, can I? So I can't touch your sewing machine. <laughs> No, but if you had your own sewing machine over there... Oh, I'd have, definitely have a go. And, I'm and more like a I'm copying. on the verge of starting. You're nearly there. Oh, would you give me you some Zoom... You can add Zoom, it to your hobbies. Would you give me some Zoom tuition for free? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm liking you a lot more all of a sudden. <laughs> 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 Loved you anyway, but now I love you a little bit more. Um, right, these are fantastic. 160, again, you're getting a massive size here for 11 99 160 by 63 inch width. I love the way that we've done one measurement in centimetres and the other in inches. Okay. I, I, I live in an inches world. Well, that's the square. Is it? 160 centimetres uh, is about 64 inches, so you've basically just got a big square. Oh, okay. No, it's definitely not a big square. It's definitely longer than it is taller. Well, that doesn't make any sense, then. I know. I, who, who said life made sense? Well... So that must be your six, 160, mustn't it? Because that's about my arm span. And your 63... Is that 63 inches? I, I don't know. I need to have it to measure it, you see. Oh, yeah. We need a yardstick, I mean, don't you've, we? No, you've seen my standard measuring of fabric. How many Haley's? Yeah. Just hold it up. Anyway. Um, so, sorry, Meg, what did you want to see? <laughs> Have we got distracted see? again, Derek? Oh, we've got one more item to show you. <laughs> Could you keep it down to a dull roar, please? <laughs> Meg's trying to keep order here. She, oh, she'll and, never and succeed with that. failing miserably. Ever, yeah. Right, we've got one more. Sorry, Kirsty, just because I'm trying to rush now. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's this one. Oh, my gosh, this is lovely. Do you know, this reminds me, I was in Prague a couple of years ago. And it reminds me of, oh, there's a museum of, oh, what's the museum called? I forget now. It's, it's, is it a museum of geometrics or something like that? Oh, it's amazing. Oh. Um, that is incredible. Now, because cool. that's on a base six yes. design, your hexagons yes. will work beautifully with this because you've got almost that kind of star shape in the middle there. But if you look at it, it actually creates hexagons as well. So your English paper yes. piecing with this will be absolutely For the centre of anything then, yeah. couldn't it? Yes, yeah. you're right. So what you do... Or maybe it's something to look uh, at lining an English paper piecing thing with. Yes. So it kind of echoes those hexagonal elements. It's so classy as well, isn't it? It's beautiful, that I'm one. I'm not it's, even going to really try and pretty. say its name. I'm just going to tell you how much it is, or isn't, should I say. £11.99. pence. Again, 160 centimetres wide, so that's more than a metre and a half, as we know, by 63 inches. Could somebody send me in what 63 inches in centimetres is? 
Just so we can have a little uh, well, confirm. 60 is 150. Meg's going to have a look. It's Six, two, two 60 and a half is 150, inches to a so that'll be about 157 and a half. 160. I said that before. Oh, okay, right. So maybe the pieces aren't, aren't cut to the size that you're getting, because <laughs> they're not a square. Anyway, you will get 160 <laughs> by 160, because that's what 63 inches is. Anyway, listen, I'm, I'm going to go and um, get a yardstick, and I'm going to leave you with uh, Leone, who is going to tell you all about uh, this. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Right, time to do the do now. We haven't got long though, Hayley, so uh, what are we going to do? Derek. Yes. Is that you or me or a combination of both? <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to put a really simple block together with the vintage floral fabric just to kind of show you how it would work even with just a really basic plane. So I've got uh, some of the grey here and I've just got about a six and a half inch square. I've gone for quite a big block here um, and I'm just going to put these together in a uh, four patch square first of all and then we're going to cut that down and rearrange it into uh, another block because it's a really nice way it seems balmy to sew it together to then cut it apart to then sew it back together again but uh, it does work really really well so let me just stitch this one together and then we will open these out get it joined into its whole form and then start chopping into it it's just a nice way to kind of have a bit of a play with these blocks and especially if you're doing a, a quilt that maybe isn't following a specific pattern and you are just wanting to have a little bit of a play. It's a nice way to do it and kind of experiment with what you're going to come out with. So those ones are going to go together. I'm just going to, if I've left my iron plugged in, which I have. Is that the best way to get into quilting is to, first of all, make one that is to no pattern with any fabric that you have? I quite like random. Yeah. So I quite like having a, a go at it like that. Uh, where's my white fabric gone? I had a bit of, ah, this big bit of white here I was just using as a um, ironing mat because I didn't want to iron on top of the, uh, the cutting mat there. So let me just pop that underneath just to give it a quick press. Um, I quite like working with no pattern and just seeing where the kind of fabric and the inspiration takes you because I think that sometimes you can get some kind of happy accidents, let's call them. <laughs> I, I think that, I think actually, that, and for a first project, if you've got pieces of, pieces of clothing and there's enough of them, you could just oh, sort to of... make like a memory piece. Yes, and I think that's a really nice thing. I think if the inspiration to do the first is something so special, then you'll move on and, and do other things. Well, also, I think if you're not working to a specific pattern, you can't be kind of disappointed if it doesn't go yes. as it should. But whereas if, if you're just kind of... It's about, it's about having a play, I think, to get you started. Mm. So I'm going to take those and I'm going to put them together. Um, the thing with patchworking is, if you get your joints correct, then the rest will all fall in. So I'm going to just pop a pin through those stitches to make sure that I've got that exactly... Is that, is that what they up. mean when they talk about nesting seams? Is that what you're yes. doing there? Yes. So uh, that's the important bit. I mean, uh, my cutting can be way off. Yeah. But as long as those joins are spot on, then it will always look more professional. So I'm just going to pop another one Because you can always take away if it's too big, can't you? Exactly. You just can't add, exactly. Can you? So, I mean, I, I don't like rotary cutters. Like because cutting I've my own hair. <laughs> you can take it away, but you can't put it back. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was, I've cut my other halves here. It looks, it was a bit short initially. I went a bit, I was a bit gung-ho with the clippers, but uh, it's grown in a bit now, it's fine. <laughs> well, you have to do what you have to do, don't you? I quite enjoyed it. It was, it was quite good fun. I'm sure, he, I'm sure he didn't. It was quite good fun. Okay, so... Did he, did he have any, any mirrors around while you did it? No. Because I think that's the secret, isn't He's it? He's very trusting. He's Gosh, very he must trusting. Be. <laughs> I mean, of, of all the people <laughs> I would have cutting my hair, Hayley, that list... I'm would not, I not be quite on it? sure how high you'd come on that list <laughs> for me. <laughs> With the greatest of respect, and I oh, love you dearly. But... Actually, in the end, it wasn't... It did take about a week to kind of grow back in. It was... The, the haircut was kind of straight and everything. It was just uh, a bit shorter than we'd intended. And he hasn't been seen in public since? No, he has. He's been, he's been at work every day. <laughs> and about two weeks after I'd grown back in for a couple a of weeks, everybody cap. was like, oh, your hair's looking quite good. <laughs> 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 so let me just press this out. This is the lady with a four-day-old duck running around their house. Oh, he's amazing. <laughs> I mean, it is gorgeous. You do realise after say, this, it's... I'm going to go immediately and FaceTime him. Yeah, you, <laughs> you, you have to. You have to see it. In fact, well, you'll see the picture in the next. I'm going to try next... and get a video sent in. Yeah, so what we'll see. do is we'll we'll get it set up for the one day special hour at twelve. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, here's the picture. This is now. This yeah, is. Yeah, this is Frank. Frank. Now, the reason Frank is called Frank is because we don't know if it's a girl or a boy. Right. So, so it was it easier. Be, it could be Frank, Francis, Francesca. Yeah. Exactly. Could be anything. Could be anything. But so, he's very, very beautiful running around. Yes, he is very We'll beautiful. hopefully see a it's video a later day. of um, Frank having their now, breakfast. Now, I sensibly brought my ruler today, which always helps, doesn't oh, it? <laughs> so this is going to get you so, right. Um, usually, the ones we've done in the past, we've cut them. Uh, we've done it as a nine square and then cut it in quarters that way. This one we're going to cut the other way. We're going to cut diagonally yeah. and then kind of move those around and create okay. some, some different blocks. So, ideally, would have a longer ruler, but what you're trying to do is match up for that centre point. Because I don't like, um, as I said, rotary cutters. I've cut myself on them way too many times. So, I'm going to go with the scissors instead. Oh, so. just to let you know on this fabric that we're looking at right oh, now, the this vintage floral. <laughs> yeah, yeah, always the one you've got, isn't it? Um, dark grey is approaching limited. Just so that you know, there are four different, I think it's four different colourways, peach, lime, lilac and dark grey, which you can see. The text has just gone a different colour, which means it's now limited stock. And it, it was actually, through our initial rundown, it was kind of our favourite. It kind of goes with everything, I think, doesn't it? Yeah, I think that's kind of, sometimes you buy fabric just because you absolutely love the colour and you absolutely love the print and you'll work out what to do with it later. Um, but sometimes it is worth thinking more long term and thinking about those projects where you're going to be able to have uh, kind of more more options and possibly a bit more longevity out of a, a fabric. Well, what I think once you once you make the first cushion and whether that's patching as you are right yeah. now or whatever, once you once you've made the first cushion, you think, oh, I could just do the so and so to go with it. And I could, oh, and then that yeah, leads that's you to where it something starts, else. Yeah. And, and then you kind of get led on a little sewing journey, don't that's you? That's why it's <laughs> worth, even if you have a favourite colour, that's why it's worth getting one of the other colours as well to coordinate up with it. Because when you decide, oh, actually, I just need an extra little cushion or a bolster cushion. Yeah. Oh, I've just seen another project pack for a different shape of cushion or a type of cushion. Then this fabric comes into its own yeah. again. Oh, oh. What, oh, what have I done? Hang on. Oh. What have I done? Oh. What are you making? What a windmill? Oh, I oh. have. There you go. No. Ah. So that's two. So you've got those what two. What do we call that? Because the, the there, are, there are names for them all. Oh, OK. And I, at the minute, don't know. OK. So, <laughs> so, so that, that, us, that will take us back to, uh, that's the same thing just the other way around, isn't it? Right. Yeah. The other thing, because you've got triangles, and these are half square triangles, yes. remember you can put them together that way. Oh, okay, dark grey's well. just gone. So you can create smaller blocks that way as well, because we've got four exactly the same now. Now, if you weren't going for, um, if you were looking to put a, um, a one on top of something else, uh, which one do I want now? I want that one. 
No, that's the wrong way around. I want that one. And then I want that one. So if you're looking to put these on other pieces yeah. and just mount them, it's no good on white. Let me just rearrange that <laughs> onto... You couldn't see because it was no, on the white. I, I don't know what I need to make beyond okay, that now. So what we've, what we've essentially created there are four triangles. We've got two where the uh, dark is on the right yes. and two where the dark is on the left. So then we can start to play about with these. Ah. and put them into different patterns. So that's where we started. How long have, have we got? Oh, no. Slight, mani slight minor panic. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> but if you had all four different colours, so say you took all four of those... Um, uh, is this the uh, vintage flower? Vintage floral? Vintage floral. So if you took all four of your colours and instead of having two and two, you put all four different and then started switching them around. I only had one colour to play with, unfortunately. But because you've got those triangles and those triangles will fit together, you can build all sorts of different things out of these. So let me just swap that round for the other one. That's what I want. I want that one. So you can and just start you... making and playing and... and... Yeah, because you don't necessarily always have to work in squares. So now you can make borders and build it and build it and build it and then when you get to the corner use that triangle to turn your corner so and of course the smaller the smaller the squares you start off with the more playing you can exactly. do exactly so i've started off with quite a big chunky one but it's a really nice way to just kind of put your squares together first and that, that's something you can do really without much thinking mm -hmm. yeah and then as long as you start with all the same size and you cut to all the same size yeah then these can be moved about as much as you like and sewn back together and you've got a really good kind of starting point for your um kind of quilting journey just put four together cut them up diagonally join in no no it's all right no, no, I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> no i'm just I'm but it's just, a nice I'm, way to create borders because if I, I pop that one there you can my see mind that's just that corner wants turned. to say to my amateur sewer in. self that always remember to factor in your seam allowances, seam allowances yes. which is going to be yes. a quarter inch, so, isn't it? For every for quilting, it's going to be quarter inch, isn't it? Yes, quarter yeah. inch for quilting. So uh, that will give you your corner piece. Now, if I wanted that to kind of change colours on the corner, we could have it do that. And just by using that one shape, you can create loads and loads of different That's ones. That's almost a pinwheel now, isn't if it? The, yeah, if those two weren't sewn on, we could sew them back together and create a pinwheel. You're amazing, you. You just need to play. That's what is That's important what it's all about, about this, is, is just get stuck in and have a play. Thank you, madam. See you in an hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. Did I sound too enthusiastic there? Oh, <laughs> Sorry. I know. Who's, who's the lucky one today? You've got another hour with me later. Oh, <laughs> she can't smile wide enough. Uh, right, OK, very, very busy on all of those four fabrics. Just very, very quickly, this geometric um, fabric, remember, this, remember, oh, this is so, so beautiful. It's very, very limited as well. So do grab that while you can on the website. There is very quickly the details, 418202. That's it for now. Oh, but we'll be back in an hour's time together with a fabulous one day special as well. We'll see you there. Oh, she's so happy because uh, she's back in an hour's time with Craft Yourself Silly with the Fabazine. It's absolutely so, so brilliant. Uh, coming up next with the gorgeous Rachel, it's Be Crafty with Jane Royston. Be there. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and crafting with La Blanche. Hi, I'm Rob from Add Some Sparkle. 
My wife Jackie and I have been running Addison Sparkle since 2010 as a small family business. We were both very passionate about paper craft in general, and Jackie's particularly passionate with paper embroidery, which is one of the main things we focus on now. Addison Sparkle produced paper embroidery kits and products, which is taking a very old and traditional Victorian craft, bringing it up to date with a modern twist in the designs we use. And what's really special for me is the fact that we can get paper embroidery to a wider audience through working with Hachanda. The future for Addison Sparklers, we'd love to keep working with Hachanda to be able to bring more exciting and new products. We're looking at hopefully bringing some paper embroidery books out onto the market to add to the kits that we already produce and bring. So make sure you don't miss our Addison Sparkle shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family-run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to a Chanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on a Chanda. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. The John Next Door brand is designed to bring high quality, innovative products to the crafting market. The range includes stamps, dyes and new products such as the media plates. I'm also looking to expand the brand and bring you lots of new techniques, new ideas and new products into the next few years. So don't forget to tune in and watch the John Next Door shows on Hachanda. Welcome to Club G45 from Graphic 45, the monthly tutorial kit that allows you to create some of the most beautiful projects by accessing a step-by-step -step video viewable online. This month's tutorial is the Club G45 Ocean Blue Collector's Box and Mini Album and Matchbook Box Kit. You will get almost everything you need to create both of these projects from scratch, including access to this month's step-by-step -step video tutorial and accompanying project sheet. Simply order yours by purchasing item number 467894 for £49.99, plus your postage from hochanda.com, or give us a call on 01733 60 2000 for instant access to this month's Club G45 from Graphic 45. Well, hello, a very good uh, day to you. It is still Saturday. My name is Rachel. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Lovely to have your company as always. We have got a fantastic show today from the Bee Crafty Ladies. Now, of course, Sam and our lovely Bev are at home at the moment. Maybe they're watching. Hello, ladies, if you are. Uh, but we have got a lovely guest who is coming into the show today because that guest, Jane, is actually the designer of our first and last collection on the counter here. This is brand new for you as, uh, here as well. Uh, so Jane is going to be demonstrating. Should we say a quick hello to Jane? There she is. Hi, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, where do I look? Do I look yeah, at you? Do, look at you do I look at the him. camera? <laughs> I don't know. Best thing to do, Jane, is just literally sort of scan the room. That's what I do. And I don't know which camera to look at. I just literally scan the room. Well, the lovely Jane is going to be here demonstrating for us in just a second. And it is fantastic to have her here because she is the designer of this collection. Brand new designs for you today. And how lovely are these designs? Because they make us think of lovely sort of 
the way they're designed, I think, kind of mystical, magical, absolutely lovely. But we're talking, of course, about lovely butterflies. And we all love butterflies here, don't we, when we are crafting. So you are going to get yourself a fantastic collection of stamps here. You're going to get 16 stamps in total. And you've got little flowers as well as the butterflies. And look at those butterflies because they're all very different. Because I think when we do think of the butterfly, we think of um, it being um, kind of you know, the, the same sort of shape, don't we? We think about that kind of, it's almost like leaves. If you think, think about that, like four leaves, traditional, uh, antennae in the middle, down the middle. But there you can see that their wings are totally different shapes. And I think that is absolutely beautiful. And of course, the lovely sentiments to go with them as well, just kind of complete the picture there. Now with butterflies, you can go crazy. You can decorate them however you want. That's the beauty of working with stamped butterflies. You can just use whatever colors, you can use whatever mediums. If you want to do a wash, like you can see on the packaging there, of course, some lovely watercolor would be fantastic. But if you want to color in all of those single details, you could use some very fine tipped pens. Uh, it's totally up to you how you want to work but a fantastic collection and today 34 pounds and 96 pence is what you will pay 403164 is the item number now normally when we would have our guests here on the old videotape we could only just show their demonstrations because we have one live in the studio even though she is a million miles away from me because we are sticking to strict protocols uh, lovely Jane could you just tell us about your inspiration behind these fantastic stamps please uh, yes, I love butterflies. I think there's not many crafters who don't like butterflies. I've always loved them. And when I was designing my own stamps, the, the first set I brought out were florals. And so I just thought that butterflies really were an excellent sort of addition to that collection. But I also wanted there to be some flowers in the set as well, because I don't think you can have butterflies without them. So I made the set of flowers that are in this collection smaller than my first so that they could mix in with the other ones as well and give you some different sizes. Yes, and they are a beautiful collection together, aren't they? Yeah, really, really. Yeah, just the, those, they really do set it off, those flowers, actually. Yeah, they do set off those butterflies. Do you actually look at sort of nature and things, Jane, or do these things just literally come out of your head? The, these ones literally came out of my head, but I, because I like butterflies so much, I've, I'm, I used to be a primary school teacher, so we used to do a lot with butterflies. We used to um, sort of have the caterpillars and actually grow them. <laughs> I don't think that's all, what you actually do. But, um, so I've looked at lots of butterflies, but they, I didn't look at any when I was actually drawing them. They were just my own imagination. Well it sounds like your head is a lovely place to be if that's the kind of thing that comes out of your head no they are fabulous well thank you very much jane and of course we're going to see jane using these in just a second but 403164 is your item number if you would like to get hold and there is a freedom price as well so 31 pounds and 46 pence is what you'll pay and no postage if you are in the freedom club and of course to join that freedom club it's six pounds and 97 pence a month you can roll it over or you can stop it any time. And then in that month, you can look for freedom prices on the website and get as many as you want. Lovely. Let's move along now to our MDF shapes here. So you have got your circles and then you have got your base. And you simply slop it, slop. You simply slot in your circle into your base and that's it. And then if I move that out of the way, you can see the kind of thing that you could be making with those lovely stamps. So this could be a wonderful project and you can use so many different mediums on your MDF here. But you've got five there for £9.99 pence plus your postage. So if you're thinking in terms of gifts, perhaps, um, you could make some lovely gifts for people to keep uh, forever and you could really personalize them as well to those people. You could even use letters on here, couldn't you? You could do whatever you wanted, uh, but a very useful collection there. Nice and bin circles as well. So 489101, your item number for nine pounds and 99 pence. And then we've got squares as well. So if you prefer to work to a square, like this if you like working in this kind of format because you're used to perhaps making cards or things like that then go for the squares again same principle you simply i mean i'll tell you what's great as well is how easily they do just slot in and hold as well really very good so you get your squares there and that is nine five seven eight nine one and that's nine pounds and ninety nine pence we've got a bundle where it is circles and squares together and if you want to buy the two together you absolutely can and we'll give you the details on the screen there they are 11.99 for those 7.99842 and you are going to get um three circles three squares so three circles three squares for 11.99 Fabulous. Let's move along now. We have got 
these stencils for you, which are fabulous to use. And of course, you could uh, use these once again with a variety of mediums. You could use texture paste with these if you wanted. Uh, Bev and Sam both know that I love texture paste. Whenever they come in, I say, please, please do some do some um, stencils with texture paste. But of course, you could just use inks if you wanted. You could splodge them in. You could stamp, um, sponge them in uh, however you want to use them, really. But uh, yeah, you've got some fantastic things there. And beautiful beautiful shapes to play with all wonderfully cut as well to give you a lot of detail so 159580 if you would like to get that multi set there for 11 pounds and 99 pence then we have got a previous collection and this is also from jane um, and this is a lovely bundle that we've put together for you here once again gorgeous flowers and little tiny elements of those flowers to go with the main sort of big stamp just to add to the picture just to give you some further dimension and depth and so you've got all of those wonderful stamps there for 31 pounds and 49 pence 24 stamps in total that is a freedom price if you're not in the freedom club it is 34 pounds and 99 pence there five nine seven six eight five is your item number if you want to see anything that i've just mentioned on the website it is hopechandler.com you can pop over there we've got loads from be crafty you can shop by brand and then you can get whatever you want so it's all there for the taking on the website hochanda.com brilliant pricing beautiful designs lovely things for you to make i love the mdf as well because you can really get stuck into some projects there so all available today do have a look However, our lovely Jane is standing by and uh, she is now going to demonstrate with those fabulous butterflies. Jane, I'll hand it to you. And now you can look into the camera now, Jane. You don't have to look at me anymore. Forget me. Just forget me. <laughs> I'll forget you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rachel. Um, I thought I'd start off um, by making a quite a, a simple card. Um, a lot of the butterflies that I've made with the samples have had lots of colour, but they're also really delicate, so I thought I'd make a card using white vellum to show how you can make a really delicate butterfly as well. So I'm going to start off by making the background, and I'm going to be doing some white embossing, so I'm going to be using my anti-static bag to start with. And then I'm getting my large butterfly which is the butterfly beginnings and this is one that has sort of more raggedy wings and i'm going to use a clear sticky embossing ink to create my um, picture on my background first and i'm going to be using white embossing powder because i want to make a resist so I'm not going to get all of them onto the actual card, so I'm going to put some of them coming off the edge. So you might not be able to see too much to start with, but once I've, I put the ink on in a moment, you'll be able to see. Then we'll have one, uh, we'll go have one here. And I often work in threes because it's more pleasing to the eye. And then let's have, I'm going to turn my card around just to make it easier. Let's have one coming in here. I think I may have just gone over that other one. That's okay. Okay. And I've put a piece of paper underneath to catch my embossing powder. So I've got some super fine white powder, which I'm going to sprinkle all over. Make sure that's there. And then I'm going to tip all my excess back into the pot. So although it looks like you're using a lot of powder, you're actually not using much at all. Now, if you do get any little bits, you can, well, I haven't got a brush with me, but you could get a little dry brush while it's still not set and just brush it off or give it a blow. And then I'm going to heat it. And once you see one area um, start to melt, then you need to move on. Otherwise, you can overheat the embossing powder.
There we go. So that's all melted, or the mic move. No, I think that's melted. So now I'm going to use some Distress Inks, and I've got three colours that sort of complement each other. I've got Worn Lipstick, Dusty Concord, and Broken China, and I'm going to use my foam blenders to blend in some of the colours. So I'm going to start with the pink. I'm going to move the piece of paper so I can get a nice blend on the mat. So I start by putting my blender into the ink, blending it into my foam and then coming onto my card. And if you go round in circles, then you tend to get a much nicer blend. So I'm going to go in three areas to start with. So I'm going to start in that corner. I'm going to do a bit in the middle here. And then I'm going to do this corner as well. Now I'm going to switch to the blue. I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to blend it into the mat first. And I don't mind if it overlaps with the pink because then you'll get a nice purple as well, hopefully. So I'm filling in the gaps where I didn't put my pink. And then if you haven't had much of an overlap and there hasn't been much purple, then I'm going to add in a bit more. So this is the dusty Concord. So where I get my joins between the pink and the blue, that's where I'm going to just add a bit more of the purple in. Oops. And if you don't get a perfect blend, um, not to worry because I'm actually going to now spritz some water onto this. And so if it wasn't perfectly blended, it's going to give it a sort of distressed look. So I'm going to take a piece of kitchen towel and lift some of that ink off. And so I've got my distressed and coloured background. Next, I'm going to make my butterfly. And I've used just a white vellum and the white embossing powder again. And this gives it really nice, delicate looks. So I'm going to move that one to the side. And I'm going to again, oh, mustn't forget to anti-static my vellum. The vellum's, um, because it's got a more slick surface, you could pick up some of your fingerprints, so you really do want to try and get that covered. Although, as I'm going to cut it out, it's not going to be as much of a problem. So again, adding my clear embossing powder, oh, not embossing powder, sorry, my clear embossing ink. And then I'm going to, in my original card, I stamped two, but I'm just going to stamp the one so you don't have to see me do this twice. And there we go. And once again, fine white, super fine white embossing powder. be a little bit tricky to see the embossing on vellum so you could put a piece of dark card underneath that sometimes helps but if I'm just going to lift it up and that will help me as well and you need to be quite quick with this you don't want to leave it on the vellum for too long I'm going to just, oh, I've just spotted I haven't quite. So when you lift it to the light, if you can see that there's some areas that are still a little bit dull, that means you haven't quite melted it all. So you don't want to do, leave that because then the powder could just brush off quite easily. 
Now, when I designed these butterflies, I tried to leave my antennae um, a little bit thicker so that you'd be able to cut them out easily. Um, if you want to, you could always sort of just cut the antennae off and use them with something else like wire, or you could um, stamp underneath first and then put the cut out one on the top. And I just want to cut around the outside of where the embossing powder line is. With this, it doesn't matter too much if you're not precise because the vellum is sort of translucent. You are going to be able to sort of leave a little bit of an edge if you want. I tend to always cut right up to my edges. It's just the look that I like, but I know some people do like to leave an edge. Now this, out of the three butterflies in the set, is probably the trickiest one, and it's not really even that tricky. It's got the most ragged wings, if so to speak. The others have got much more simpler shape. So I'm going to just quickly cut around here. And sometimes what I do is if I cut across first, so if you get rid of a lot of the outside waste, that can make the cutting a lot easier as well. And sometimes if you cut up and then cut again, and then you can just chop those little bits out a lot easier. And I do tend to sometimes pull a little bit too hard, so do make sure that you actually cut your lines right to the edges rather than do what I do, which is to pull off parts sometimes. I have got another one prepared, so you don't have to see me do this twice. Okay, so. so actually, my other one, I think, has already got its antennae, so I could do what I said just before and just cut the antennae off, which always seems a bit mean. Oop, pull that. Because the vellum is quite sturdy, you can get away with that a little bit with this one. But if you do find that it's caught on an edge, if you just get your scissors, pull it down and just give it a little bit more of a... And then that's that one done. So I've got one I made earlier. And this one, I've put a piece of red liner tape down the middle of the body, which I'm then going to remove. Sometimes you do need to make sure it's really firmly down because sometimes you start to lift the tape as well as the, the red liner like I'm at the moment. There we go. And it's very static. And then just line up my two bodies. And there's my original backing. So what I've done is I've prepared a piece of card with a pink mat and layer and I'm just going to stick my background down first. Like that. I just line it up. What I tend to do is I, I look at the top and I look at the sides and then the bottom usually follows. And there we go, there's that. And then I've put some more red liner tape onto the bottom of the underneath butterfly. I mean, you could use glue. Where it's vellum, you do want to sort of try and stick it where there might be a bit of um, pattern. And I'm going to stick this one this way. So I'm just pushing it, if I lift my upper wings and then I can fold them to get a little bit more movement. And then finally, I've cut a little piece of pink to go with the outside card. And I'm going to stamp the sentiment from the same set. So what I would often do is I, I lay my sentiment down so that I can read it and then put my 
block on the top and that way you can try and get it much straighter. Right, I'm going to do the same again. So I've cut my piece of card ready. So I'm just going to stamp it in middle. There we go. And some more white powder so that it all matches in. And I did remember to do my anti-static bag, but it has actually done that okay. So, final piece of embossing. Um, when these um, sentiments were designed, I also wanted them to have sort of gaps in between so that you could cut them if you wanted to. So rather than have it just as one long sentiment, which you could just about fit, but I wanted it to be able to be cut so you could have trust in the magic of new beginnings. I'll just snip the end of that and end of that. And then I would just stick those on. Finished card. Beautiful. It's lovely. Do you know, it's so clever because it looks like parchment, doesn't it? It, it does, looks, yes. yes. It's really it's nice. It's really yeah. clever. I think if you were receiving that card, you would think that that had been someone had taken hours and hours and hours to, to make it look like, um, like parchment there. Yeah, it's amazing. Right, Jane's going to get ready for another demonstration, but I think that is so pretty. What's really lovely as well is when you see that card um, and the lovely sort of flow of the wings, it's so nice. Rather than having that traditional butterfly that looks like that, do you know what I mean? You've got this wonderful sort of droopy wing almost that comes down. And then when you see it in with the rest of the card there and in those pastel pinks and the whites as well, so pretty. And then the sentiment, and as Jane was cutting it up there, so clever. So it just it's just a complete package. And that's what you've got here, of course, the complete package of stamps. Brand new today, designed by our lovely Jane, and a quarter of this collection has now gone. So if you want to get hold of this collection, be very quick indeed, 403164. A freedom price as well, which is lovely, £31.46. Uh, that's no postage on that one. If you do want them individually, then they are all £9.99. So if you've seen one particular butterfly that you want, maybe the one that uh, Jane was working on there at the very end. If you want that one by itself, you can buy it for £9.99 there. But in the Freedom Club, you're effectively spending, uh, saving £8.50 there and your postage. So you're getting one for, in effect, £1.50. So you see there's a, a good saving on there if you are a Freedom member. So se seriously have a look at that and you could join the Freedom Club today and get that pricing. Uh, but if you get the lot, it is £34.96. Shall we show you some other pretty cards that we have behind us here? Because um, they really are beautiful when you see them in real life. So I'll just keep holding them up for you. So there's one. Blossom like a butterfly. Lovely. And then this one. And then we're adding... Oh. I've dropped it, so we're not adding anything. I was going to say touch a sparkle. I'll get that one in a second. We've got some glossy accents on there, as you can see. Some lovely colourways. But equally, in black and white, they look really beautiful. Those flowers that Jane added into the collection, she said that she wanted to be able to give the, the butterflies some kind of ad additional extra, some depth. Look at that. And talking about those um, flowers, just by themselves, simple card, Look at that, in glossy accents there. Absolutely, I love that. That's so pretty. And then things like that. And then if you want to use some real pop art colours, you can. If you want to go for your softer colours. And then how would you use these cards? Well, what about a new house, a new job, new beginnings? So you could certainly use them for lots of things. Good luck cards, birthday cards, anniversary cards, wedding cards, because you could say new beginnings. There we are, beautiful. Trust in the magic of new beginnings. And this one, and I love this with the circles behind, which has come from, of course, the um, stamps, uh, the uh, masks that we have on the stencils that we have on the show today. Really, really lovely. Gorgeous. Where was that card? Let's pick that card up and show you that one because it was lovely and sparkly and glittery. Ah, oh, perfect. 
So there you are. That's what you could be making. It is 403 164 as an item number if you would like to get that entire collection today for £31.46. But remember, over a quarter of the stock has gone. Now, we have got some lovely MDF shapes for you as well on the show. Circles. If you want to get the circles, they simply stand like that. Um, and they can be made into that. So you can make whatever you want on those circles. Uh, 489101 is your item number, £9.99, and, and you get five of those circle boards. We also have the squares on the show for you as well. If you want to get your squares, same principle, they just stand in the stand and then you can decorate them. So if you are used to making cards, you might want to start with the squares because you're used to that kind of format and working to that shape. And those are also 9.99. That is 957.891. But if you would like to get a combination of the two, three of each, circles and squares they are 11 no are they 11.99 as i remember yes i remembered the price so 11.99 there 7.99842 your item number there 11.99 to get circles and squares together then we've got these lovely um stencils and as I was saying, you could use these with inks, but you could use them with texture paste as well. Lots of detail. That, that bubble one, that is a really, really useful one to have. Of course, working with your butterflies as a first collection, brilliant. Put those in the background. And then you've got those flowers, and that is like the inside of a really big flower, that one as well, isn't it? So these actually work beautifully well with your first collection. 159580 is your item number, £11.99 for all of those. And then this is a previous design, and it is from Jane again, and we've put this collection together. And these work hand in hand with the butterflies because, of course, they are wonderful flowers. And you can see all the accessories with those flowers as well. So 597, 685, £34.99. Um, we've got some lovely samples for this. Let's have a look at um, how you could be using these gorgeous flowers. So like that, or like that. I mean, just simple little pieces that really are very, very beautiful indeed. There we are. That's the right camera. There. And then you could go for really pale colours. I mean, this is that's just gorgeous, like a little sort of mandala piece, isn't it? And this. And then this is clever, using them as quarters, like that. Door handles, hangers like that got lovely cards with lots of white space and that the designs just stand for themselves if you're not great at coloring don't worry because you could just go with literally using black and white like that and then a little bit of glitter in the middle or a nice gemstone in the middle there with that lovely you've got this one with the glossy accents again gorgeous and then I must show you this book because this is amazing oh Got to show you this one as well. Look, look at that. Oh my goodness me, that's amazing. Gold, just beautiful. And I think that's got, let's have a look. Yes, the inside as well. Look at that. Let your dreams blossom. That is a stunning card. Who wouldn't like that card? That's amazing. And then if I just show you this book here by Kaz and look at how fantastic that is. I mean, these are great projects to make for yourself as well, as well as giving away really really lovely gorgeous so there you are those are some ideas for you uh five nine seven six eight five your item number if you would like to get hold of the entire collection here now we've mentioned at the top of the show that we've got a freedom price for you on that first collection and alex is here now to tell you exactly what the freedom price is all about hello everyone i've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of hachanda freedom did you know that with Hachanda Freedom, you could be saving on your deliveries every month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you will benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And you know the best bit, you can cancel any time. Becoming a member of Hachanda Freedom, you will also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom member discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hachanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Just look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month.
Over 10,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being a part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm now going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hachanda Freedom. It's lovely because you have the special offers, don't you, that are, give you a nice discount off, sometimes up to 20%. I don't have to worry about the postage. I, I can spend a fiver on something that I've seen as and when I've seen it, or I can spend 20 or 30 or 50 pounds, it doesn't matter. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening. So if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> You see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no ongoing monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 88888. So don't forget, you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and a members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hachanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hachanda family. Exactly. It's a great club to be a part of. Easily join and get this price. Let me just tell you, a third of this stock has now gone. So a lot of you are loving the butterflies and the little flowers and accessories that go with it as well. So a fantastic collection there. 403164 is your item number. It is £34.96 if you would like to get hold of this brand new collection from our lovely Jane, who happens to be in the studio. So Jane, what have you got next for us? Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody who's bought so far. That's amazing. Um, this time, I thought I'd do an, an MDF. Now, this is the one of the tall MDFs that's from the mixed pack. Um, Bev and Sam have also put together some big uh, circles today, and that was because I thought with the big um, butterflies, they would look really nice on, on those big plaques. Um, this one, I have actually coated it with some white gesso to start with. You don't have to. The, the MDF is really, really good quality. I tend to always prime my MDF. It's just a habit I'm into. But also, if you have brighter colours, sometimes if you really want that brightness to, to come through, having the white underneath really does help. I used a brayer on this because I wanted to be able to put my plaque together afterwards so if you are coating it before you stick it together you do need to just make sure that either you do put a very thin thin coat or that you make sure that none of the the paint gets into those that groove there or around the edges of the the bit that sticks in so I'm going to start by adding some base color so I'm going with this is a calypso teal acrylic paint and I'm just going to put a couple of dots on there and then I'm going to use my brayer. And this is a really quick way. If you find that painting your MDF takes you ages, then this is a really quick way of getting it done. And because you add such a thin coat, it dries a lot quicker as well. Now normally I would paint the sides and I would paint the back, but for the sake of um, time today, I'm just going to do the front and I'm not going to do the base either so just and because you put the white underneath as well if there are bits showing through it's not really going to matter too much now that dries really quick but I'm going to give a really quick blast And then I'm going to use one of the stencils from the pack of three that are on the show today. Uh, this is the alter, alternate circles. I think alternate circles, alternate, alternate circles, I think. And I chose these three particular um, stencils because for the, the dots that match in with the butterflies, and I thought the butterfly one had to be in there. And also uh, the um, dahlia because it's a flower. So I'm going to use some of the peony blush paint. So it's a contrast to my blue I'm just going to put a little bit out and I'm going to use a stencil brush and I dip my stencil brush in and then I make sure that I take quite a lot back off so that there's not too much that can leak underneath the stencil with the bee crafty stencils as well they are really nice and thick and you can actually use them through um, an embossing machine a die cutting machine 
to emboss your card as well. You just need to use the um, the Matson plates that make the um, brass stencil setting. If, if you have your original book, I'm going to add a bit at the bottom as well. So this is based on one of my um, samples that I made, but I wanted to make it in a different um, shape of MDF. So I've just got some pink bubbles on there. Um, you could now pop that straight into water, but I'm just going to leave it there for now. I'll wipe it off afterwards. And now I'm going to use some of the texture circles because I've got that dotty feel going on. I'm going to use the circles as well. And I'm going to start by using one of them with paint and then I might use some ink as well. So this is just a white acrylic paint. So I'm going to put a little bit out and then I'm going to just brayer it out thinly. And I think I'm going to go with, oh, I'm going to go with that one because that was the one that fell out. So I'm going to put it on an acrylic block and just tap it into my paint and then put some white circles in there as well. And I like to do things going off the edges because it, it always gives it sort of a more natural look. Now, if you have used um, paint with your stamps, do make sure that you do clean it off straight away because you don't want that paint, because it is acrylic, it is a plastic. If it dries into your stamp, you could ruin your stamp. So do make sure you wipe that off really quickly. Try and give a little bit of a wipe. Okay, so if I give that a very quick blast again, just to make sure. And I'm going to use one of the texture borders. Now this set comes with the texture circles. And I'm going to use this border here, but I'm not going to use it as a border. I'm going to use it in my hand and I just want some of these little dots to go in with my design. And I'm going to choose um, the, the dark blue so it matches with the background. This is an archival ink. So if you're going to stamp onto something like acrylic paint, you, you need a, a, an ink pad that's going to be permanent. My ink pad of choice is usually archival because they have um, so many colours and they just always seem to work really well. So I'm just using my finger and just stamping on. And I'm first of all, I'm just going where my circles are because I, I like the idea of those coming out of those circles. And then I can add some down the side. Let's have some on the end. If you just dab it. But you can also use it as a full border as well if it, you like that look. And there we go. So there's my background to my MDF. And I've already prepared some pieces because I, I knew these would take quite a long time. And what I've done is I've stamped out the um, Possibilities butterfly, or the Believe butterfly, which one's it called? Butterfly Possibilities. And I coloured it using alcohol markers and then I have coated it with glossy accents. So there's my butterfly. And I've also stamped out some flowers, but I'm going to stamp out one of the flowers just to show you how they stamp out and how you can colour them with um, something like a, a alcohol pen. If you're going to use alcohol markers, you need to consider what ink you're going to use. So if you are going to use alcohol, you need something that is dye based. So you could use a memento or a distress ink, something like that, because the alcohol won't react with it. You can't use something that's like um, a stays on, which is already alcohol. And I'm looking for a piece of card, there it is. The other thing you can do is if you stamp it and then use a clear embossing powder over the top, then you will be able to colour whatever way you like. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use my first fine clair in black. And I'm going to stamp down. And with Versafine Claire, you do get a bit of um, 
wiggle room, so to speak. You get a bit of playtime because it does stay juicy for a little while. And then I'm going to just seal the top with some clear. And by doing that, then you sort of leave yourself options. I often do stamp in VersaFine Claire and then seal it so that then I can decide later what I'd like to actually colour in with. And then I just make a whole batch and then they're, they're ready for me. There we go, there's that. Uh, I'm just going to use some alcohol markers. I've got some pinks and some yellows. So I'm going to start just with my lightest pink and just really quickly just go over all the petals. And I tend to, um, I would usually probably cut out first and then colour just so that they're all ready. But if you colour first, then you don't have to worry so much about going over your edges because you're going to cut them off anyway. So I'll give that a quick. Yeah. And then I'll go for my next shade. And I'm just going to go part of the way down this time. And then I take my lighter shade again and just blend the two together. And then I'm just going to take my brightest colour and just fill out the details. And what I've done on a lot of the flowers is I've then used a white Posca pen to add little highlights to them. And it just adds that little bit of extra doodleness. So then I would cut that out. So all of those bits that are going around the edges you wouldn't see anymore. And here are some I've made earlier. So I cut out three of the flowers. And I've cut out two of the leaves. But I haven't cut out any of the stems. Because what I thought I would do is I'm going to arrange my flowers first of all so I can have them going over and then I'm going to have my leaves down here let's have that one there and then I'm going to use a black Posca pen so if you don't want to cut up the stems out or you don't want to stamp the stems then you can always get a black permanent pen this one is a paint pen so it's going to work and I just draw if I move those just draw my stems and because it's a doodly look doesn't matter if you want you could add some little circles to add to the doodle look and then I'm just going to use a glue gel to fix the butterfly I'm going to put this one underneath Make sure it actually goes near the stem, that would help. And this one here. And with this flower, you can either have it that way or that way up. It's up to you. It looks good either way. And then... And with these leaves, I actually drew them with the uh, little stalk. But you can cut that stalk off when you cut them off if you don't want that stalk on there. And there we go. And then finally, I've stamped out onto black card, Believe in Possibilities, which is the same as the sentiment from the set. And then I've cut it again into pieces so that you can spread it around. So I'm going to have Believe in, and then maybe. Um, let's have that there, possibilities. And there we go. He's not fantastic, you see, 
The first demonstration was all pastels and whites and pretty, pretty. And then that one is this bold color ways and they the stamps still work absolutely beautifully no matter how you work with them so you can go with your soft colors you can go with your tonals you can go with your really kind of pop art colors if you want to because that's the thing about butterflies of course they're all so different uh, so you can make your butterflies however you want to do well if you want to buy this collection designed by our lovely jane and thank you jane for that second demonstration okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's just that's right, what i do uh, but it is lovely you get you get totally sucked into what she's doing don't you forget you're watching television for a second or I do I forget that I'm about to present live television I'm just like mm, that's really pretty so if you want to be able to do something like that for yourself you need to start by getting this collection and it is brand new and launched today uh, 40316 for your item number 31464 for the lot and you've got your lovely collection of butterflies there and of course your flowers and you've got all of your little accessories your leaves as well let me just give you a quick flick of some of the gorgeous things that you can be making with these lovely butterflies so if you want to go glossy and sparkly like that like that like that so you see how you can use all these different colors I mean when you get a hint of gold as well I think that these really do shine through with the glitter really really pretty and then with the pink and we're talking about the occasions as well because you've got the sentiments so you know new beginnings that could be anything couldn't it new house new job new relationship you know, a wedding card, new beginnings, blossom like a butterfly. So I do think that these are incredibly useful cards. So you can see there a really good example of what you could be making with these fantastic butterflies. Lovely. Um, so that is uh, 403164. Uh, we've also got some other things that you might want to use with this collection on the show because we've got your circles um, and we've also got your um, squares as well. We've got some more stamps for you as well that we think might tie in quite nicely. Um, let us show you. <laughs> there. Couldn't decide which which ones bits we were showing so there you are um you've got your background textures and borders i'll put them on that way so there you are so you might want to use those the circles five seven eight four seven two sixteen pounds and 99 pence or you've got your border so you get the booth do you, you get the two wow that's really good value 16.99 for the two that is excellent value so you've got borders and you've got circles which i think tie themselves in very well with this main collection there so five seven eight four seven two your item number 16 pounds and 99 pence if you would like to get those now we'll talk about the circle mdfs so you get your circle of course as we've been saying get it on a stand literally just pop it in and that is 489101, pounds and 99 pence if you would like to get hold of those. And then we've got your squares. So exactly the same concept, just sit in the stand there. And you might be more used to working with squares, so they could be the ones for you. That's 957891 as an item number. And if you can't decide and you want to get the circles and squares together, then we can do that for you as well. They're all on the website, hochanda.com, and they're 11 99 and you get three circles and three squares there. That item number is 799842. Everything from Be Crafty is on the website. All you have to do is shop by brand, things that you haven't seen, and you've got more MDF plaques on there, as you can see. So do have a look there because they've got a wonderful sort of complement of items that all work together. So have a look on the website, hochana.com, put things into your basket. Remember the Freedom member price as well because uh, you might get some Freedom prices in there thrown in and that gives you free postage and you can join the Freedom Club today as well. So it's all there on the website, hochana.com. Okay, now Jane is going to do something very quickly for us. She's not going to finish off, but she's going to start. And then if you come back and watch her later show today, she'll be able to finish off the demonstration. Uh, so Jane, if you would like to take it away and just give us a few minutes, please. Thank you. Okay, so I thought I'd, for this third demonstration, I'd show that you don't have to always be cutting out your um, images. So we're going to be doing a bit of stamping and masking using the, just the small flower set on its own. So I've already cut out on some masking sheet three masks of three of the flowers in the set so I'm going to be doing some water coloring probably in the later hour so I'm using archival ink because I know that that will be fine with my um, watercolors and I'm using watercolor card to stamp onto 
So I'm going to start with the flower that I want to be at the front of my image. So I'm going to stamp this flower right in the middle. And then I'm going to use my mask by just peeling off. Ooh, there we go. Peeling off the backing and just sticking over the top. And when I cut out my mask, I try to cut just slightly inside the line so you don't get to like a halo around your stamp when you stamp over the top. I'm then going to take my second stamp. And that because that's now covered up, everything that is goes over the top of that one is actually going to be in the background. So I'm going to take this stamp and I'm going to stamp it here. And then I'm going to take my mask for this one. Take five minutes just to get the masking off. And I'm just going to put that one over the top of there. And then finally, I'm going to stab this flower. And again, this is now going to be behind the other two because they've both now got masks. I'm going to stamp this one here. And I'm going to mask this one as well because I also want to add on some leaves. And I want the leaves to be behind all the flowers. Let's just check that's the right way up. They're quite easy to match up. You just need to look for which ones the patterns are in. And I'm going to use this leaf and just stamp once. And then I'm going to make sort of like a bit of a arrangement behind them. Uh, I think I'm going to have one more just here. And then when I take off my masks, the flowers, oops, there we go, are all arranged. But I'm not going to use the stems. I'm going to once again just do some stems coming down. I will use the stems later, I promise. And then I'm going to take the other leaf. Because the Bee Crafty stamps are clear, I'm able to actually see where I'm putting them, which is really useful. So I'm going to take the end of that one and do one there. One there. And then my final piece of stamping is I've taken one of the sentiments from one of the butterflies, but because it obviously hasn't got any butterflies on it, I didn't want it to be one of the butterfly sentiments, so I've chosen Believe in Possibilities, and I'm just going to stamp that along the top here, straight onto the card. So there's been no cutting out at all for that card so far. That's beautiful. Thank you so much, Jane. You see, isn't that amazing? Just a little bit of masking and stamping and you can believe in the possibilities. Thank you so much, Jane, and thank you for the last hour. Thank it's you. It's been an absolute pleasure. You can see the rest of that demonstration later on today at 3 o'clock when that show comes back. Do you know, I didn't know who to watch at this point because I had Hayley over there in the corner crafting, sewing. Then I had our lovely Jane. She was doing her bit. Even Derek is weaving with wool at the moment. I tell you, I was, I was just standing here watching all three of them. They were all in their own little worlds. Crafting along, it was like watching them in their own homes, which would be weird if I did that. I am going to go before I get myself into more hot water. Uh, you have a lovely time now with Derek and his weaving and our lovely Hayley. See you in a bit. Okay, and they are going to be crafting yourself silly with Fabazine. Uh, after that, I'm coming back with Graphic 45 and Tina, and then I believe it might be Adam in doing pearly winks. All to come today on her channel. Hi, my name is Maggie, and I'm from Impressions Crafts. Um, I've been running my business now for 15 years. It's a small family-run business in the south of Cheshire. We have a large craft shop. We sell all sorts of beading and jewellery supplies. 
Um, I have a passion for making jewellery. I love working with um, the Lucite style flower beads and we make thousands and thousands of angels and have been doing so for the last few years. We've been bringing uh, to Hachanda lots of lovely beading kits, jewellery, uh, for necklaces and bracelets and earrings and we also bring a wide range of angels and accessories, beading accessories like bookmarks and um, we also have our range of laser cut uh, sun catchers and mobiles, all the lovely crafty beads. Hope you can tune into my shows and looking forward to seeing you on her channel. Chanda News. We're excited to announce that from the 1st of July, our broadcast hours on Freeview will be extended to 10 p.m. each day. We know that many of you have been missing our live shows in the evenings, and we look forward to having you with us once again. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons so tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. I'm Barbara and I'm Julie and together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business, been in business for two years and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on a channel. Chanda prides itself on its ethos towards the family-run boutique companies that offer the variety that we know you love and appreciate. Following such a positive response to our previous family favourite events, we are very excited to welcome and introduce you to many more brand new Chanda family favourites. Please tune in from Thursday the 25th of June at 6pm to Monday the 29th of June at 6pm to support many of your favourite guests and also our very loyal family room businesses that have grown and prospered with Achanda since our launch in August 2015. We will be running fantastic prize draws where winners will be drawn live within each hour during our event, giving you opportunities to win prizes worth at least £25. So join us from 6pm on the 25th of June for your family favourites event. Hi, I'm Joe from The Mill Shop Online. Welcome to The Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss the Mill Shop Online shows on Hochanda. Welcome back to the one day special with Craft Yourself Silly. Um, just in case you're wondering what Hayley and I did in the hour that we weren't with you, <laughs> we were FaceTiming a duck. Like you do. Tell you more about that later, but let's tell you the latest news on the one day special. This amazing Craft Yourself Silly Fabazine um, issue number two. Don't worry, you haven't missed issue number one. You can still get that as well. We'll sort of talk about that in a moment. But issue two 
Now, in terms of the stock, remind me, Katie. 60% of the entire one day special stock has now gone. Now this is brilliant because you've got 12 amazing projects, well 12, 12 and a third let's call it, of amazing projects. And the £124 worth of projects here for just £39.99. Now the regular price for this £49.99. What you get with this is everything you need. How often do you buy a magazine that has a little bit of inspiration in it and then you think well by the time I've got all together all of the bits and pieces that I need to do these projects I'll have spent another da 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 da. Well here you get absolutely everything you need including your full instructions to make these incredible projects and we'll see all of the projects um, that you've got going on. In fact I'm going to have even going to have a little bit of a go in this hour as well. There's a game in there, um, there's lots of very very practical items there as well and lots and lots of different techniques as well from Craft Yourself Silly. This is such a good opportunity let me tell you, for just $39.99, you get one of the biggest printed fabric panels I have ever seen, which is down here. Uh, and you only see a tiny glimpse of it there, but all of the 12 and the third projects are on there. Um, plus, you get your MDF elements of, uh, as well. One of which is a fabulous weaving loom. And I am going to be weaving with my red and yellow a little bit later. I've got started off, but we'll talk about that later. Let's have a look through the different projects, though, that are in this fantastic Fabazine. You have got your mug tidy. You have got your, your little pincushion, Haley. Yes, I love it. The little hedgehog. He's so, so sweet. He really is. Um, you've also got your foundation piecing. It's like a, almost painting by numbers, that as well, Haley, isn't it? do that one it's uh, quite straightforward and actually there are three different methods that you can use to do this we've, we've put you three different options in there it's incredible and there is lots more besides as well because you've got a little lunch bag there or for me the world's biggest pick and mix bag <laughs> looks lovely doesn't it with the jelly beans there uh, really nice collection of different techniques that you're using here you've got a storage bag uh, there as well with a beautiful design you've got that lovely Victorian tile print um, uh, cushion there with lovely matching prints on the back as well. You've got your weaving loom and there's an example of what you can do with your little loom that comes um, as part of this. Ah, Flappy the Turtle is one of the projects <laughs> there as well, which is just a joy to have and you can craft him in as many different ways as you want to as well. You've got a little game in there. It's kind of a little, <laughs> it's, it's Haley's twist on noughts and crosses. Cross face or happy face, that's how it works. That's one of the projects. And the project is the drawstring badge. So lots and lots of different skills you're picking up as a result of having this as well. You've also got an embroidered... Doodle. doodle. That's it. Yeah. That's where you take the word doodle and embroidery and put it together, which is called a... Portmanteau. Portmanteau. That's what we've learned today. Two <laughs> words together, bring them as one. It's a portmanteau. There is a little sewing kit as we've well. Been and super this... educational, really. I, really, we? really, really. I mean, it's been like being at university today, isn't it? <laughs> it really has. This is our foundation. Um, and we also have this wonderful beach panel as well, which is applique, isn't it? Uh, yes. So it comes with loads of different applique pieces. I've got some of the the elements here and uh, these can all be cut out and then added to your piece so you've got options that's the sample that you can see or that was on screen just there that's been done by Claire and she's just used um, organza to do hers but you get all of these big kind of applique pieces to add on and the fusible webbing is included in the kit as well so you don't have to go find that and um, so you can create lots of lots of different projects and they're really there just as a starting point for you I'm not saying you have to do exactly what's in those instructions I'm actually quite anti exactly what's in the instructions I think you, you take it as a starting point and then add your own twist, add your own skills in from there. Just while we can see you, um, yes. Hayley, can you just shimmy in that bit of magic that you've got there? Shimmy that in a bit closer to you Which because bit? we need to see it. Oh, happy this hour. bit, yeah, the happy yeah. hour. Shimmy in. Uh, One of the it's most not really shimmyable, Derek. It's, 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 a bit of a, it's a bit of a shimmy. It's full of, it's got like 32 metres of fabric on it. We have managed to get you. <laughs> An amazing, amazing happy Hang hour on, I'll deal. Have to take this Please mat tell off. us what the fabric go round okay. is, Haley, and what it does. Hang on, I've just got to get the mat out. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, okay. We didn't practice it in rehearsal. You do have it's got 32 we? meters of fabric in it, so it's pretty heavy. It's not really a shimmyable item. Sorry, it looks <laughs> shimmyable. Tell me what it oh. does. 
currently houses my car keys. <laughs> <laughs> That's really her keys as well, by the yes. way. So, um, what it does is it has a rotating base on it and it has all of these mini bolts. So, these are what you wrap your fabric around and then they, let's see if I can do it back to front, I can't find a gap. I'll, I'll just move one of these ones out. They slide in to the slots that are top and bottom to hold all of your fabric so a you can see it and if you see it you use it because that's what tends to happen it gets buried in a box and it never gets used so you can see it you can use it and you have got space now the one that you get uh, will come flat packed and there's instructions on how to put it together there's a video on YouTube as well um, so you'll have to assemble it yourself and then once you've assembled it you've got 32 bolts to add fabric on there now 32 you can either put full meters on or I think on the website somewhere there may be an additional 32 if you want to absolutely fill it like the one on here where we've got 64. It is absolutely incredible. I mean, it goes without saying fabric not included at that price. Uh, <laughs> 59.99. I mean, it's happy hour, but my word, that would be pushing it somewhat, wouldn't it? The price goes back up at one o'clock, so do take advantage. If you have got piles and piles and piles in plastic boxes right now of fabric, yeah. which is nicely protected and everything else, but you can't see it. And, and as Hayley says, There's if you can't see it, you don't know it's about there. It, though. Now, you can use your 32 bolts that come with it to put full meters on. That's a full meter that's on this one here. Yeah. Um, um, we the 64 holes now we recommend half meter per bolt if you're going to put 64 on yeah and uh, if you're going to put four meters on then do the 32 you just want it though don't you just so you can do what you've done there and, and bunch all of your <laughs> colors, colors together all the colors, like a big round I mean, it's rainbow. amazing please do get <laughs> it's very very busy already for that I'm not at all surprised it's basically a half price deal right now as a happy hour deal uh, we weren't even going to bring it until later into the show but I just saw it there and thought we need to see it straight away 29 pounds and 99 pence already very very busy now um, something else that's now limited to stock um right okay um now the one day special is fabazine issue number two and that's the first one that's been launched on a one day special but there is a bundle right now to get issue number one which is another 12 projects and issue number two with its 12 projects combine their savings add an extra saving we've got this bundle here which is now limited stock um, we thought this would happen and we we knew it would happen I mean, it's nearly 250 pounds worth of projects for less than 80 pounds which is brilliant and, and when we talk about the projects it's not just well, here's your instructions and a few little accoutrements and you do the rest. The fabric printed panel is all of your projects in there. If you need a zip, the zip is there. If you need a lining, the lining is there. Everything you need is in there. So it's not like one of those magazines where you think, you know when you buy a, a cooking magazine and you think, right, okay, so I need half a pound of pimento tomatoes and I need half a pound of, you know, some exotic radish. Top and you end up rice. spending so much more. <laughs> what? Tuppany rice. Tuppany rice, yeah, and <laughs> half a pound of treacle. treacle. Who has treacle in the cupboards these days? Um, let's have a look as well. I mean, the, the projects in issue number two, absolutely fantastic. There's so many of them, including this incredible artwork here, which is actually, what was this again, Hayley? What's so its that's, actual purpose? That's actually a, a tidy, wall tidy. Right, so see, it's see, I wouldn't um, use it to tidy anything. I would simply display it because I get, think it's the most incredible the pockets, work of art. Would you? Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't put the pockets in. I would put so clear pockets in there. Maybe photos of one or two people, or just not put them on I at all and just speech display. Speech bubble. It. Yeah, or speech thought bubble. bubble. I don't, yeah, dot, I know, dot, but dot, there, there are some thoughts, you know, like the ones we said earlier. Like the ones earlier, we should have kept to should, ourselves throughout the we three hours we've been them, together. Yeah. <laughs> um, so limited stock on the bundle that gets you. Fabazine issue number one, which is um, the one that launched in April, plus your one day special, which is your issue number two, which launched last night, uh, oh, to, to, together with that amazing saving. Remember, you can split that down into two flexi payments there as well of $39.99. It's brilliant. And there are so, so many projects in there. It is incredible. And it's not just the amount, the, amount, the number of projects, it's the different types of things you will be doing from embroidery to piecing to yeah. all sorts Hayley. and there's, uh, there's things for machine sewing there's things for hand sewing if you haven't got a machine like you mentioned earlier you would be able to sew absolutely everything that's within there by hand if you wanted to and and just a quick aside to that as well some of the projects that you see in front of me here like this gorgeous hippo 
and there's some Scotty dog bump bunting as well. Yes. Um, it's beautiful. It is available as individual yes. packs if you want Everything to. Everything that we've done there, you can have as an individual project. Now, if we had brought them as all individual projects, that's where we're getting that initial start price from. And yeah. when you look at them as individual projects, like the loom that's next to you there is an individual project. I think that's on for 9.99 by itself as a mini mm -hmm. loom. Yeah. Now that's not a bad price oh, for a update, mini loom. Update, 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 update. Technically, the bundle for issue one and two together yes. has sold out and gone. We will, s oh, we will see what we can do Yes, we can. Right, OK, so we can do extended delivery on that one for you for a limited number of them um, for one week. So it would be 27th of June. I don't even know the date today, let alone when the 27th of June It'll, is, to be honest. Is it <laughs> 20th today? It blurs into one. Right, so it's just it? one week later. So if you still want that bundle, it is still available, but on extended delivery, so an additional um, seven days. That's the biggest value in this show, if truth be told, uh, by taking is the combination of the savings on the one day special plus Fabazine edition number one. Put those together and you get this amazing bundle here at 79.98. And do you know what I was I was saying before at the start of the, the last show we did this morning at eight o'clock, was it? Yes. Eight o'clock. Is it that many hours ago? Yes, Hayley? it was. Wow. <laughs> um, that at the moment we all think, oh, all right, it's fine. We had all of this extra time on our hands, but now it's fine. Uh, so we can just go off and, oh, no, we can't yet. Well, let's all go out to dinner. Uh, oh, no, we can't yet. So there is still a lot of time where you're together um, with the family as well. And I think this is brilliant because there are so many different products and so many different techniques and projects, should I say, um, that actually one of you could get on with that while whilst of you, one of you does that. For instance, what are you going to be doing in this hour? Hayley? Okay, so in this hour, uh, we started the mug tidy last hour, so I'm going to show you a couple of finishing touches to that. And then, uh, have you got the little um, uh, little pouch thing the that uses pouch. the bias binding? Yes. If you can locate that somewhere, that would yes. be awesome, because okay. uh, we're going to do that one. So, uh, first of all, am I allowed to do stuff now, or do you still need to do numbers? Are you, are you still doing numbers, or can I go? Oh, what? Well, sorry, I was, I, was, I was listening to you and Katie at the same okay. time there. Oh, I'm just going to crack on then. And, and, and Katie okay. won. <laughs> I'm going to crack on then. I've got so, it. Before you go ahead and put your backing on, you need to just test it on your mug to get the right height for your handles. So if you can see there, um, I've actually gone down just a bit more than a quarter of an inch below the bottom of my mug. Mm -hmm and then placed my handles. This is one that I found from the kitchen here. And just wanted to show you, it doesn't have to be that dead square up and down mug. It will still work on something that's a little bit curved as well. So maybe if you've got an old mug that's chipped, one that you kind of quite liked, but you can't use anymore, use, just test it at this point to make sure you position those correctly. And then once they're in place, pin them in and then pin that whole backing on. Once that whole backing is pinned on, you are going to sew all the way around. Now, I've put, I always tend to put double pins where I want to start and where I want to stop because I'll kind of get round and if there's just one pin, I'll whip it out and I'll keep going. And before you know it, the whole thing's sewn together and you can't get in to flip yeah. it right side yeah. out. So I do tend to double pin just to remind myself, oh, I, I need to stop there. So that's the last bit I need to do on that one. So I'll set that aside and while Derek's doing some numbers later, we'll come back to that one. But we are going to do... Uh, the little pouch, which I believe... I've got it here. You have. Ta-da! So this is your little sewing pouch. There's two techniques on here. There's um, which, well, there's more loads than two. There's on lots here. Of there's, techniques, you actually learn actually, a lot on this one. If at the moment putting a zip in sends you running for the hills, then this would be a great project. And also uh, for binding as well, which is really, really good, because uh, the binding on this is absolutely beautiful. It looks really, really nice. Um, Thirty-nine pounds, remember, and ninety-nine pence. Uh, sorry, two two lots of thirty-nine and ninety-nine to get the two issues together. There, issue number one and issue number two. They are absolutely brilliant. But this is the project that we're going to be working on right now, uh, which is like a little organizer yeah, case. Yes, it is. So um, this one has like three little pockets in there, and you can put all of your bits of sewing bits. Doesn't necessarily need to be sewing bits. You could use it as a purse in theory. Yeah. If you wanted to. Yes, because so it would fold sort of a trifold. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly what it does. So um, I'm going to start with putting it together. Now, all these pieces have got little numbers on. We've made this one so it coordinates with the mug tidy. And then each of these have got little numbers in the corners. If I just hold those two 
three up. There you go. Can you see the numbers on those? Just so you can, it just helps with referencing them in the instructions and helps you with putting them together. So we took piece number one, we sewed the zip on and then top stitched it. And we're going to do exactly the same process with the other side. So this is the flap that goes on the top there. So I'm going to flip that over, line it up with the top edge of the zip and also make sure I've got it lined up with both of the sides here as well. Now, uh, I don't really want to put a pin in there because with pins and zips, what tends to happen is when you pin something, it makes it go wobbly. So what I tend to use with this instead, which I, ha I think there is some of it on the website, but I haven't got any with me, is the um, we've got some pins on a roll. So we've got like a tape, which is like pins, and that is brilliant for holding this in place while you do oh, this. Okay. So I'm going to stitch uh, along the edge there, and then once I've done that, we're well, going to fold it back to reveal that just press that in place and then top stitch it as well so i'm so, going to go ahead and start with that okay so just just very very quickly just before you do that mm -hmm. how do we judge where to sew that because obviously you right. can't see underneath that because piece of we're going to top stitch it yeah. it really doesn't matter so if you just you guide your foot yeah along that zip there and you can stitch anywhere between here and there for this one because so that's you not the don't crucial have, bit this isn't the crucial bit when we come to top stitch it that's the more crucial element. All this line of stitching is doing is attaching these two pieces together. Okay. And all I want it to do is, it, first of all, be lined up squarely with its, its kind of little base piece here. So let's just pop that on. I haven't changed my foot. I've got a normal foot on here. Uh, I've just moved that as I picked it up, though. So do you know what I am going to do? Now, now I've said I didn't want to put pins in. I am going to put one pin in, but I'm not going to put it um, on the zip tape itself. I'm actually going to put it in this bottom piece here. Is that just, just to so stop that, you don't that distort twisting? The, yeah, the that's zip just tape to stop itself. it twisting. Yeah. And I don't want to distort the, the tape that I've got here. Is that, so, would that create a bump if you did that? Yes, it does. Right, and you usually get a little notch coming in yeah. when you sew. So. I've got my edge of my foot lined up against the edge of my zip. Now, you can't see the edge of the zip. You are just going to have to kind of feel for it. And I'm going to move you, it, my needle across. That light on your machine, can you turn it off? Pardon? There's a light on your machine, is there? Can you turn that off? No. Oh. Is it on the machine itself? Yeah. Just very bright. We can't um, Oh, sorry. See I can't all the fix way. that. Uh, oh, hang on. There you go. All that... <laughs> That'd be better. That's now, it. We can see perfectly now. It was just a bit bright before. How do you want me to sew with my finger over the light? <laughs> so I'm using the edge of my uh, zip. <sighs> hey, this is, this is sewing on the edge. Yeah, it always is. It always is. So I'm using just, you literally have to feel your way on this. But as long as you keep that lined up, you'll be fine. And you'll notice when I added my zip, I added my zip and I've got quite a, a lot of the zip and the zipper itself hanging out of the side. Now I'm going to have to let go of the light. Yeah. You ready? Go on. Woo, there oh, we go. Put your shades on, everyone. <laughs> so, right, I'm going to take that out. Now you see the zip that I've given you is longer than the zip that you actually need. And that's because it's a lot easier to sew without the zip being in the way. Yeah. And then once we're in position, we can just zip that back into the mm -hmm, center. Mm -hmm. So from here, we are going to fold it, just press it. Ah, now so you this don't is, this be, is the crucial one. Yes. Now you don't right. want to be too, you don't want to be right on top of that edge because that's when your uh, zip it. may catch. And you don't want to stitch too close to that edge because, again, you've got to allow the zip the movement. So I'm probably around about uh, eighth, three, eighth, maybe three sixteenths yeah. away from there. So I'm going to press that and in place. Now you will do that. You, uh, yes, you've got to keep it. the zip closed and this out of the way while you do it because okay. that's when you're going to get your nice flat lines. So I'm going to just give that a little finger press and then come back in and top stitch along that edge. And once that's in place, we're going to add the next piece. So the next piece goes on. I'm going to flip the, the whole lot just so you can see. Now we've given you extra on this piece if i just pull it along you'll see there you go there's extra on here now that's because 
Not everybody puts the zip in the same way. And if I give you pieces that are exactly cut to size and you sh overshoot a little bit or you use bigger seam allowances, not intentionally, just, you know, that's the way your machine's set up, then you're always going to be a bit short. So we've given you a bit extra on this. So once you've got to this stage and that's stitched in properly, you're going to trim that away. So I'm going to go ahead, top stitch this, okay. trim that off, and then if you can give me a couple of minutes to do that, no problem make sure at all. you've got some numbers to do. I'll show you one I whipped up earlier. <laughs> <laughs> now, I will say, that one's got a blue zip in, yours comes with a white, white zip. zip, it's yeah. just when I was making the videos, it was a little bit difficult to see the white as you saw with the yeah. bright lights. So sometimes it's easier for demo purposes. So that's how that zip ends up um, looking. Um, and of course that gives you all of that space, not just at the bottom, but at the top as well, which is really, really good. Um, and then you've got the three sections to that and the other little pocket. So we'll carry on through that project in a wee while. Very, very busy for the bundle of the two Fabazines together. But oh my word, you're loving this and I knew you would. Over 40% of the entire stock has sold out and gone and I am not at all surprised. This is brilliant. Now yours comes to you flat packed, very, very easy to assemble, comes with your instructions. You can get 32 full meters um, on this or 64 half meters. Now obviously the fabric's not included, but what is included are your little inserts here. And what happens is basically you will wrap your um, fabric around your inserts, they will slot inside there, and it's almost like having mini bolts in front of you. Now isn't this one of the best and most attractive ways of actually stashing your fabric? Rather than, I'm guessing what you have in place right now is some deflecto or other storage around and it's just in piles. Do you know what I mean? And, and there's a pile in that box over there, and there's a pile in that box over there, oh, and there's some under that box over there that I never really see anymore. Isn't this a great way of just organising, and actually organising your fabrics by colour palettes, through the rainbow, contrasts, you know, batiks, putting all of your batiks together, yeah, collections. Absolutely, yeah. Fabrics in collections. So maybe that's how you want to organise it. This is and just brilliant. You um, do get, I must say, you do get 32 with it. Yes. And you can get additionals um, as a separate item. Yeah, in fact, we're going to bring in the details in these uh, 32 more mini bolts. So you get 32 already. So um, that would do your 32 meters wouldn't it yes but if you want an additional 32 uh what we uh, we've got the details there 22.99 what you can do is actually make it up double it up to 64 um, and have half meters on each actually there's a freedom saving on that one as well 20 pounds and 69 pence it's such a good idea and i love the way it moves it's so fluid it's so smooth and of course if i just if i show you the top of this for a second i mean there's extra storage in the middle as now there we, is I'll we be have careful, in the worry. past made storage elements that go in the centre there as well, well which kind of go on a little cake stand and pull out. Well I'm just thinking Good, as well there'll be a lots of people that want to decorate that top as well let's not just leave that as MDF let's get the gel mediums on keep it. My, I keep my spare bolts in it yeah. is what oh, I, no, use I mean it for the top though decorating the top donut you know to, to key in with the room that it's in or whatever. Now can you cover that in fabric before you, you could, actually fix yeah, it? You, you could, could do, couldn't you? We're actually trying to make a bigger one that's a stool a stool? There's a stool and can store your fabric at the same time. Can you spin on it as well? Yeah, of course oh, you can. Oh, amazing. Listen, it's do not you get this while it's on? It if you can't spin on it. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> uh, right, listen, 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 listen. Half of the stock of this has gone. So it is either going to be, it's going to be, well, listen, we've got exactly half an hour of the show to go, and that's when that price will revert back to its brilliant $59.99. Um, but it's $29.99. It's $29.99 right now. Get hold of this while you can, um, and do get the extra 32 as well. So if you want to do half meters, half meters, you'll have 64. So Sorry, uh, let me make this make sense. There are 32 of these in this when you buy your fabric go round and they will do 32 half metres. No, 32 full metres. But if you buy an extra 32 of these, then you can have 64 of these in there with half metre pieces in them and really go to town and stack it. Has this got 64 in it right now, Hayley? Uh, obviously, there's a couple of little gaps, but yes, yeah. more or less. So this is it pretty much jam-packed. So it doesn't need to be as jam-packed as this if you want. With that, we've got half metres on there, but you can still kind of get your fingers in to get them in and out. Oh, if yeah, you put, easy. If you put more on, then you would really, really struggle to get them oh, in and out. Oh, OK, listen, um, 
if you're sitting and you're thinking, oh, well, I'll do that later while I've, while I've, when I've watched the show and everything else, 60% um, of the stock now of this has sold out and gone. I am not at all surprised. It's brilliant. And, and listen, I can't wait for that other version to come along that's being developed right now that incorporates fabric storage into a stall as well. I mean, that's just perfect, isn't it? Um, and it looks, doesn't it look amazing? I mean, obviously fabric not included. I mean, it's a deal, but it's not that good a deal. Um, for 29.99 though, I'm sure you've got so many places where your fabric is right now, taking up space in your drawers and things like that right now. You know, plastic boxes here, there and everywhere uh, with your fabric. A compact footprint. Yes, When you it consider is. 32 metres of fabric. Yeah. That'd be a quite a stack and it's and I love the way it moves it is so so fluid and actually do you know what it just adds a touch of class to that space and it, it will sit nicely in a corner for you so and you just can paint show it you to match your decor as well so you can paint yes. the top and the yeah, sides you can decorate and things the top what I would got say is if you are going to paint it don't paint in between those slots where the bolts need to run in and out of because you obviously don't want to um, paint and fabric well, not not paint in the fabric it's more you don't want to make it any thinner even that cone to fabric could make it thinner and you wouldn't be able to slide the bolts as easily as you yes can. yeah oh no no no. I mean use the fabric to decorate the actual the actual oh, yeah. thing itself as well it's absolutely brilliant um, again very very busy now two-thirds of the stock sold out and gone don't forget to add to your order the details at the bottom of the screen which is 32 more of the mini bolts so if you buy the fabric go round it comes with 32 but if you want to buy another 32 to bulk it up um, into the 64 because you'll have loads and loads of fabrics um, I'm sure then you can that's got a freedom price on it as well that one down there as well 20 pounds and 69 pence I think it is as well so if you want the fabric go round as all of you do right now and I'm not surprised um, it is great it is great to have um, and you know what I wonder how much of your collection will go on to your first one or whether maybe you'll add a second one and stack on the top do you know what I mean? You could very easily do that, couldn't you? Because they are so sturdy and so stable, you could have one on top of the other, no problem. The reason I possibly wouldn't try that is because the Lazy Susans are rated for a certain weight. Oh, I see. So the top one would probably spin fine, but you may right. have a little bit of a struggle with the bottom one. That's the only reason I wouldn't stack them, but I am... But I like the look. ...making a bigger one. Oh, she's making bigger a bigger one, one, everyone. So grab this one. Now while you can. Okay, four-fifths of the stock now, 80% sold out and gone. It is a brilliant price tag. That price tag goes up in 27 minutes. So just be as quick as you possibly can. Right, let me show you the bundle again of the Fabazines, because actually, strictly speaking, that's what we're here to talk to you about in this hour. Uh, we've got off in lots and lots of different directions. So these are, this is the bundle of the two Fabazines. So the one-day special, which is issue two, which is hot off the press right now with its 12 projects, and issue number one, which you may not have seen. It wasn't launched as a one-day special. It appeared in a couple of shows and was really, really popular back in April. Again, it's 12 projects in there. But this is the bundle of um, issue one and issue two together so 24 and a third projects in there nearly it's nearly 250 pounds worth of project isn't it and we're looking at less than 80 pounds now when we say that this is nearly 250 pounds worth of projects it's not just the instructions to do the projects it's the panel to do the projects if you need a zip if you need a loom as in the one day special in issue two you get all of those things included as well so everything you need is really there um, the MDF elements as well are really really fun the little owl cross stitch is brilliant let me show you the finished one of that actually because it's in the pro uh, pocket of the tidy there it's really really sweet isn't it it's absolutely brilliant so that's the bundle of the 279.98 now that's on extended delivery so that's now going out on the 27th of June which is a week from now so someone tells me I have no idea don't need to keep track of the days of the weeks at the moment do you really uh, have no idea it could be Thursday I have no idea 79 pounds and 98 pence do have a good look at those on the website as well because it will show you through all of the projects so let's have a look at the one day special projects as well because there are 12 and a third shall we say projects in the one day special it's brilliant they are fantastic and so many different techniques that you'll be using as well um, you'll be weaving i haven't had a chance to weave yet now what's happened with you in this hour missus normally i can't get a word in edgeways oh i snapped a needle oh i see that's what's happening so, so there's foundation piecing 
Sorry. Okay, she's fixed. It's all right. No, it's fine. I've still um, been chipping in. There's, there's lots know. of... I know, but I haven't got any weaving done yet. Like I've, got, I've got a loom here, and, and, and there's not really much going on yet. Anyway, so... Let me just show you. Oh, right. Okay, sorry. Uh, so many things going on in this hour. It's crazy. Now, the um, fabric go round is now limited stock. Um, we knew it would be already. I mean, it was 80% just a couple of minutes ago. In fact, it has now technically sold out. So if you do, all that means every single one is allocated in a basket right here. Please do make sure that you check out your baskets. You know I never nag about things like that at all, but do check out as quickly as you possibly can um, if you've got that. I don't know, can we, is there, can we, may we? No. Oh, that's it. Right, okay, well, there you go. It was a happy hour then, wasn't it? Um, so... Back to your um, Fabazine then, which is your one day special. This is issue number two. Just wanted to flick you through the instruction book as well because um, Hayley's instructions are absolutely brilliant. Really, really simple. And listen, when I say instructions, they're not really instructions. They're more like guidance, really. They're more like, here's your starting point, off you go. You know, you take this in as many different directions as you like, but the techniques that you'll need are all going to be in there. And there are video backups, Hayley, as well, aren't there? go live i think it's tuesday or wednesday that okay. they pop up online cool. uh, just to give people a chance to get hold of the fabazines before all of the uh, yep. the videos go yep. up um, and there are two videos that i've redone from the first one because we had corrupted files on a couple of things so we've yep. redone those as well so if you're going for the bundle, which is the two Fabazines together, uh, issue one and issue two in the bundle here at 79.98, there's going to be video backups for all of the projects in issue one and this one, which is issue two. I, I don't ask about issue three. Uh, let, let's just... Have you? Uh -huh. I th yeah. Do you know, I thought you might have done somehow. Just started it. Well, come, well, come on, you can't just say nope. that much. Oh, no. It's got to be, I like it being a surprise. Because then I can I can give you kind of sneaky peeks as because I like to test the projects out first. Okay. Because there's no point in putting a project in there and thinking oh that looks good, but unless you've actually sewn it and you actually know how it works and what can make it better, then I like to have the test them first. So I'm not going to commit just yet, but again another nice range of projects. So there's there's yeah. I think Do it's like brilliant. That? Now, you need um, some stuff to put in it. I know. What you, you know, I'm just going to repeat what I, what I said in the earlier okay. show. Close your ears. Close your ears. Because you won't want to hear this. So this is your little... This is a great way of using up mugs that are chipped and you don't use. You know the mugs that sit at the back of the cupboard that you haven't seen for years and years and years and you don't use them anymore, but you keep them for some strange reason. Um, this is actually for... Sto what, what was this intended for storage of, Hayley? Uh, well, all of your sewing bits and pieces. Yeah, so, so things like your crochet hooks, your um, seam rippers, your little scissors... All of those things, your yeah, heat erasable markers, your chalks, anything like that. Because you've got eight little pockets around the outside and you've got four pockets on the inside plus the centre piece as well. And here's my little idea. Not listening. She's not listening. Cover your ears. Um, what I would what I would do is obviously put a waterproofing on all of the fabric that I was going to make this out of. And I'm quite into succulents at the moment. So I put, you know, you know how you get those succulents that are lo loads of little heads. So I put a big one there in the middle, fill this full of soil and put a big one there in the middle and use these little pockets for what are called the pups. You know, the little ones that you can grow off the side. I think that would look lovely in years time. Hayley doesn't like that idea for some reason. Mm. She's poo-pooed it all morning. Just because I've spent ages sewing it, now you're going to put mud in it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. That's my issue with it. <laughs> well, when you say mud, I I'd say peat-free <laughs> compost. Does mud. that make a difference? No. OK, no. <laughs> moving on. What should we do next, then, <laughs> while I stand here okay. looking embarrassed? <laughs> what are you going to do? OK, so I am going all the way round this edge. Because this is one we're going to use with bias binding, um, I'm sewing all the way around the edge of here just to hold it all in place while we put the last of it together. And I'm almost there. I've just got the last little tiny bit to do, so I shall show you this. And the bit that I snipped off the end, I've, I've hung on to that because I mean, it's quite pretty. If, it you is, wanted, yeah. well, if you wanted to make a little uh, button loop, you could easily kind of fold that into a, a kind of bias binding tape and then round into a little yeah. button loop because there's a plenty of it. So don't necessarily get rid of that because you could use it. Do you uh, know we can see perfectly now what you're doing on the sewing machine now we take that no, light I've turned up. the light out and it's dark. Yeah, well, we, put it, we stuck a bit see. of tape over right. it, didn't we? Okay, so this is, this is my zip uh, in and my front and back panels uh, attached so you can kind of see it starting to to take shape 
there now. Yeah. So what I need to do now is just take off these excess pieces of uh, zip. So this kind of zips open. Oh, I've got it stuck on. Oh, it's a bit of thread. Hang on. <laughs> ah. It's that little it's bit of thread there. Like telly, that's why that's yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's all right. There we go. It's just a little bit of thread that got caught in it. So that's my top zip. Now, at the minute, that just creates a whole big pocket that goes all the way down. But we are going to sort that out in just a second. So that Ooh, creates you could have, our you could have first done that, pocket. Uh, with a with like a thermal lining, couldn't you, for your flask? You could have <laughs> a flask holder there, couldn't you? So flipping this up creates our first pocket. And um, we'll want to put a little bit of uh, bias binding on there in a second. How do you know how far to take it up? There's little marks printed ah, okay. on the fabric. So if, I, if you have a look at the bottom there, brilliant. there's little kind of marks printed on either side. And that will tell you where to fold. Can you just see them there? And that's on the panel? That's printed on the panel, yeah. So brilliant. you'll fold to there and that will create your first pocket. Now, I can't remember which order my pockets are. Could you show me Shall my I show pockets? You? There you go. Lovely, thanks. <laughs> and then this one, we fold in half, add some bias binding, and then there's notches marked there. That creates the flap for the bottom one. This one folds in half, and then we've got, um, again, some bias binding that'll go on the top edge of that. So we will use this nicely creased one as the bottom edge. We've got some bias binding for the top edge. And then there's another little mark on there somewhere. And Can that will give us our guide for our next pocket. And then once they're all on, and you've got... I tend to put the pockets on first and then stitch the bit for the zip to stop things sliding down. Yeah, yeah. Because sometimes you might... You, want to, you might want to change it. You might want to have a much deeper mm -hmm. bottom pocket. Yep. Miss the middle one out completely and just have it so it folds in half. You can play about with it. You've got Once you've got the concept and you've got the design of how to put it together, you can play about with this as much as you like. Right, listen, I, I might be taking you off track a little bit. But we love off-piste. Well, I know. Right, OK, so, so let's do a quick A to Z of bias binding then because okay. one... One, why it's called bias binding. Two, what it does. And three, how it. to make it. First. Okay. Hang on. I'm going in my bag. Because it oh. always, I think people hear these terms like bias binding and they okay. think, I have no idea what that means. Right. Okay. So, this is bias binding. This, this one comes on a roll and this is exactly the one that you will get. So, um, what you would do from here is to use it, you are going to take the edge of whatever you're working on. Take it either side. So first of all, I would I would probably iron that in half because then you're going to know that those edges are lined up absolutely precisely. Uh, and then you're going to put it either side and then you're going to stitch through as close. You don't want to be right on the edge of here because you don't want to risk kind of uh, missing the edge completely. But what you do want to do is you want to be close enough to the edge that you're not going to have a great big flappy bit hanging around. Can I, can so, I go back to question one just very, very yeah, quickly? Sorry, I forgot what question one why was. Why it's called bias binding? Ah, it's called bias binding because it's cut on the bias of the fabric. Which means? I don't have any big bits of fabric to show you. Nor do I, sorry. Uh, okay, this, this end of here might be enough. Okay, so if I chop this piece off and we'll work with this piece. So... A uh, bias binding is cut on the bias. So the bias means the kind of 45 degree angle. So if I cut uh, a 45 degree piece off of here, and I'll show you the difference. So that, and then I want the same again. Right. This is going to, it's pretty rough, but it'll illustrate the point. And then if I just cut a straight piece, to show you the difference. See, I've never seen anyone do this, and, and this will be really, you really interesting. You would do it much more No, 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 it's, fine, no, no, it's this, the principle that counts, is, okay. not, not the accuracy. So, that's because it's cut on the 45 degree angle, and I've now got uh, warp threads and weft threads running at a crisscross, yeah. like that. What that means is, that has a natural stretch to it, mm -hmm. because I'm not pulling the, because that, that one's cut where the warp threads are going like this and like this. Yeah. Because that's a solid thread, there's no movement in there. But because the threads are cut on a crisscross, like that, 
that means that they're, they're not kind of pulling straight, they're pulling diagonally against each other and that's what gives what is a non-stretch fabric that little bit of wiggle room. And that's and really important because it is allows what you're you to go need. around corners. Yeah. That's yeah. what we're going to need to go around the curves and the corners. If you're just going doing a straight corner, like this one here, obviously you tuck those edges in, but if you're just doing a straight corner, you can get away with normal binding because you're going to be able to just go around that corner with a little tuck. If you're trying to go around a curve with normal binding, you are going to end up, because there's no stretch in it and there's no movement in it, yeah. you're going to end up with, with puckers like that. Thank so you, because I, I think a lot of people thing, hear that and they think, well, why? Why, why do I cut my fabric If I do the same what thing with this make? one, you can see how much flatter that's sitting already, yeah. Yeah. just with a little bit mm -hmm. of a, a tug on it to, to stretch those fibres, because they're not stretching, because cotton doesn't stretch, cotton's fixed, and yeah. when you're trying to pull it in the direction that it's the, the fibres are laid, you're not going to get anywhere. That's why you need that 45 degree cross and that 45 degree angle so you can actually stretch have that little natural bit of stretch and that's what will help you get around the corners fabulous thank you because i think that a lot of people just you know that, that's a sticking point sometimes so the next step on this we might not get this finished in this hour but we'll do the same as we did last time we'll kind of finish one in the next hour and yeah. keep keep it rolling so for these um i am just going to uh, stitch up the sides i tend to like with the bias binding because if you're trying to hold the fabrics in position and get the binding on at the same time, you're always going to come a cropper. Mm -hmm. So it's much easier to just put a stitch around the edge first and then go ahead and, and stitch it in place. Now, this bias binding that we've given you is uh, it's an inch wide to start off with. So when you fold it in half, you're ending up with half an inch. So as long as you can keep your stitching within um, a, a quarter inch, then you're fine. I tend to go a lot closer to the edge just because I'm used to using stuff that's a little bit thinner and about half the thickness of this. So. And, and just and just very, very quickly, you've made and supplied a bias binding yeah, it's all as in there. part of the kit, yep. but you can make your own bias binding just how, like Hayley did with that piece you of can fabric. Make, yeah, if you want to put a different fabric. one on, say you wanted to put a, a light blue or a light pink that went with this, some of those star fabrics mm. um, that we had on earlier with Fabric Freedom, they are all similar tones to what's in this kind of forest mm. fabric. The forest fabric is available as a um, pick and mix. There's a yes. fabric pick and mix as well. Yes. So I'm going to just whiz around the core, all the, these edges to seal this, okay, and then what? we'll put the bias binding on that first straight one because the straight is the easiest one to start with. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and do the others. Okay. Quick question while you do that, then. Yes. Um, could I make? Can I make? Um, bias binding out of something like a batik, which is more. Yep. Why not? More together. Why not? Because it's and got the a different. Best, the best thing now there are. We should do a proper show on this one day because there are techniques where if you cut and sew bits of the fabric together before you start cutting, you can actually get it to create a continuous piece of bias binding. So uh -huh. rather than having to cut lots of little strips and sew them yep. together you can get it to do a continuous piece. Now, I will say, uh, I don't think I have a join in this one. Sometimes the piece of bias binding you get will have a join in, and the piece I actually used to sew that sample has a join in. Once it's stitched up, you will not, so I'm gonna challenge you to find it now. Yeah, I wouldn't know. No, there is a join in there, but um, because it's this is kind of pre-made, yeah. you won't see it. So don't worry you've, if you get a join in yours, you won't see it when it's you've stitched. You've disguised up. it. No, um, I haven't. It was just stitched in. It's very good. <laughs> it's very, I never would have known. Right, I'm going to, uh, can you give us a minute so I can get this finished um, and yes, then I'll... Yes, okay. Right, okay. I'm going to tell you then about, because I mentioned batik fabrics, because I remembered from the earlier show, we've got a brilliant pick and mix on batik fabrics today. Any five out of the 20 fat quarters there are to choose from, which is really, really good, any five of those, £14.75. And, and actually, do you know what? There are colours there to suit absolutely everyone. Um, you've got amazing, I'm going to pick up some of my favourites because they are absolutely beautiful. And uh, we'll have to remember, oh, this is good. It's like picking numbers out of countdown. Loving it. I'm just going to show you just um, a few. Where shall I go? Shall I? I'll stay here. I'll stay here. Go on. Yeah. Yeah. Little one from the top and three from anywhere else. That's what I've done. 
Um, these are amazing. And these are fat quarters, and you choose any five out of the 20 there are to choose from um, for just £14.75. And, and this is a really, really good quality batik as well. Um, can you see how the colour, we can see from there, can't you? The colours just leap out of these fabrics amazingly. I think batiks are incredible at mixing different colours together. And this will really appeal to you if you're a crafter that likes making your own backgrounds, um, you know, with your various mediums. That's this on fabric, isn't it? Because it's not tie-dye. It's almost like nothing you've seen before, isn't it? They're just four out of the selection of 20 that are on the website on a pick and mix today. Pick any five of those for just £14.75, which is brilliant because batiks can be very, very costly, Hayley, can't they? And these are actually a fantastic quality batik. They're from Fabric Freedom, and uh, that's what Claire has used to do that foundation piece that yes. she's done. Yeah, let me show you the that, actually. It's, yeah. it's kind of dingling off the front a little bit. Yeah, it's just this bit. one, Hannah, at the front here, the purple one here at the front. I'm not going to pick it up because I'll just destroy yeah, everything, you, everything else, If you try and pick that up, everything yeah. else is going down. And, <laughs> and that foundation piecing is, is like a... Painted by numbers, isn't it? Is, it is, and um, that one's done with four different colours, I think, either three three or four on there. Um, but you can easily use a fat quarter. Yeah. You know, well, two or three fat quarters to complete that. That beautiful. Isn't that good? That's one of the 12 projects from um, Fabazine Issue 2, which is your one-day special, uh, which you're getting if you're buying the one-day special or if you're buying the bundle with two. Uh, either way, you're going to get that as one of the projects as well. And there are three different ways that you can actually execute execute that one project which is really really good the wordy today it's, it, i don't know it's Do you a... know usually when it's all kind of big words like that coming in it's because we're playing a game with the producers to yes, see, see who we can, can slip get a word exactly in to the show but today yeah. not that not yeah, that we quite, ever play that game these, if the bosses are watching. Yeah, quite often on, <laughs> on channels like this, with, like there are challenges going around to see, if, can you slip in the word so-and-so? Oh, so yeah. you might be talking about <laughs> cuddly toys, but you've got to slip in the word, uh, I don't know. And Yanis mm, and I are kind of March masters whatever, I don't know. at that. We've got a, a big oh, battle terrible. going on it's with that. It's a terrible game. It's very, very <laughs> naughty. It's not big. It's not clever. Um, and it does nothing for sales. Um, anyway, £79.98 um, is your price tag for the for the for both the two Fabazines together. An amazing bundle. As you can see there, it's nearly £250 worth of projects for less than £80. It's very, very busy all round. We're on extended um, on this one. 27th, so not a lot longer. We're talking literally a week today. Um, it'll take that long for Hayley to get the videos that accompany all the projects onto the uh, onto the website as well when you get your um, Fabazines. Um, and they are brilliant. And actually, you couldn't wish for more instruction. You've got the, the, the booklet, you've got the, the videos to back it up. You can come back and watch these shows again if you're really desperate. Because <laughs> 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 you won't get much doing in these shows. That's the no, thing, isn't it? No, well, we, I do try. I have all the good intentions, but then... But then I ask silly questions. Yes, and then I end up showing you what binding means. Yeah, let's but anyway, blame me today. I, I have done some, and I am kind of putting this one together. So I've just got a piece of the bias binding, and it's always good to start on the straight pieces first. I know we haven't got long, so I'll do this as quickly as I can. So I've just pressed that in half to keep it in position. And bias binding does want to move and it does want to bend. So um, it's easy to start with a, a straight bit and then work your way around from there. I'm just going to sandwich that in between there. And then I'm going to stitch. Again, not so close to that edge but far enough in so I'm definitely going to catch the front and back and it's not going to flap about. Now we do have a universal binding foot in um, one of our bundles somewhere so if you can find that that's a really useful thing to use for this and uh, if you are going to use that you usually need to cut your piece of binding a little bit longer to allow some to flow through the foot. Yeah. So that I'm going to stitch onto there and then that is our pocket that will go in place there. I'll then repeat that same process with the bias binding. Now this is where I am going to crack uh, a load of pins in. So I'm just going to get enough to go all the way around the edge here. And then I'm going to cut probably about an inch longer than I want just to, to make sure. I'm going to press this one in half again. Tiny iron. 
I did, <laughs> I did ring up the uh, producers and say, oh, can you put the tiny iron on? <laughs> um, and it is not called, please do not ring up anybody or look on the internet could for tiny, tiny iron, iron because it does not say that. <laughs> this has got a brilliant Freedom discount on it as well. So it's 19.99 ordinarily. What? But if you're a Freedom member, I mentioned this earlier actually, it is well worth, because actually, you know, a day's worth of shopping at Hochanda, your Freedom membership can pay for itself easily. Um, £11.99 and if you are a Freedom member, uh, if not £19.99. And it is good handy size as well, is it? Not a it, lot of people can accommodate is, in their workspace. It's actually got an awful lot of power as well. It's really, really, it heats up super quick mm -hmm. and it is a dry iron, so um, there's no steam which is really, really good for your fusible webbings, yes. for any of your kind of encaustic art, if you're working with wax, if maybe you are doing um, heat fix vinyl and things like that. Brilliant for it's that, nice isn't it? I think an iron without steam, when you're working with fabric, is brilliant because how many times do you take your regular clothes steam iron and you do what you do every and single time is you press the water button instead of the steam iron <laughs> every time anyway, don't you, first. So you've wet the fabric, which, you know, can affect your project. Um, so having one without and at that kind of size is brilliant. But yeah, the price it is, is really ridiculous. handy. It is really handy. You for can pay more than that for projects. one of those little travel irons. And that won't, this is a 240 volt rated one. So this yeah. is, is kind of made for the UK and proper voltage. You're not going to have to, you know, find a shaver socket to put it yeah. into or anything like that. Yeah, shaver socket. Do we still have those? I think hotels still have some, don't okay. they? Do we, do we still have them? It's like CDs before, isn't it? I have it? to buy loads of those adapters that those plugs you, that go into, yeah. do you know what I mean, <laughs> to charge up like the travel brushes adapter and things. shavers and things. Oh, there must still be them. Okay, so to start that <laughs> off, I've just put a couple of pins in there. And with the curves, it is worth just kind of pinning it, moving it about a little bit, because you are going to have to stretch out that outer curve. And if you just hold it in place, and again, just move it gently, you will get it, and you'll get it so it sits nice and flat. And once you've got to that stage, that's when you are going to kind of start to stitch it down. But you just need to take your time a little bit. You can see, because I've stretched it now, it's sitting a lot flatter. It's one of those um, patience is a virtue yeah, task, but it once is. you and get it, the knack... It's just doing a little bit at a time, and it's also kind of remembering to just give that bias binding a little bit of a, a stretch as you go around and you can see now it's sitting far more kind of flatly and if I can just we get, give that a little get press the, as well. Um, is there some bias binding available if people just wanted some bias binding? I haven't got any at the minute but um, it's something that we are kind of looking into buying uh, you know, bringing a bigger range of it so well, it is I, available kind of on the I think the, if you think of the amount of different of projects that people are probably look at the screen right now going, oh, you know what, that's just what I need for... That's the bit that people hate is making the bias binding. Yeah. But you can see now that's sitting lovely and flat. There's the straight one. There's the curved one. I'll just move that's that. That's beautiful. That's probably better, isn't it? There you go. And shall I show you the one that I whipped up earlier? Yes. <laughs> Well done, Derek. Oh, do you know what? I'm, I'm improving by the day, can't you see? Um, this is one that Hayley whipped up, actually. Uh, it's brilliant. It's really, really good. And that's really, really handy. And, and also, that's almost like one of those sort of trifold wallets. In fact, you could stabilise that and make it into a wallet yeah, if you, you wanted could, to. Yeah, you could add um, either a stabiliser if you wanted it to remain quite thin, or mm -hmm. you could add a, a batting or a wadding into there as well. It's brilliant. And I, I love how much storage there is. In fact, you could add, add a little um, hook to that, can you? You know when you go away to a hotel or something oh, to like hang that, it so up. you can hang it up. Yeah. Just for bits and pieces that you don't want to leave behind in a hotel and or things like that. Or even maybe just jewellery. Little, yes, bits, of, that's true, little yeah. bits of jewellery and things, necklaces, yeah. watches. Why am I talking about hotels? Hotels, remember them. <laughs> it's like your anyway, CDs. <laughs> listen, that's it. I, uh, thank you so much. Thank you for ever. three hours of You're, Derek. I know, three hours together. And look, we're still talking. I know. It's amazing. And we even FaceTimed a duck together earlier. <laughs> That's another story. Uh, anyway, so you're back at four, aren't you, with... Uh, Adam. With Adam. Yeah. So For be a final little bit, call. A little bit more bickering. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. More of the same. 
Um, <laughs> see you later. Thank you, lovely Hayley. Um, listen, please do check out if you've got your bundle, if you've got your Fabazi, the one day special, uh, if you've got the bundle together, well done on the happy hour as well. That needs to come back as quickly as possible and the big size one and the stool one where you can go round and round and round in a stool. That sounds absolutely brilliant. Uh, please do check out. Thank you. Amazing team. That was a brilliant, brilliant hour, I have to say. And don't forget, Hayley will be back for final call at four o'clock. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye. And that starts with another hour of Graphic 45 with Rachel after the break. And then you've got Adam and Janice seeing you through your afternoon. Pearly Winks, Be Crafty and so much more. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day, there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace. And so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia. And along the way, I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers. And that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start, and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passementry. Mark and I work hard designing the kits and developing innovative tools to make all of these traditional crafts more accessible to the modern user. We're really pleased to be part of the Hochanda family and I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows here on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Petrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work. And at Clarity, we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. 
So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hello, a very good afternoon to you. How are you? Happy Saturday. This is Hochanda. My name is Rachel. Thank you for joining us here today. And uh, we've got a lovely show. We did this, oh, it feels like at least 17 hours ago. It was actually this morning at 7 o'clock. Um, and we did this Graphic 45 show and some lovely things on the show, very popular items, and also our fantastic guest as well. Should we? I can't even see her at the end of the studio now. They've put her so far away from me that. Well, I can't see her. She's round the corner. <laughs> Tina! Hi. There you are. Hey, Tina! So, yo, so you are literally going to have to torch the camera now because you I can't will. see me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> can't see you at all um, now. <laughs> but Tina is going to be demonstrating for us a little bit later on in the show, which is fantastic. Have you got some nice things planned, Tina? I have, yes. We've got a nice little box here and then we've got a little album. Ooh, lovely. Okay, well, we shall come back to you, Tina, later on in the show. So thank you very much for joining us here today, live in the studio. Um, should we have a look at what we're going to get? Now, the theme of the show is mini kit, mini kit, saving, saving, big kit from the two mini kits, bigger saving. There you go. Let's not even mention the stickers. They are a bone of contention because I... I, I know I just mentioned them, but I, I can't remember if they come with or without, so we'll just do it as we go through. Ah, there you go. The mini kits have the stickers, the complete collections don't. Don't know why. Can you buy the stickers by themselves? <laughs> okay. It's so getting even more confusing. So let's have a look at this kit first of all. Um, this is the first kit that we're going to look at. And um, it is beautiful. We're talking about mystical, magical fairies, mermaids is what we're talking about. We're talking about, if you've ever had your tarot cards done, these kind of look a little bit like that, which I'll show you in a second. But it is another world, another world. And you've got beautiful colours in there. These blues and these popping mustards and lemons and greens. And um, really kind of dreamy. And they send you off into a fantastical place. I'm just going to show you this first of all before we look through anything because I just want to give you an idea of the kind of thing that you could be making with these wonderful papers. Something like that which is a gorgeous gorgeous book and you can see as you can open it up look you could make a wonderful wonderful journal or something to put all of your tickets in and things like that but an absolutely beautiful beautiful book and you could also make something like that to hang on your wall which would be very nice. And if you wanted, you could make something like that. Oh, now the reason that these projects are so interesting and so varied and so different is because of the papers, the designs, the colors, and the kind of mood behind the papers as well. And all these little elements, that, of course, you can cut out from the papers. So really, really very beautiful indeed. So should we have a look through what you're going to actually get? got the papers here for you double-sided of course because it is graphic 45 they are 12 by 12 so great for your scrapbooking eight designs two of each and you can see uh, an upside down piece of paper there we are so look at that beautiful blues and this popping yellow and mustard and you know the words as well it does just sort of take you on a journey and then you have got lovely yellows and I love this kind of starry night sky with the moons very very beautiful and this one we're saying that's ready to just literally go on the top of the box if you wanted to make a lovely um, box which we've got on the show further down but if you want to just use these strips or just use these cards nothing is unusable here on this paper even the very edging here you could use to to uh, make a border around something and then if you look here beautiful sunflowers really pretty and you've got the other side there and then this one is all about mermaids and mermaids babies um, and you've got the lily pods there pads not lily pods <laughs> lily pads and the words dream 
And then on this one, this is what I said reminded me of tarot cards. Uh, when you have your tarot cards read, um, yes, five of cups or whatever it is. <laughs> From my many years ago when someone read my tarot. Um, so, yeah, lovely, lovely things to cut out and play with. I mean, look at that one. That's just on one colour, but really interesting and great to work with your blues there. So, fabulous. And then this girl here, it reminds me of Alice in Wonderland, this. But, you know, the, the design is fantastic. And then you've got all the strips here and the little squares to cut out as well, which are like little stamps. So all of that working together. So that is your pad. And then you have got your lovely ephemera down there, which, of course, you just pop out. And you have got the stickers. There's that word. You have got the stickers in this collection. Now, you can see the saving there. It is an £8 saving. Yes, it is. £12 savings. Yeah, £12, that's right, because it's £28 in total when you get the two together. £12 saving. Yep, £12 saving. 555551 is your item number, £25.97 if you'd like to get a hold of that. But half of that stock by itself has gone. Let's go on to the other collection now, because this is your other mini collection. So this little 8x8 is the same version as the pad that we've just seen. And then, with this mini collection, you get the mini pad and you get this one. So let's have a look at these papers. So wonderful colours again and backgrounds here. There was a lovely one that we, we zoomed in on and then I flicked past it. Uh, let me see if I can find it again. It's quite hard to hold the paper open. I think it was that one. Yeah, if we just go into the detail on that. It really is very, very beautiful. Mm, look at that. I mean, you could just literally fussy cut out some of those elements, couldn't you? The moons or the castle or the window there with the curtains. You don't have to use the whole piece. So you could just, you could just cut out the sentiments, you know, sailing in the sky, whatever. You could just literally use those sentiments on a card. My bed is a boat. Lovely. So that is that paper pad there. That's your 12 by 12. And then you also get your postcards as well. So you can see here, there's lovely postcards. And they've got this great vintage feel to them as well. Um, yep, there we are. If you just turn those over. And you get loads of these. So you're getting your 12 by 12, your 8 by 8. You are getting your stickers and ephemera, which are these fantastic cards and your pop-out bits as well. So you're saving another £12 on that collection. So that one is 787259, and that is £30.96. But if you want to get the whole thing, minus the stickers, then the price is 12 12 put together, add for £28 is what you are saving. So that's all of it there, 191514, your item number, and 4794. Great thing is, of course, it's on FlexiPay, which is fantastic. So you can divide that cost into two, and it's 2397 today, your first of two. But over half of the stock of the complete set has gone. Most people clearly going for the entire collection. It was actually dispatched to you as well on the 2nd of July, which is not too far to wait. Let's move on. Because we've got the same sort of theme now in that we have um, your two collections. So you've got your mini and then you have got your mini and then you can put it together as a complete collection. So if you have a look at this one, first of all, I shall... Um, oh, I've got the, got the papers here, actually. So this is all about your journey. You get your 12 by 12, your chipboards and die cut assortment. So this is about journeying. So we've got these fantastic 1920s kind of cars really taking us back to that era. The wonderful, glamorous world of the ships like that and all of that there. And then on the back, you can see lovely. That's great. Isn't it? it looks like it's creased. Um, but you've got um, lovely uh, colors and patterns and textural looking items and then you've got things like this the bicycles we were saying today how lovely it was when everybody dressed really smartly and with hats and things like that beautiful little flowers and then you've got the bigger print i mean that just as a printed piece of uh, flower card stuff is fabulous and on the back letters numbers very useful you could as we say fussy cut those out enjoy the journey and that one is like a, a newsprint the sky's the limit. 
get lost together. That sounds awful. Get lost together. <laughs> or get lost together. Isn't it funny how when you phrase something differently, it can be a totally different thing? Yeah, intonation is everything. Right, go for a ride. There you are. So you've got uh, lovely sentiments and words on there. That, I think, is a stunning piece there. Penny farthings. I would not dare try and sit on a penny farthing. No way. They're high up, aren't they? Flowers on the back. Life is a journey. And that one. Let the adventure begin. I love these, though. The aviation is so uh, set in the 20s. Such a strong kind of graphic era. So we're back to the beginning there. So that is your 12 by 12. Now, in this one as well, you are going to get your ephemera, as you can see down there. And you get your die cut assortment as well. So that is 268374. Do you get the stickers? You do. Uh, and that is £25.97 if you would like to get hold of those. Let me just show you as well a couple of things that you could be making uh, with those papers because that is beautiful look. So if that was a journal and you wanted to, um, you know, add in lots of pages, I mean, that is a wonderful, wonderful piece there. So you could be making something like that. But let me also show you this amazing box. Oh, my goodness me. Now, look at that. Now, I did say if you were giving this to someone, what a wonderful, wonderful gift to give to someone. But if you were making this, imagine the fun that you would have making a box like this. I mean, you could really go to town, couldn't you? Yeah, so totally up to you but if you want to buy that kit it is 268374 your item number and that's 2597 12 pound saving you're getting the theme here the next one also has a 12 pound saving if you want to buy this little kit well your little 8x8 is what we've just seen but in the smaller size and then if we just go through the bigger paper pad you will see once again the theme of planes and bikes and things like that Newspapers, lovely colours, flowers, there we go, beautiful. So that is your paper pad there. Then you are also going to get your ephemera, uh, so your other little bits and pieces down there, which are your postcards, etc. And, dare I say it, you get stickers. Oh, you do at last. I'm finally getting to grips with this show. It's about time. It's the second time I've done it. So you get your stickers and then you can make things like that, which is really sweet because it's that could be a bookmark if you wanted to make it smaller, but it could be a door hanger. It could be anything you want it to be. So a really beautiful, beautiful piece. Now that is 265882, your item number, and that is £30.96. Again, a £12 saving. Put the two together. £12, £12 off, another £4 off, £28 if you buy the entire collection. That's why most people are buying the complete collection. And we'll give you the details if you want to buy the two kits together. There we are, 012846, and that is £47.94. Lovely. If you want to go to the website, it is hochana.com. You can shop there. You can also find other things on the show that we haven't come to and other things, of course, from Graphic 45 if you want to shop by brand. So it's all there. Look, those albums, we've got those on the show as well to get together. Um, really very sweet indeed, those pocket albums uh, in black and ivory. So do have a look there on the website because there are some splendid things, including your Freedom membership. Yes, you might want to join the club today. You never know. Today could be the day. Perfect. But it is quarter past one, and that means it's time to see a lovely demonstration. So our Tina is ready. There she is. Okay. So we're going to start off by doing um, a nice little MDF box. And I've covered all of the size apart from one because I get asked quite a lot um, how you can um, have a box that opens like in the middle or slightly at the top um, and then you just get one continual image so I thought it was worth just um, showing so I'm going to add some gel medium onto the MDF now what I'm going to do is I'm not at this point going to put any of the gel medium on the bottom section okay so I'm going to 
pinch them together, but then I'm just going to lay the paper over the whole of the front and then just give it a little press in where the glue is. Okay, now holding that like that and then going to sand the edges as you would normally do. Now you need to hold that quite tight so that it doesn't move because we've not glued that part. Okay. There we go. And then just around the side here as well. And then I'm going to move to the top where it is glued. And just sand that as I would normally do. Okay. I think I need a new sanding block. Might we get there? Okay. So now I've got the top part glued. So now what I'm going to do is just open this and then just manipulate the card around and then I'm just going to gently and carefully sand this part because I want to keep the actual um, wave there intact. So just be really, really careful. give it a nice gentle sand and just be patient try not to pull it away too soon okay so when you start to see it break away then just take that off carefully there so we've got the parts at the top which we've glued and now this is going to match up exactly for the bottom okay so add my gel medium here And the only part that I need to match, sorry, to sand off is just the bottom piece. Okay, so I'm just holding that tight. It's better if you let it um, dry a little bit. There we go. So there we've got that actually matching now on the front the same as it does all the way around so I think it's worth showing that because it can be a little bit tricky okay so then to decorate the box I have um, fussy cutted out the little mermaid and the little fairy there so I'm just gonna add I'm sort of bending it around my fingers a little bit just so that I get a little bit more of a shape and then just add some gel medium or you've got your 3D gel whatever you've got you can use your foam pads as well just adding that there to the top just gently just so it gives it a little bit of lift there we go okay and then I'm going to add some of my leaves that come with the beautiful uh, graphic 45 flowers that you get okay pop that across the top there and then we've got um, some beautiful um, chipboard elements here just going to cut my um, ribbon down a little bit and then that's going to be placed there okay so just there and then I've made again some flowers um, from the matching papers um, but I've also got one of the little roses here as well that I'm going to pop on so again using my gel medium adding some elements there there we go pop that in there okay and then I'm going to just add a 
couple of my gems which are the little pearl gems so they've got like a matte finish to them but they are beautiful you don't always want them to be you know too shiny so this gives a lovely little matte effect again in threes as that's you know more pleasing on in the eye and then got my little rose here oops a little bit too much there we go I'm just going to squeeze that under that one okay so then I'm going to move to the sides of the box and I've got some lovely stickers and I'm just going to pop them just on the sides so it adds just another little element there okay and then I've got a matching sticker here which matches the top there and I'm going to have that just on there like that okay and then I have another chipboard element which is twinkle and that's just going to sit here now you've probably saw these on um, some other shows that I've done and hopefully they're on the um, up sales but these are the absolutely gorgeous um, feet that graphic 45 do so i'm just going to add in some gel medium they do come with the screws so if you'd prefer to screw them on then you know that would be probably one of the best things to do depending on what box you're using okay and then i'm going to just lift this gently because I don't want my elements to fall off there that I've put on the top. So just working around. Okay. Oops. So you do need these to hold a little bit when you're using the gel. So hopefully let's just hold on to those as we pick it up there we go so you've got the lovely little feet on there as well and we've also got some beautiful journaling cards so I thought that this might be a lovely little box where you can keep all your different little notes in just in the top there whoops my feet have come off so do give your glue obviously time to dry there but there, it just makes such a little box into such a beautiful thing. But what you need are the papers. Thank you so much, Tina. Another lovely demonstration. She's done so many great demonstrations for us today. And there is more to come, so thank you, Tina. Um, lovely. Okay, so if you want to be able to do something like that, you need to get hold of this collection. Now, as you know, there are two separate collections, but we put them together as well. So we're going to focus on the one that's together because that is the one that most people are going for. So three quarters of the complete collection has gone. And that is all of this that you see before you, minus the stickers. So what you get here when you're buying the complete collection is your paper pads. So you're going to get two 12 by 12s. You're also going to get your one eight by eight. You are going to get all the ephemera that you're seeing down here. So your little postcards, your chipboards, etc. Uh, die cuts, all those lovely things that are coming together there. Now all of that, what we've done is we've taken the mini collection and given you a £12 saving. We've taken the other mini collection, given you £12 saving. We've put that together and given you another £4 saving and that comes to £28 off. So although it says £4 on the screen, yes, it's £4 as a complete collection, but it's actually a lot more when you add the two collections up individually. So £28 as a saving. 191514 is your item number. And you can divide that into two. Flexi2397 is your first of two interest-free flexible payments. Let's have a look at what you can make. So this is a lovely item that's been put together here using all those papers. And as we were saying earlier, when you make things like this, yes, they are lovely to, to give, but they are fantastic um, to receive, but also to make. I mean, the fun that you can have, imagine if you made that little pocket there and you could put in your tickets or photos or memorabilia, your thoughts, whatever it is that you want to put down. But these are fantastic papers. Yeah, absolutely wonderful. So 
That is your lovely, lovely book that you could make there. That's one. You can also make something like this that could be a hanging. So you can see there, you can multi-layer that up and do something like that. But if you want to make something that is an object to sit on your mantelpiece or whatever, then something like this. And as I say, <clears throat> the reason that you're able to make things like this is because of these wonderful papers. And you're able to fussy cut all of the elements out there and make something really quite gorgeous. So there you are. Now, if you want to make the, if you want to buy the complete collection, let me tell you that 80% of the stock has now gone. 80% gone. It's 47.94. It's very popular indeed. So 191514 is your item number if you would like to get hold of that collection. It's on the website right now, which of course is hochanda.com. <clears throat> so just to reiterate, two big paper pads, one eight by eight, and all of your ephemera. Shall we have a look at? Uh, how big that collection is in terms of a picture that we have of it because there's an awful lot there is an awful lot of it and there it is so 191514 your item number if you would like to get hold of that entire collection when you're on the website do have a look by the way at everything else from graphic 45 if you shop by brand uh, you can find all sorts of things there we're also doing the same thing with the other collection so this is again a mini and a mini put together complete collection uh, 12 pound saving 12 pound saving put together plus four pound saving 28 pounds saving if you buy it as a complete collection 47.94 and that is also on two flexible payments so 012846 is your item number if you'd like to get hold of it again I will show you a couple of examples this is the sort of thing because this is all about journeys, uh, lots of lovely um, images of travel. So you have got your bikes and cars, penny farthings in there. Got a little bit of steampunk there with your clock, as you can see. And when we turn that round there, you can see how lovely this would be to make as a project. And then if you really want to go to town and do a bigger version of what Tina just did for us there, look at this. And once again, imagine making a box like that and that's the lid there for you so this could be your journey yes crafting is a journey it's not a destination because we never finish doing when we're crafting but that is something that you could be making for whoever it is in your life and you can see the quality of those papers just how beautiful they are typographically and color wise and how they all are just working together so that's the kind of thing you could be making so if you want to get this entire collection it's 012846 and it's 23 pounds and 97 pence your first of two interest-free flexible payments lovely um, so if you want to have a look at uh, what it looks like when it comes to you there it is all spread out in its full technical glory just imagine delving in imagine playing with all of that could be amazing 012846 just for 2397 your first of two interest free flexible payments just pay just over 20 quid today and get all of that delivered back to you right well our Tina is set up now for demo number two so let's see what she's doing for us now okay so we're gonna do a little pocket book here so we've got a lovely um, book that's got little tags in it so you can use it um, for your photographs or you can just um, pop all of your different papers in. Um, I've covered the back already, so I'm going to just do the same for the front. Again, using my gel medium. You could use PVA, you could use the Colal glue. Um, you could use um, your double-sided tape if you wanted to as well. So let's pop that on. Okay, then I've got the little card that goes here at the front. So this is from your um, journaling cards. Okay, so let's just pop some 3D foam on there. There we go. So this would make a lovely travel journal as well. So I'm just going to put it up into that left-hand corner. Okay. And then we've got um, some lovely little tags again from your chipboard elements. And we've also got this, which is out of your die cuts, which is beautiful. So you can either go for the coloured side or the underside, which is black in this instance. Okay. 
So popping that on just here and giving that a little minute to stick. I love using these because it's, it's actually a little lock, but I like using these as arrows as well. Okay. Then I'm going to pop um, the little tag there. Just like that. And then we've got a flower to come in as well. But I think that one's a bit too big for the front of mine, so I'm not going to do that on this um, instance. So I don't want to hide the actual sentiment. So just put in some dabs of glue. And I'm going to add some of the little pearl gems. Okay. These do have a sticky on them but I always like to put a little bit of gel medium on as well so that I know that they will stay there if they get knocked. Okay, whoops, let's pop that back on. So there. So now turning into the book, you've got some beautiful pages here and you've got like the long pages and then you'll have some that are split where your tag can fit in or you can have a photograph that fits in and then you've got a little secret pocket there as well. So we'll do the first four pages. Now I'm going to use the ephemera cards. Okay, so I'm going to have one that's got the image on it and the other one I'm going to turn over so that you can actually put on here what you're going to use this for as a travel journal or whatever it is that you want to use it for. So even if it's just your name or the date that you actually made the journal, it's always nice to... Um, pop dates in things that you're keeping um, a journal on, like a diary. Okay, so let's pop that this side. Okay, so then moving to the next page, I now want to um, match my pages in. So let's take all of my pages here and what I do is I tend to look at the page and see what I want to put where um, and then I can sort of like map out my colour scheme and everything so here we go let's pop some gel medium on this piece here okay then I'm going to match in that piece to go up here. So I'm bringing the, the theme and the colour theme is now spread over my double page spread there. Then this one, instead of having that, I'm going to use the underside of that. These particular papers are from your solids and your patterns. Okay, so that sits nicely there. Then I'm just going to bring in the tag and I'm going to pop some of the paper that I've used on the actual background here just on part of the tag. Okay, so I'm going to go with the blue, just like that, and then turning it over, I can cut just around the actual tag there. Okay, so that just gives it a little bit of colour. And then on the tag, I'm just going to slip one of the stickers. These are really thick stickers as well. They are cardstock stickers. So that's going to go there. And my tag will pop just inside here. You can put a photograph at the back and you can decorate the back as well. Then on my opposite page, I'm going to take one of the border stickers Oops. and 
pop that just along the edge and then snip that off. Okay, and then the remainder I'm going to pop, oops, the right way up. I'm going to pop here, just like that. Okay, let's just take the edge off of that one. Lovely. Okay, so then I've got um, another sticker that I can use and pop here on this one. I've then got another matching sticker that's going to go here like that. And then for my hidden pocket, which is just in here, I've got one of the journal cards and I'm going to add these stickers here. So if I just bring these in so that you can see. So these are the same shape stickers. And in order for me to have something that's going to grab onto, I'm going to pop half of the sticker there, flip it over, and then match the sticker to the underside. So that when it then sits into the pocket, which these um, journal cards do really lovely, then you've got something to actually pull that out there. Okay, so bringing that back in. There we go. That's our lovely little journal. And then you just carry on through the book and use any of the papers and match through with your double pages. Lovely. Do you know, I think when you when you look at books like that sometimes, you can think to yourself, how on earth do I start? But when yes. you've got the papers uh, and you've seen what Tina is doing there, you, you just literally play, don't you? You just cut up the bits, put them in, and, and then just sort of play around before you glue things down. And uh, I think it helps when you have got the papers and the images to start with. So when you've got a lovely 1920s car or you've got a lovely penny farthing or something like that, it kind of gives you a starting point. So you can just literally pop these things down and then just do some footy cutting and, and get other bits and add them in. And I think you'll find yourself really quite inspired. So if you've never done anything like that before, I would give it a go. Because Life is about living and trying something new, isn't it? So that's a good one. So let's talk about this complete collection here then, because this is uh, limited stock now. So most people are going for this one. It is limited stock. So $23.97, your first of two interest-free flexible payments. For $23.97, you are going to get all of this home today. Now that is two 12 by 12 pads, one 8 by 8 pad, uh, pad the chipboard and the ephemera that is an awful lot of stuff and here you've got this kind of fantastical thing going on you've got mermaids you have got people in the sky you've got the lovely starry skies and moons uh, you have got fairies in there uh, you've got this wonderful blues and dreamy backgrounds there and then the little girl and you've got the flowers so I think you've got lots of things to play with here and sentiments those those pop-out bits are great for as we just saw there, decorating or you could just use them as labels for presents um, but really a fantastic collection for the money superb value I don't know how graphic 45 do it in terms of the designers that do all of this work and then they have it for these prices but it really is exceptional value and if you want to be able to create projects that could be scrapbooking it could be card making it could be boxes as we have seen it could be something like this if I just show you this book um, that will give you an idea of what uh, you could be making. So you can see there how lovely that is. And then as we open it, I mean, look, what person wouldn't want to have a look in this book? And you could put tickets and photographs in there if you wanted, but really very, very pretty indeed. And I just love this kind of dream uh, scope of it all. And then we've got this one here, which you could hang, which is very pretty. And then this one, which, as we say, is taking it to another level, really. And that's all about those papers. And as you can see, fussy cutting elements out. It does look like Alice in Wonderland, doesn't it, a little bit? There's definitely a bit of a 
inspiration there for me. That's what I see. So if you would like to get hold of that collection, it is 191514. And as I say, it is 4794. Your first flexible payment today, just over £20 plus your postage. Now, the other collection, of course, same theory. So a £12 saving, a £12 saving, add £4 equals a £28 saving. And this is the same thing again. So you are getting a £12 saving, a £12 saving, add £4, £28 as a saving if you buy the entire collection, which is why I think a lot of people are going for it, because they're thinking that really is exceptional value. This is all about life being a journey. So again, you're going to get your two 12 by 12 pads. You then get your smaller version as well of one of those pads. And this has got wonderful pictures of uh, cars from the 20s, and uh, you've got things like the uh, penny farthing cycles there. Uh, it's all about adventures like the sailboat there, or the the rather large ship rather than a sailboat, I think mean, you'd call that. Um, but also about, you know, taking your time, going on a journey. Life is a journey. Life is an adventure. Uh, if you are traveling and things, if you're scrapbooking, this is the perfect collection for you to be scrapbooking with. But you don't have to scrapbook. Uh, you can make, once again, items like this. So there's a little book. And in there, you could put all sorts of things in there. But you can see how, once again, you know, cutting all these little bits and pieces out and popping them on the front of the book is a really great idea. And who wouldn't want to open that book and start reading? And then this fantastic box, which is just amazing. Look at that. And as we were saying, when you are making that, it is going to be such fun making it. And when you hand that over as a gift, and you could put anything in there or just give the box as a gift, uh, what a lovely, lovely thing for someone to have. So that's what you could be doing with these papers. That's the quality of the papers, the typography, the colours, the patterns, everything is working. So 012-846, your item number, 47.94. That is also divided into two. And you can shop on the website right now, which, of course, is hochanda.com. And you've got the albums in there as well, in ivory and in the black there. Uh, and if you want to shop by brand, just shop Graphic 45 and all sorts of lovely goodies will come up for you there. So do have a look on the website, hochanna.com. But all the products in the show today, however, the complete collections are disappearing because I think most people are thinking that's definitely the sensible way to shop. Perfect. Well, it's time for, I think, Tina's probably last demonstration um, of today. Are you back again, Tina, today, or is this your final show? This is my final show. Oh, uh, final yeah. show. Last hour, so last demonstration. I was going to say make it a good one, but I don't have to say that because we know, Tina, it will be a good one. Let's have a look. <laughs> okay, so I thought we'd do a card this time because um, I do do lots of home decor and, and bits like that, but if you are a card maker then obviously these are ideal. Now, this um, card, I believe, was from a monthly um, pack one time. Um, it was in there, and I had a few left, so I thought this was ideal to put with this collection. So, taking some of my papers, this one's from the Patterns and the Solids. I'm going to pop this down as my base. See, even the side that looks plainer has actually got a little pattern on it as well. Okay, let's pop that there. And then I thought I'd have a mixture of different elements here, um, picking out the blues for my topper as well. So popping that on. And if you're stuck, this is an ideal set also for men's cards. So, um, they would be perfect. So just popping that in the centre there. Okay. Then I've got a lovely piece here, which is just out of the actual um, toppers paper. So I'm just going to pop that there, just to give it a little bit more colour as well. So popping that. A bit of gel medium there and I've made it a little bit shorter than the actual page but that is going to just sit so that then my topper can come down like that and I'm going to just 3D the topper up a little bit okay so all your papers and your colors are going to match so if you are, if you do struggle, if you're new, 
um, to paper craft in. Then this is an ideal set to start with. You'd get some fantastic cards from this. Okay. Then I have a little bird that he's going to sit on there. So I'm keeping this one fairly flat um, because cards we, you know, would normally post out. So if it's too bulky, then it will cost a little bit in the postage. Okay, and then I've got a little um, swirly bit, technical turn. Okay, that's going to just pop underneath here. And then I'm just going to pop little bit of glue here so that I can fit my gems on and know that they're secure. My glue dries clear so it's not a problem. Okay, so just spacing those evenly and straight. Okay, just there. Okay, so then I'm um, opening the card up because all of your papers match beautifully, then you can also decorate the insides of your cards as well. So I'm going to use the other side this time to pop it into the center of my card. Okay. And then I've got a lovely die cut, which is going to go here. Keep moving forward, which is quite apt at the moment, isn't it? So let's pop some gel medium on there. And there's some lines on there as well, so you can actually write your card or a thank you card or whichever, just thinking of you. Okay, so that's our card. And then, because why wouldn't you with these beautiful papers, I'm just going to make the envelope quite posh. So what I've done is I've cut um, and measured a, a length of card there and then I've folded it where the crease of the envelope is so that it folds down nicely when the envelope closes and then I've just trimmed off the sides. So again, just using some gel medium. there and then tuck in that just inside the card there making sure that's going to fold where I want it to fold just a little bit further in there we go and then just give that a press Okay, so now you have your card and your envelope with little matching inserts in your envelope. Okay. I think that's such a clever idea with the envelope, isn't it? You would never know that that doesn't go all the way down into the envelope. It's such a clever little thing to do to any envelope that you have. Really lovely. Listen, Tina, I'm going to say thank you and goodbye. Because okay, uh, that is you. going to be the last time that we see you today on the show. But thank you. Your demonstrations have been lovely. What's been your favourite um, thing about working with Graphic 45? What, what do you really like when you get the papers as a crafter? Um, I know that there's going to be something that matches... In, in the pack that's all going to, um, to match together. So even if, um, you know, my mojo's gone on holiday, which it happens, yeah. um, I'll just spread the papers out and I know that there is something that's going to just um, catch my eye and then I go from there. A lot of the time I start off by using a paper on a certain uh, project, but then I um, switch what I'm doing and use it on something else. Yeah, but yeah, there's or it's um, the quality is fantastic as well as you know. This, this, that's we always say that, but it really is. If you've never had Graphic Forty Five before, then you really need to just try and and look at the quality. Yeah, and particularly today. I mean, do you think it's really good value? The twenty eight pound saving on the oh, entire collection. Oh, I can't collections? believe it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, amazing value.
Yeah, brilliant. Okay, well, lovely, Tina. Thank you very much. Okay. It's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, well, Tina was right uh, in that it, it is great value because actually one of our collections has sold out. Our entire collection, which had this collection in it and the other bit, um, that has gone. And also the other bit by itself has gone. Uh, so now you've got this. So this is the dreamland available. You've still got the other one, the uh, journey, uh, life's a journey, but this one, which was part of the complete collection, this is the bit that's left now on that one. So this is 787259 if you want to get hold of this. It is £30.96 instead of £42.96, which is a very nice saving. And what you get for this is your 12x12, 12 12, your 8x8, your uh, stickers and your ephemera sheet. And you can see, look, I love all these little uh, pieces of ephemera here. These are postcards here. and There's a lovely kind of vintage feel to them. So You've got the fronts there, which of course are tying in beautifully with your paper pads, but when you turn them around, you've got that on the back. I mean, you could even write a little love note if you wanted to. Let's have a look at the little ones. There we are. So that's a fairy dance. I mean, these could actually be invites to a party or something if you were having that, or a dinner or a, a name setting or something, and people could keep them. So you could write a little message about your event and then they could actually take these home if they wanted to. Uh, but, of course, you could use them in your regular crafting as we have seen Tina doing today. So if you want to get hold of that, it's a beautiful collection. Little girls, flowers, mermaids, uh, nighttime skies, stars and moons, um, all sorts of lovely things. And that is 787259 as an item number. And today it is £30.96. Fabulous. But we have got the other complete collection for you available now. Uh, this is the only complete collection. Uh, once again, you have got the two halves, so do have a look on the website for those uh, from the Life's a Journey. But we are going to talk about the entire collection because that's what people are buying at the moment. Um, now, a £28 saving, because as we were saying, you get 12, 12 plus 4, that is a £28 saving on the entire collection. And this one is all about Life's a Journey, as we were saying. Let me just show you these papers again because they are so beautiful. So we've got lovely, uh, huge ships here, and we've got lovely cars and penny farthings as we were saying with graphic 45 nothing is wasted so you can use every single strip every single tiny bit and then on the back of course you have beautiful beautiful patterns and colors as well those dogs are leaping and the ladies and gents are cycling there look at those dancing girls there on their bike I'm not sure what that's called that kind of bike beautiful little flowers and then you've got your big printed flower sheet there gorgeous colors numbers and letters so as we've always said you can fussy cut these things out you could just use them as a strip of uh, of numbers and letters if you wanted to you can make up a word with them uh, this one enjoy the journey enjoy the ride explore that's what we all like to do wouldn't we at the moment I'm not exploring very far um the freedom to explore oh the irony the freedom to explore yes we don't have it at the moment but we will life will return back to some kind of normality in the not too distant future and then we've got our lovely cards here as well as you can see and on the back of there you've got words and then bikes i love that with the gold and the black and the white or well it's like um yeah, black and cream and off-white, beautiful. And lovely black and white flowers. And then your main pages there again. So absolutely stunning set of papers. That's your 12 by 12 paper pad. You are also going to get another 12 by 12 paper pad and you're going to get the 8 by 8 and you're going to get the chipboard and you're going to get the ephemera as well. So all of that today is fantastic value. A £12 saving, a £12 saving, put it together, add four, equals £28 as a saving and it's only £23.97 a day, your first of two interest-free flexible payments. 012846. I'm going to give this box one last outing because it is stunning and you could be making something like this and of course i know this is in blacks and whites but you've got blues and browns and yellows in there so you could go for something you know that is not the monochrome i mean thinking of gifts for chaps if you wanted to make a nice box for them if you imagine you know they wanted to put their shaving gear in or they wanted to put in their shoe shine things in there or whatever it is that chaps have these days that they might want to put into a box you could easily make a lovely lovely gift here but you know as i was saying the great thing about this is 
is the making of it. It's not just the, the giving, which is lovely, and the receiving, but it is the making of it. And it's a real project. It's a real statement piece that you can play with. And as Tina was saying there, the best thing to do when you get all of this loveliness home is lay it down in front of you and then just have a look. And you'll find that the little things will just drop into place because you'll start to see colors and patterns forming and designs forming. Um, and then you can just literally start cutting out and playing. Do head to the website, won't you? Hoshanda.com. You can find all the paper pads on there that are still available. And if you shop by the brand Graphic 45, you will find a whole host of other items as well, including those lovely little um, albums there in the cream and ivory and other things as well. So do have a look on that website, hochanda.com. And the Freedom Club, remember you can join our Freedom Club at any point, six pounds and 97 pence. And then every month you can look for freedom prices and you also get free postage on anything that you are buying if you are in the freedom price. Uh, right, I'm gonna go now and disappear, leave you in the very capable hands of Mr. Adam, he's up next. I will see you the next, whoa, whoa, whoa. I will see you the next time I'm here. I don't know what that noise was, I can only apologize. Have a lovely weekend, ta-ra. Except not yet, Tara, because I'm going to read the menu for you. Pearly Winks coming up next. After that, be crafty with a lovely Jane Royston. And then craft yourself silly with Fabazine. It's all coming up on Hochanda. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have. So we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. All products are placed in a beautiful, sturdy box, which is ribbon tied, and we hope that by receiving this box, you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Make sure you don't miss the craft box shows on Hochanda. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now, and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows we aim to inspire you, to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chandler. Chanda News. We're excited to announce that from the 1st of July, our broadcast hours on Freeview will be extended to 10 p.m. each day. We know that many of you have been missing our live shows in the evenings, and we look forward to having you with us once again. 
Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. I've been working closely with Crafts 2 on the development of the John Next Door brand and also working with their fantastic range of products. I'll be bringing you some fantastic shows that are combining the John Next Door and Crafts 2 products. We'll be sharing things like the press cut dies and some of the Find It Media and some of the other fantastic tools, accessories and other products that Crafts 2 bring to everybody at home. I hope you can join me on my crafting journey and learn some tips and techniques from me that I share with you. So don't miss the Crafts 2 shows with me, John Lockwood, on Hachanda. Well, I never. Look at it. It's like a galaxy in a bottle. Red, blue. Oh, you're asking about the yellow. Are you being inspired? Ah, oh, this show is seamless. Good afternoon, one. Good afternoon, all. How are you? Did you see my new colours? Did you see them? Did you see my new yellow? Yes, you know, you, you know when you see a swirl like that, you swirl, you don't shake. I learned that the hard way. Trust me. Uh, have you seen my brand new yellow? New yellow to the configuration to the Pearly Winks family, ladies and gentlemen. We are already busy on these. Uh, it is the swell. Look at the mist in there. Now, these can go on anything. Anything, well, well let, me, let me condense that down slightly for you. Uh, what you've got is you've got pa uh, paper, you've got fabric in there as well. Uh, you can put them onto wood as well, leather if you wanted to, ribbon, make your own Christmas ribbon. Oh, but you know what, I'm not here alone. This hour is going to be fun and fun and frolics. I can tell you now, fun and frolics, be careful how you say that on a Saturday afternoon, but... Uh, I'm going to be demoing this hour as well. I've got a pinny at the ready. I'm still waiting for a yellow pearly wig show, but I ain't got one yet. But I'm not here alone. No, no, no. Our Donna is here. How are you, my love? I'm very good, thank you. Go I, feel like, I feel like we see each other every week now. <laughs> it is. It's like going down the local with, with Morecambe and Wise, the other part of the double act. <laughs> Bert and Ernie, as it were. Uh, then we have our Donna holding the reins and keeping them all together. <laughs> Bless them, right, said Fred. <laughs> now, uh, if you've never seen Pearly Winks before, um, how would you sum up the Pearly Winks brand and what we've got to offer down this counter, as it were? Lots of fun. Oh, there you go. That's there it. we go. That's <laughs> it. Just Lots leave it there. But what, what could we do? What can we do with Pearly Winks? So we're getting these beautiful sprays in a bottle. We've got some of them with the mica in there as well. Yep. So we're going to get that shine. We're going to get that sheen. We're going to get those backgrounds if you want them to be backgrounds as well but for that if, if you're new to crafting like i've i've done a few of these shows now but i've never used them i, I hold okay. my hands up now yeah i've never used them but i because i wouldn't know how to i was scared to I, was, I wouldn't know where to begin so what do you say to those people thinking oh, i quite like three primary colors i'm good to go they'll mix themselves what do I do with them when I get home? What can I do with them? You can do everything with them. They're just a really, really great addition to your... I don't know if I'm supposed to be looking at you or the camera. Or oh, either or. <laughs> either or. They're just a, a great addition to your craft room. So you can, you've can, you got your white card, you can spray it any sort of colour. You can change up any wood or home decor, things like that. Use it with your shaving foam, which you're going to be having to play with later. Yes. You know, just change the colour of anything, really. Just really have great fun with it and make cards and everything. And does a little go a long way or do we need yes. a lot of squirts? Do we have to use a lot of it to get an impact? No, it's got it's got a lot of pigment in it and it's very, very shiny. It's it just it's fantastic. Just want to get played it, it, And this is the thing. <laughs> if you've never used Pearly Winks before, now, I'm, well, I tell a lie and I, I, I'll, I'll own up. I've, I've squirted onto the cards, as it were, OK? So I've took a bottle and played around off camera, so obviously, so we just see what they look Because they shimmer and shine. You pick them up, I'm like a magpie in this place. You give me a sparkle, you give me a sequin, I'm there. Uh, but, uh, but I've never used them in the, in the sort of the medium world. And, this is the, and as I tell the truth, it is a fact of I wouldn't know where to begin. Backgrounds for me are one of these things that I wouldn't, I'm not a card maker, I'm, 
Me and Al Mucci, we, yesterday we found the wonderful world of watercolours and we did them sorts of things yesterday. But these with the kids as well, with the shiny foam technique, I've seen Janice do it many a time. She makes some beautiful backgrounds out of it. These is what you can create. And what you can now create, is you can see the background we are, we've got this stamp on the show as well, the Inspire stamp, uh, that if you wanted to, that could be a card on itself. That could be a notelet on its own. £19.98. Now if you break that down, it roughly works out to be about three for the price of two. So in theory, that new yellow that we've got, you are getting for free. You are getting, now you spin them, you don't shake them because they've got a ball bearing in the bottom and you'll, you'll, you'll clog it up, but look at the colour you are getting in there. It's like unicorn in a bottle, it's like silk in a bottle. Look at that. A <laughs> little unicorn in a bottle. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. So you've got your blue and your red. You've seen them before. Your yellow, your brand new colour. 765-060 is your item. 10% of the stock now has already gone. You're saving £9.99. So as I said before, three for the price of two. The new yellow we'll give you for nothing. So you get these two and then we'll give you that for free. 765-060 is your item number. Use it on any surface. Add your mediums. Add your gessos. And, and, and it, well, add what you like, because the sheer fact, once you start using these, you're going to start loving with them. Um, can we paint with them as well? So if we wanted to open the top, can we dip a paintbrush in and just use them as natural paint? Yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing in a minute. It's like we've, it's like we've had a meeting. It's like we've actually prepped. Um, we don't. Uh, but uh, then we've got now. These, now, if you've never tried Pearly Winks before, just bear with me, okay? Stick with me for the next couple of minutes. For the sheer fact, once this all, once we see them in action, it will all make perfect sense. But if you're thinking, well, I don't know if I'd use a big bottle. I don't know if I'd use that amount. Mate, go for the little tester kits. This, in my eyes, is like a little tester kit in a, in a, little, in a little bunch. You're getting uh, six of the 30 mils hints of gold sets. Now, what, it, what you can see here, it, it might be easier if I show you on the red. So you've got that beautiful colour. If I spin that around so you can just see. You've got that beautiful colour in there and you've got sort of the glitter and the mica that's already in there. But then, where's the hint of gold? It's not in that sparkle that you see there. The gold is at the bottom. Obviously, they've sunk to the bottom. So all you simply do is swirl it to wake it. My new slogan. I'm going to see if it catches on. And then, say so shaking it to wake it, and then if we spin that round, now you can see that hint of gold sort of swirling round with the mica that's in there. It is like magic in a bottle. I could sit and watch that for hours. I really, really could. Um, but then you've got all the beautiful colourways. Well, you can see the colourways that you've got at the top as well. So you've got your orange in there, you've got your brown, you've got your green apple, you've got your teal, you've got your purple rain in there, and you've got your black and gold as well. But if I... If I can tilt, there you go, look at that. So normal colours, beautiful. Now that hint of gold that's in there. Look at that black, oh, you've got that black, then you've got the hint of gold with black. Now as I said, use it as a tester kit. If you've never used pearly ones before, you've never, you've never, you've seen the shows and you think, do I, don't I, I'm a little unsure. £17.99, £3 a bottle. Now, a bottle is going to last you an awful long time. 10% here now has already gone. Um, use them as a travel kit if you wanted to as well. Once again, this is not going to last forever. This staying indoors for a while, okay? You will be able to go back out as well. Uh, but what you've also got on there is you've got some beautiful, beautiful ideas. So if I show you, I don't know if this is for this, but... There it is. Uh, I can see it in the studio. There it is. You can see it in that pink. You can see this gold sort of sparkle that you've got in there. That will add that to your cards. You've got that beautiful card that you already create. You've got them cards. You, you're a card master. You know what you're doing when it comes to cards. You know what you're doing when it comes to mixed media. But now, just to spray, just to shine. You haven't got to do the drops if you don't want to. Obviously, that's if you put it in one area. You're going to get the beautiful backgrounds. Cut into them. Don't waste any of this either. P put all your paper down and just spray away. See the different reactions you're going to get. They're going to match together as well. £17.99. Do you know what? I'm going to throw caution to the wind here. I'm, we're going to change tack slightly. Okay, we're going to change tag. I was meant to do the other. I was meant to do the other right. We've got brand new stamps on the show. We've got your big misters as well. Shop ahead for those if I was you. But 
I don't know if anyone knows this. Well, I'm going to go straight to demo now. I don't know if you're ready, Dunham, but we're going to go straight to demonstration. We are so busy this Saturday afternoon. It doesn't matter if you're ready or not. We're coming to you anyway. Uh, so, <laughs> um, right, and I'm going to leave it up to you. I'll, I'll chip in when I can, but I'm going to leave it down to you. You just really tell me about these beautiful pearly wind colours. Okay, then. Fantastic. Well, I've already started, so hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in today. Um, so, first of all, I'm going to show you the new um, Buttercup Yellow. So... Last, about three weeks ago, we brought out the baby pearls. Adam created these, not this Adam, my, our Adam. Um, and he did a pink and a blue, which are absolutely gorgeous. And he's also done the yellow now to match, and you're getting that one really for free. So what I've done here is I've taken a piece of um, parchment, is it parchment tissue paper? I don't really know if it's parchment or tissue, actually. And what I've done is I've just literally sprayed the colours on because I was being impatient. And then I'm just letting those seep through and letting all the colours mix in together. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dry it off. And then it's going to start forming little segments here, can you see? Yeah. Can you see where the pink and the blue are mixing together? And then the blue and the, green, uh, blue and the yellow to get the green. So what, in theory, what you're creating there is you are creating things to run through your dye machines. Now... And I always say this, I'm no good at colouring. I said, we, I practised watercolouring yesterday, and they weren't real watercolours, they were felt tips and I was adding water to them. But, um, it was my first way in. But I said, if you can't colour, like, I can't colour at all. Yeah. But this is an easy way of colouring, because you've got all your designs already there, haven't you? Yeah. So, this is, this is one that's already dried, so I'm going to leave that to dry, because you're actually supposed to leave it to dry naturally. Okay. But then if you see, once it has dried... I like that. Look at that. Can you see the... I don't know if I'm tilting it the right way. Like that. Oh, see all the colours? That was the one. So that's a perfect background to start stamping onto, which we will do in a minute. I'm just going to do some more spraying for you. So when you're spraying, always put a, something down to catch the rest of the colour. Because as you can see here, on this one, these are just backgrounds where I've been spraying things up. And then afterwards, once you've done it, you can just simply stamp something on there. It looks lovely, that. Pop that onto a piece of black card, and you've got a front for your card. You know, you Look might want to put that. some more bits on. But just simply, just by spraying it, it's a background. You don't have to do actually anything with it. So always keep some um, paper behind your work. Okay, Does so it react differently on different cards? Like, like crap yes. card to your white card to your shimmer card? Yes. Every card is going to, you, you know, you might get this kind of blue on this card, on another, another uh, surface like you can see here. It's a totally different blue, but oh, it's the yeah. same colour. So you're going to get different. It depends how thirsty your card is and things like that. So if I, well, you can see it actually on here, I was going to say if I spray it, but as well as on this, this is um, the 600 GSM board that we do. Oh, you we've can got throw, that on the show. Yeah, you can throw loads and loads of um, water and um products and everything at this and it would you know it's not going to buckle whereas this card if you see the difference in the blues just yeah. between these little few surfaces that we've got here just the blues the pinks they're all different aren't they because it's all different surfaces so you're going to get a different reaction depending on what you use so for this one all i've done i'll do it again for you is i've just uh used a blender you can use whichever blender you, you know you like um, and just sprayed it on so I've taken a piece of this is like a super smooth card it's really good for stamping and things like that and I've literally just sprayed the sprays directly onto it and then I've blended it so it depends what kind of look you want because you might want something messy you might want something really smooth you might want something splattery you know it depends what you want so I'm just going to spray it on I'm going to over spray it obviously for the for the demo I'm going to do it in, in a different order because then you've got the greens coming through and then this time the orange is coming through because on here I've just done it quite, you know, separate. But here I'm just giving it a little minute just to mix in. Can you see how you're getting all the different colours there as well? And it's exactly the same product, it's just the three colours. Okay, so then what you can do is you can leave it like that or you can blast it off. If you were to blast this off now, um, you're going to get little different segments again. So it depends what kind of look you're after. If you wanted a really smooth one, just go straight over it with your, your blender. This one is going to force the colour into, different, into a different way. With a heat so gun as well, do we, get, um, do we get a change of colour with the heat gun because we're forcing it dry? Normally, if you force drying, you get a slightly duller tone. Yeah. Do we still get that? 
Is that yeah, the same you do case? get you do get slight. It's not it's not, not major. a great no, not really. It's like when I'm drying this, it's just it's just slight. It's still working. I'm still leaving it to dry, but it's still working. But it just it just alters it a little bit, but nothing that you'd really really mind I love about. Like so, see if you just see there. <gasps> Well, then yes. you can drip it as well. So if you want the drippy effect, that's great because you can do it with these. If you want it to not have the drippy effect, you can also do that. So it's good because it's universal. It's, it's um, versatile, the word. Yes. <laughs> so, so you've got that, those two different things from doing the same sort of technique. On here, can you see the different colours that are coming through? You've got teals and all sorts coming through now. I love that though. You yeah. pop a photo in the middle of that. You've got a beautiful mount for a photo to put, yeah. just pop in a frame straight away. Exactly, and you can you can put your stamp in there as well if you want. If you wanted to do that with the frame, um, talking about frames, I was going to do a frame next, but um, I can always just show you. So I'm going to block this off. So always, I would always, I would say always have some extra card or paper just to catch the. Um, the excess and some kitchen roll because we always always use a lot of kitchen roll and then what we do is we um, either cut them down into little you know you can make your your stamps out of them I need my stamp set back actually Adam when you finish with it because I can't oh, stamp you can do it as soon but as I you've have, seen but it but it's okay because I've already stamped some out but um, so like just I've, I've stamped some of the blooming marvellous flowers out so obviously we can paint them look at that or we can spray them up and just by literally just spraying some of these on you know you don't have to do a lot of work to them so if you're not great at um, colouring like me there's not quite a lot I've been using so much of this so um, you know it'll just colour it straight away but if you want to do some painting you can stamp and then you can paint so if I just grab a, a little leaf so if I mix some of the yellow and the blue so you can now take it so if you're scared of the bottle if you're scared of yep. spraying down because you don't want that harsh look go in with your brushes take yep. your brushes would you decant it or go straight from the bottle would you spray it somewhere first on a glass mat or just dip, swirl your bottle around and dip it in that way whichever you want really I mean it really is personal preference I'm not very good at um, um, painting whereas Simon you know he can paint lovely flowers like here's some of my little attempts at painting I'm not good at it so I prefer to just spray it on although I've had one or two goes like that one it's pretty good I'm pretty impressed with that one that's actually. nice <laughs> that's good so I went a bit brave and I put the yellow on the bottom and then put some of the uh, pink on top and I thought that looked really pretty and then just sprayed it over with the glitter spray so um, that's another way of using them but then if you just wanted to do um, some blending and you wanted to use the mat, um, I've just got a little glass mat here that um, I actually made myself and it's really simple. So when, you know when I said like about using it on non-porous surfaces? Yes. So obviously it wouldn't spray on glass. If you spray this on glass, yeah, it's just going to drip off. It it's just going to, yeah. But if you add a bit of um, gesso or glue or whatever, it will stick to it. So what I've done is I've sprayed it onto a piece of card, such as this, and then I've put some PVA on, and then I've stuck it to it so it looks like it's... Oh, so that's, you sprayed it onto card first and then popped yeah, it underneath. Yeah, and then just popped a little piece of card on, underneath. Then you've got your little mat. Look so, at that. Yeah, so it can be used in all different ways. So just to... Um, what I've done is I've taken the, the pink and the yellow out of here, and I'm just going to put some of the magic drops on. Now, the magic drops blend and extend... And also the axes are resist. So I'm going to put some on here. That's why the magic, because the axes are resist, but they blend I, and extend as well. The magic drops, I think you may find on the website. We haven't got them on this show um, at the moment, but they may be on the website. So if you shop by brand on the website, uh, you might be there. So um, I'm going to put, um, I'm just going to put a little high on here, just to show. Yeah. So there I've put it on, on there, but I've also got some on this brush and on the, on the mat. Let me just try it on the, see if I've got enough colour. I've probably not got enough colour. Um, I'm going to pop some of the inky, winky inkies on because they're actually a lot stronger for this Once one. Once again, they're on the website as well. Shop by brand for winky inkies. Because <laughs> these are stronger for what I'm doing now. So these are very intense, these inky winkies. Right, so I'm just adding the yellow and the pink. So I'm going to get like an orange colour. 
and you can really feel it when you've got enough on there you can really feel it um, it it's weird to explain I can't really explain it but it's weird to explain so take the excess on there come on off so then you just go straight over your card and then you need to dry it Um, I've not chose the brightest colour. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a really good example though, just bear with me a second because of where it will work and where it won't. I've used a, a shiny card there, obviously it's not working on there. So um, let me just do it on this one. And if it doesn't go, if it doesn't work on this, you can have to go to a break so I can find one that it does. <laughs> right, so it's going to act as a resist, so I'll do it like this way. So I'm using a different technique on a different card. This is what we were talking about before. Is it going to work on different surfaces? Can you see here how it's resisted yeah. that? And then if I go over it... Ah, yes, see. Yeah. The magic so, drops are on the screen now as well. So you get the five of the spray oh, bottles of the uh, pearly winks and the tacky glue and the magic drops as well. So do try different surfaces. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt then. I know it's all right. No, I, just can't, I just can't show. I'm just so excited about all the stuff it does. <laughs> I just can't get it out. So uh, have you... Oh. Go, no, go <laughs> let, me quick, let me quickly do this picture. The picture that you're looking at at the moment, 138924 is your item number, is your Pearly Winks accessory pack, fried spray <laughs> bottles, uh, your Pearly Winks tacky glue and your magic drops as well for £16.99. If you are going for the brand new colour of the yellow with the blue and the red today as well, uh, you might be wanting to put one of these into your basket as well because then you do get the deep bottles that you can decant if you wanted to as well. It's entirely up to you. <laughs> <laughs> what got all excited at uh, what you want to do. 19 pounds. Oh, see, I'm getting excited again now. Look, I'm getting excited. Uh, 19 pounds and 98 pence. In theory, what you pay today for the red and the blue, you get the brand new yellow for free. Okay? It's two for three is what you are getting for you. Uh, the, two for three, three for two is what I meant to say. Uh, but what I was also going to say as well, though, the two colours at the back were only released a couple of months ago. Weeks ago. Let's go weeks ago. Uh, last month. So these were only released last month. So maybe you're still playing with the brand new colours that we've got already. But now, what you can now do is you can now add the yellow into the mix as well. So you've got the beautiful colours that are on here as well. Brand new today, very busy on these already. £19.98, 765060 is your item number. Three of your 100ml baby pearl sprays in the pink, in the blue and also in the yellow as well. The hint of gold are very, very busy. We're having a lot of emails this hour as well. A lot of, oh, uh, 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 can we go back to demo, Meg? <laughs> and then we'll come back and do these. Uh, oh, let me just say, over a third of the stock here now has already gone on the Hint of Gold. Very busy for the Hint of Gold as well. Uh, as you can see, the gold is at the bottom at the moment. You've got the mica in there as well. But once you give it a swirl, uh, swirl it to wake it, my new slogan, I'm going to get a shirt printed. Uh, now you can see there's a ball bearing in the bottle that will wake everything up that you've got there. You've got that ball bearing in the bottom as well. Right then, we are going to go down the rest of the counter shortly. Do not fear, £17.99, 130795 is your item number. Because I've got some brand new stamps I want to show you as well before the end of the hour. Um, right then, what we got done? Quick! <laughs> <laughs> Can you get the overhead on this? Yeah, we're there. So, um, this is the one that went wrong before um, because of the different cards. So this is a, a smooth one, and so the, the, it's sort of like, um, whereas these ones like suck, suck the ink in, this one sort of like sits on top. So this, I didn't do anything to it afterwards, you know, when I did this. Yeah? Yeah. So it's got the magic drops on there and this. And then literally, if you see these ones, this is literally when I've just dropped some of the inky winky on there and see how it's all dispersed into oh, okay. like how gorgeous is that and then this one here is where where they've obviously dried off now so it won't it won't do it anymore yeah something very coral reef about it yeah so but then what you can do is just get some water well oh, i've not bought a spray water um what i'll do is i'm going to use i'm just going to flick it at it that's what i'm going to do because it will, if you do it the opposite way around, so if you spray some, wait a minute, it might not work now. If you spray some water at it, it's going to work differently to the water already being underneath, if okay. that makes any sense. 
I'll have to turn it on first. Look at that. Yeah, so you're going to get all sort of different effects. So you just really, really need to play with it. And then with this sort of card as well, it, it acts co quite like um, photo paper and photo card. Oh, yeah. Um, so whereas, see how, how gorgeous that is now where the yellow and the pink have gone together? Little face. And you've got the oranges coming off. Yeah. So, um, it, so where is that? They're going to dry like that. They sort of like dry into... Um, not very good at explaining things, but this is the, um, some of the... <gasps> these ones are coming in a minute with the hint of gold. So see how they've gone into like little segments and stuff like that? That's, that's beautiful. That's the orange and the brown, that one. But see if, how you the gold, it, if you tilt it forward slightly so we can get the gold in... There we go. Look at that. Yeah. So are these using the hint of gold? So these are the hint of gold. So can you see how it's formed all these different segments? This is the kind of thing that this will do. And you can layer it up so it looks like it's got real, real depth. It really has. Yeah. And then Look this, at that. This one's the... Um, see it on there as well. This one's the purple rain. Oh, yeah, you get that in the, the details for these uh, gold sets are Go on, on the I'll screen let you at the do moment. The 30 mil. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, it's nice to see, though, because for the sheer fact, it's all right me saying that you get the hint of gold in there. Yeah. But it's actually when you use them and when you see them, that's when you actually see the hint of gold yourself. As I said, I've got the board here, so you can see slightly of what we're talking about here. But when you do your finished pieces, as it were, those pieces that you've already got that you saw Donna with just said you could cut those down if you wanted to they could be mounts they could be tags if they wanted to as well uh, half the stock of your hints of gold have already gone very very busy this afternoon 25 past two on a Saturday afternoon is what we're looking at um, how are you I hope you're well we're with pearly winks um, many more things to get through and many more demos to get to as well right then. something that's always busy with our pearly winks these are so your pearl mists and your glitter pearl that you've got on here now at the moment it looks just like two bottles of cloudy water and normal water but if you swirl oh this is magic in a bottle ready look at that look at that so you've got your glitter mist uh, you're currently looking at your pearl mist at the moment so that's your pearl once again like silk like a bottle of silk floating through and then you've got your glitter one as well look at the glitter that you have got in there um, once again spray it onto the card so this is the glitter pearl and also the normal pearl as well if i drop that in there it's sort of like it reminds me of like the moon it's that sort of colour. You've got the moon sort of esque in there. If I go, there you go. Look, so you've got that. So obviously this one here, this is the glitter mist that you're looking at. And the one here is the pearl. Uh, but look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And then I've got the glitter on black card. So now you've got like a star in that sky. It literally looks like glitter card. It really, really does look like you've made your own black glitter card. I'm guessing it, the original colour was this black, okay, that the sign's done in the bottom. But look what you've got now, your own glitter card that's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to come off in your hands. Uh, you've also got, there's so much you can do with these. £23.98, 8860 is your item number uh, for these, for your glitter and also your pearl as well. Now, you've already found them. You've already bought ahead of me on these as well. We've got brand new stamps on the show from Pearly Winks as well. Now, look at these. These are, once again, you know, I'm, you know I like a big stamp. You know I'm partial to a big stamp for the sheer fact. These are the actual stamps that you are getting now. These are Donna's stamps. Uh, that I've sort of taken just to show you the size of the actual stamps that you're getting here okay but then if I show you the background that's on here uh, this is the this is them just stamped out as normal so you've got things like you're invited tar flower I like that Char tar flower you don't very often find a stamp with these sort of sentiments that you use on a day-to-day day-to-day uh, -day basis all right petal or oh, uh, petal uh, cheers cheers bud uh, all our flowers, out of all the flowers, I'd pick you. Blooming egg, you're lovely. I've gone very Oliver all of a sudden. Very, uh, very, come here, bullseye, like that. Um, but at 299-427 is your own number. You've got those beautiful flowers along the top, but now, oh, I'm just going to pop it down. I'm just going to, we're just going to pop it there. 
Look at that. That is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. And what you can create from the uh, stamps that you've got themselves. As we said, you could do it onto tiles if you wanted to as well. So you've got the tiles there uh, that you've already got. But then, uh, I like things like these. Look at these. You've got these beautiful, beautiful... Uh, uh, sorry, there's so many things here that are absolutely... This would be a, an amazing invitation. Amazing invitation for a, f for a family party. All right, Petal. You are brilliant. Uh, so you've got the two rhinos in there as well, but you've also, it's just the family. I love this sentiment of the word family um, and what you're getting in there. You're getting stamps that you don't normally see in a stamp set. You're getting those large flowers so you can create those large blooms as well if you wanted to. And your swells. And it's even like the little bits at the bottom, sort of the blocking out that you don't really, that's not really nothing, but on a card it would look everything. And you've got the doctor's scroll at the bottom as well. My own terminology. Um, if you're a doctor, I apologise. Uh, but it's that writing that you can't read, but it sort of looks legible. Uh, so you think you can read it, which I always like. I like that in a card as well. It's nice to make a little border out of that. Absolutely beautiful freedom price on this as well. £13.49. and pence. Two nine nine four two seven is your item number. For the blooming marvellous, we've got an update just coming in. Hint of gold is now limited stock. A limited stock on your hint of gold. Look at these, you've got your normal colours, look like that, okay? There's nothing wrong with them, they're absolutely gorgeous. But then, kapow! Look at that, you get that hint of gold, there's more than a hint of gold there, is it? Look at it. It's like a tavern of gold. Absolutely beautiful, but if you want them, they're limited stock. £17.99, pence. if you've never used pearly wings before, what a set to get you going with. If you have, you might be stocking up, they might be a travel set for you, or they could just be a little bit of, I'm going to give these a little go. Remember, you can paint with them as well. Right then, the Mandala mix-up one is what we're looking at now. Uh, so with the Mandala stamp, uh, look at this beautiful, the size of this is stunning. And that is actual size. That is the uh, size of the stamp that you've got in there. So you've got good luck. You make my heart smile. Thinking of you, uh, just for you. Then you get those beautiful... These... Where are they? Where are they? These ones here, I love... Once again, small dots, but they're, they're beautiful. Because uh, you can do them with so many things. Put them in the middle of a, of a flourish, if you wanted to. Uh, and once again, stamp them out. Put your pearly wings down as well. There's so much you can do with them. And you've also got certain ones like this that you can pop photos into at the bottom if you wanted to. Uh, but don't just think stamps. When we're talking stamps, though, we're now also talking... jewellery. If you wanted to. A little bit of shrink plastic. You know me and shrink plastic. Marriage made in heaven. Uh, then, you could go all out with the mandala. Look at that. For a little bit of fussy cutting. But you've got that hint of gold on there as well. Look, can you see? And then you've got the, um, the glitter mist in the background on the black card. Where am I going? Come on. Uh, then you've got... Uh, that beautiful hint of gold in there as well. Absolutely beautiful. But then... You can create little things like these. I think that was John's dies uh, that he bought us a few weeks back. Um, but you've got a beautiful makeup counter. They're absolutely lovely. Using mandalas and little mirrors that are in there as well. Absolutely beautiful sets of stamps that you've got there. £14.99. 094566 is your item number. Then we've got mandala. Duh. For our French viewer. I only have one. He lives in the Dordogne. Uh, 14 pounds, my one viewer. I think he's French. I think he is. 14 pounds and 99 pence. Uh, we're, we're noticing as well, um, America is watching. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening and good night. And Europe as well. Uh, all the, we're, we're international, Don, today. International. Hi, everybody. Oh, emailing, where are you? If you're further afield, well, if you're in the UK, emailing, I don't mind. Past a Saturday afternoon, wouldn't it, to be fair? Pop me a line. Pop me a pigeon if you're in Arundel, entertainment capital of the United Kingdom. Right, let's crack on then. Mandala, £14.99. pence. Four six four eight seven nine is your item number. If you're thinking, he's talking quick. I'm rattling through. I want to get back to demonstration. Uh, you've got Mandala too. Now, with these, once again, uh, shrink plastic, A, eh? bit of jewellery, to be or not to be, will you, won't you? It's up to you. Oh, and beautiful little ring that we've got there as well. Uh, key rings, don't forget key rings, made by our Tom. Ah, oh, it helps if I show it, look, wouldn't it, properly? Made by our Tom. 
He keeps it subtle. He, he only puts a little tag on. He keeps it subtle. <laughs> I like them though. I <laughs> absolutely love them. I love these little designs that you can do with them because you wouldn't think about keyrings. You see a stamp like this, you don't think keyrings. You don't think shrink plastic either. Um, you've also got uh, beautiful cards, but look. Oh, sorry, Jim. They look like this as well. Uh, we've got so many cards that are in here. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to show you later as well. Uh, these are using, uh, there's so many, there's so many ideas that you can get through these. Uh, the details on the screen, £14.99, 464879 is your item number. Now the next one, I think it's worth its weight in gold, I really, really do. You get a stencil and then you also get your texture paste as well. Now I remember, I remember when these launched, I'm sure I was here. Uh, let me open it, because to look at it you think, oh, oh look at, look at that. It don't go anywhere though, but when you touch it, it's literally like, it's like chocolate mousse. It is literally like a mousse is what you're looking at here. Beautiful to work with, we'll go through your parts as well with that beautiful stencil. Uh, and then this, what you see here, is literally this through the stencil and that is what you are going to get straight away. From there, you can stencil it through your normally wilt as well. Uh, put your other texture paste through it. With our stencils as well, Donna, could we also use them with our pearly wings and just spray straight through the stencil? Yeah. There you go, you see? There's no end to the talent of our pearly wings. They go on and on and on. Right then, that's enough from me. I can hear you all saying it at home. So let's go to another demonstration yeah. uh, with our Donna. Right then, Donna, what are we up to? <laughs> I'm doing a bit of everything because um, I've got loads to do and you won't stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I've just quickly um, put this onto this mandala. Um, the mandalas are absolutely beautiful, and I didn't really get a chance to demo them very much last time. Um, but they all the ten point mandalas. So um, basically, all these points. There's ten of those. But the new blooming marvelous um, stamp set that we brought this time actually goes really well with it because they're all five points. So you can mix and match them all together, both sets and this new one. Okay. So I've quickly just stamped it. The best way I find um, is just to pop it onto a glass mat. Not everyone's got the, um, you know, the big board. And then just literally press your card into it. And then you've got a brilliant um, imprint from it. Um, I've just put some clear embossing powder on there. And use different colours as well. Don't just use your blacks like I always do. You know, mix it all with colours. So I'm going to, this one obviously I've done just with the pink Versifying Clair. You can actually use our inks to do stamping. Um, and they do give a, a, a good impression. So you can stamp, paint, flick. Um, I'm not going to dry that all the way off because I want to show you so many different things and it seems to be taking a while. We've had an email from our Simon. Hi Simon. I say our Simon, he's not my Simon, he's your Simon. One of right said Fred, Friday night, oh love it. Friday night's not the same, <laughs> no, Pearly Wings karaoke. Oh, uh, he's enjoying oh, the God. show, but what I meant to tell you, I, I, I'll do this little bit and then I'm coming straight Go back. On. That's uh, fine. Your hint of gold, <laughs> sold out. Technically <laughs> sold out for your hint of gold. That's why our Simon's been online. We've been, on, uh, we've been oh. in contact with him as well. And so, the hint of gold, technical sellout, but we've managed to get a handful more. Uh, it currently saying sold out at the moment on the website, we know. Uh, we're just very, so. very busy. Our Meg's very, it's like an octopus in that gallery. Fingers on every single button she can find. The new stock will be activated. Go on, Meg. 22nd of June is the dispatch date. So 22nd of June. So not that long to wait. What's that, 27th? A week? Seven days? Seven days, I think, is what we're waiting. Um, I don't know what today's date is. Is it 20s? Oh, yes, it's seven days. Seven days tomorrow. Seven days today. Uh, 27th, basically, you're going to get them in seven days' time. I wouldn't worry about it. It's not that long to wait at all. Uh, for your hints of gold, find them on the website if I was you. Right then, straight back to demo. Hi. Um, so what I've done <laughs> is I've quickly... Um, so I've stamped through the um, stencil <coughs> with the texture paste. I'll do that separate again in a minute because I want to spray it as well so you can see it. And then I'm just mm. going over it with gesso. Because what I want to do, I had already done one coat of gesso, so I want to give it two coats and start letting it dry. And then what I'm going to do is, this is the mount board again, I'm going to cut it down like that. So cut the middle out of it, make your own photo frames. It is so, it's just like wooden. Yeah? Oh, I did that on the back as well. 
So um, I'm going to lay that to one side and I will quickly show you, let that dry, um, some spraying through and some um, I, I don't know. I think, so I, I show, I, maybe I should do it without talking. <laughs> <laughs> so let me pop that to one side. So, so we're, we're spraying through and. So we're going to spray through. A bit, and, of bit of paste. Yes. Yes, bit of paste that comes paste. with as well. Right, so I'll use. Um, should I just use a different colour? It's up to you. A bit of random colour. So, um, oh no, I've not used the, the hint of gold yet, have I? Right, so. I'm going to swirl spray. them, don't shake them. Yep. I got told off that Do it round off. about. I'm going to go for the orange, actually. So I'm going to spray it like... Wait a minute, let me get it going. Like that. Yeah, and then you can see underneath. <laughs> yeah. I Bear like. in mind, I'm doing it really quickly, so it's all going to be everywhere like it is. Yeah? But you yeah. can do it nice and neatly. But then you can also... Take your blender and get a lovely oh, print like that. I like that. Yeah, you've got all this on your mat that you're gonna you're gonna clear up, and you you are. I don't just say it, and anybody that knows us that jumps onto um, our Facebook and stuff will see that. You know, I do use it all, and what I do is things like you can either make your own toppers, like this one was literally the mop up from doing these sort of things. Yeah, and then put it on with PVA, and it's just literally this. Oh, yeah. so it's your kitchen paper now yeah. with PVA glue on. Yeah, you can pop them through your die cutting machines and make your, your own toppers and things like that. Well, I never. Yeah, you can keep going and going and going. Right, um, and then, what else was I going to show you? This one on a photo frame. So, this photo frame was originally plastic, as you can see there. And it's yeah. quite quite old, so I thought I'll just give it a bit of a facelift. But obviously with the sprays, the sprays will just not stick to it. So if you do that, it's just going to wipe off. The ones that I've actually got the mica and stuff in will actually leave a bit of a tinge if you build it up. But it's not going to, you know, you're just going to wipe it off. So what you would need to do in that case is get a bit of uh, gesso. And clean everything properly. But <laughs> So we're going to get some gesso and we're literally just going to pop it on there. As you can see, I've already done this side. I've put some gesso here and just left a bit to be able to show you. And then you dry that off properly at home. Then once you've dried it, you just go straight in with your sprays and you'll just keep building it up. You will have to put more than one layer on. Okay. So, um, but it depends what sort of intensity you want. Now, as you can see on here, this is flat. Whereas this is all raised, it's all bubbled and all different bits. So what I've done there is I've just added some PVA, normal normal glue. In fact, it's just our tacky glue that I've used. And the camera pick up that there. Look at that. It's going to take too long to obviously dry it all, but if I just dry a little bit of it, and then literally all I've done, multitasking now, I'm not very good at this. I'll just keep drying this. And then all you just keep doing is just adding bits till you're happy with the colour and the intensity of the colour. Then I'd get you get the tacky glue. Literally just pop it on. And keep spraying as you go in. And then I'm gonna let mine bubble. Some people don't like that effect, but I really love it. I think it looks gorgeous. In fact, there's a tin over there. I don't know whether they got it out on sample. The purple one in the end, if you can show that one, because I think that looks absolutely gorgeous. Can. So that's all bubbled. Look at that. I love the bubble effect. So it's starting to do it on here. Um, obviously, this is the same sort of way that you get the crackled effect if you do the paint and then do the, um, the glue and everything else but sometimes you get the bubbled effect and sometimes it's like wooden so if you can see on here it's doing that sort of thing so that is how you would do that I don't want to spend any more time on this because I want to obviously show you some more things yeah no I like it I like this bubble because it sort of gives you like the natural wood look that's yeah. not wood look if that makes sense as yeah well. it's lovely isn't it so um then right, what we'll do next we'll go for this even though it's not dry but um, so we just imagine we've cut the hole out the middle like this, just for time saving. I've just used um, one of these little, not obviously not this one because it's too big, but I've used one of these and it's just a little X-cut cutter. 
a lot of people have asked and you, you can still get them yeah oh, so that literally slots on there you press it on and it cuts through this board i'll do it on this just to show you that it does cut through this board you've got about 10 minutes left we're going to stay with you good <laughs> <laughs> so it cuts through the board yeah okay. so you, you do that with it and then i'll just show you how i've done this so what color should we go for out the hogs is there anyone that you want to see the hint of gold come hogs Say it again. Is there any of the colours you want me to try? Um, well, well the hints of gold are very, very busy at the moment. Oh, do you as want well. something different instead? Uh, no, let's go with hints of gold, but yeah. that's where people are loving <laughs> the hints of gold <laughs> at the moment. Well, we've got green, we've got the brown, so um, <clears throat> that's green as well. Which one? Oh, I'm not very good at making it. I'm just going to do them all. All right, so there's some orange. They are loaded with mica. And I haven't, I didn't even really shake that one, and that's really got it there. They blend absolutely beautifully as well. So, I've got a lot left in this one. Simon. Now we're doing well, we're doing all right. How long we got, Jim? Uh, just under, just under nine minutes. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, elegant teal as well. They blend I like so that nice it together. Finds its, it finds its own level as well, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it, it'll just literally blend into each other. I won't dry it all. I'll just dry a bit again, just to show you. And then once it's dry, obviously, if you want it, if you want it stronger, put more on. Um, or as well as if you just wanted it really subtle, you could at this stage blot it off. So if I was going to blot this off now. And then obviously all these things that I'm making then can be put on cards or make tags or even if there's just a little bit that, you know, you want to save, if you don't like most of it, you can just cut it down into little tags and stuff. I've not even got to stamp that Blooming Marvellous yet because you're still not giving it me back. Oh, do you want that? It's all right. It's a bit late now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just blame you if none of them sell. They're, they're, um, so, like, <laughs> so this, yeah. So you get the picture, yeah, you can do all your mixed media and stuff like that and then let it dry off and then you can do the, the white and stuff like that. Mm. Cut bits out of it, make your photo frame. Right, now do you want, um, do you want to do the shaving foam? We are following you at the do moment. Do we want shaving foam? It's, it's entirely, entirely up to you. Oh, under pressure, under pressure. That's Meg. If you want to show stamps, we can show your stamps if you want to. Yeah, we'll show some stamps. We honestly don't mind. We'll show We're some with stamps. You. Okay, so um, I can't remember what I was going to do with the stamps now. I'll just stamp some. All right, so they're really good for just really quick cards. So I'm just going to take the flowers and just for speed, I'm just going to stamp them all together. But they've got gorgeous little sentiments in, like you say, they're a bit quirky. Simon wanted something in a bit northern. So. Um, they're just really pretty. And the big one, the friends and the family one, oh, just reminding myself, the ones that I keep moaning about that I wanted. <laughs> and I've not even used yet, but that's not my fault. So, um, It's my fault. Let's go on this one. I hid them at the back. I'll put that there because I'll have to use that in a minute because Simon will be saying, you asked me all that time for those stamps and you never even used it. <laughs> right, okay, so. If we just stamp that on there. We've had questions in. Yes. While you while you demo away, I'm going to throw a question at you as well. Yep, that's uh, fine. Our Heather has emailed in. Thank you for watching, Heather. Heather Lamont, is it, maybe? Oh, I don't know. I think it's my one viewer. I only have the one. <laughs> um, so they've asked uh, for Christmas, are there any more colours on the horizon like a, what were the colours, Meg? A dark red and dark green with a hint of gold in. Oh, quite oh. possibly. We do actually have a red and a green on the, but they've got glitter rather than. Oh. So. What's this space? Heather, they might be. The boys are watching back in the in the workshop in the lair. Yeah. So it doesn't matter what colours you do. You can always get a lovely background. Right. This this one. I'm going to go straight onto this one. I've just sprayed that, so that's going to have some blue on it now. So I'm going back to the little baby pearls and I'm just going to, um, what can I do that's different? I will use this glass mat as um, like a pick up thing. So I'm just going to spray some colour onto it. Can you still see here? If I, if I move it. At the moment. Oh, good. What? 
I'm just saying there's a glass mat if they want one at home. Oh, <laughs> can you see this glass mat though? Yeah, 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 yeah oh, we're right, there. Okay. We're with you. So we've got the we've got the blue and we've got the um, hint of gold, and I'm just going to pick up the colours randomly, and I'm just going to put bits on there. Now this is just like decorators tape. But it just gives such a lovely effect and the colours are mixing in together nicely as well. I like it's like mosaic tiles. Isn't it lovely. So you've got that sort of thing that you can just very quickly, just like that one, I mean just through the card, through uh, colour at the card. Um mm. You got about three and a half minutes. No. I wouldn't do the shaving foam. So in I'm, we're, we're, we're with you. Go on then, see if you can get it out quick. I don't know what I'm doing, I've never done it. Right, so spray some on the mat. What, on your glass mat? I'll tell you what to do while I'm doing this. Yeah, okay. spray it on your glass mat. Oh, yeah. sorry, boys. So, and then just sort of flatten it out. What, with my hand? Yep. No, no, oh. no, with your squeegee. Oh, with my squeegee. Oh, I should I need a... I've got wrong my sleeves. I've got a good shirt on. It's new. I don't know if we're on me or you, but what I'm doing uh, now they're is... They're on me at the moment. They're on Look, you? Back to you. Right, and then... Add gyms. That's it, okay. Now add your colours, whichever colours you want on there. Okay. Uh, what, my colours that you've given me, or the hint of yeah. gold, or anything? Don't use the new ones. Don't use the new ones, Adam. <laughs> Leave the new ones alone. And on use... mine, I'm doing um, the where you take off some of the colour. How are you doing? Yeah. Right, okay, don't overdo it. Now, now use the um, <laughs> stirrer thing and mix it all up mix and then pop up. your card onto it. See, I've never, tr I've never tried this. It's all right, you'll be good. You can't go wrong, you can't fail with it. You can't go wrong, Jim. Apparently our director tried this and it went terrible. No, it couldn't have happened. You've not, you've not, you've not seen our Jimmy. Uh, We've got the board on the show as well. Jimmy's was good, I see uh, Jimmy's. Good board, this is. Good, good, good. What, do I just dump straight on? Um, Plug oh, on? Oh, no, you don't use that. What's that? I don't know, you the, give it me. No, there was some little piece of card. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. That's what was in my bag. Ah. What, these cards? Yeah, so when you do it, sort of like bend it a little bit like that. Okay. First, go on, and then put it all in and then smooth it. Go for it. Fully immerse it. Right now, what? you need to take it off. And from the corner, do you not like getting messy? Look at you. No, go on. From the corner, get your squeegee and wipe it all off. Oh, my. Well, oh. You need to put it down flat. Put it oh, down flat. Oh, can I put it down flat? Look at see, if you put it on that board, it's fine. I've got stuff everywhere now. See, look, you don't like getting messy, do you? <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> look, 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 look. Oh. I'm going to do more. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Yeah, I've got all sorts. I've done as prepared me for everything. Every eventuality I've got here. Right, here we go, 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 here we go. I totally lost it now, am I? Here we go. We're still watching you, we're, we're back on you now, we're back on you. We're back on me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long have we got? <gasps> having a shaving foam off. Oh, I'm loving this. Um, I've got nothing to do it with. I'm going to be in a right mess now. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Matt. I can only apologise. I will help tidy up. Well, Donna will help tidy up. Yeah. Right. right I'll help it. Oh, this, this. It's good fun, isn't it? And now I know what I'm doing. You won't want to stop. I don't know how you did it wrong either, Jim, to be fair. It's quite easy. You can't do it wrong. <laughs> There's no way to do it wrong. Oh, you get literally like the pearlescent. It's, yeah, and it's great for the kids as well. And then when you spray the, the, the uh, glitter over it, <gasps> well, or the, the pearl, oh, it's well mine's, nice. Mine's in a squirt bottle. Do I just squirt it in? Yeah. Oh, mine's not open. I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. I'm, there, I'm getting there. really messy. Because you've got all my stuff. 
It smells I've nice. Never been so excited. You see mine? Yeah, yeah, we're on you. We're on you. You're not on me anymore. They won't show me anymore. It's pretty. It's all about you. It's pretty, isn't it? I like this. Then you just keep using the shaving foam and keep spraying into yeah. it. Over and over. I thought that I give you. You got a penny. I didn't. Wait, I thought you had one. No, I, and I did as well. But I, someone's moved it. Oh, we've got Ooh, just oh. like that, without even mixing it up. That's nice too. Oh, I like Ooh, yours. But I'll just put some glitter on it. I've got this from mine now as well, and I've got like a hint of our poor old Jim. He's Ooh. like left, right, and centre. I'm loving these. Then you can start using these for backgrounds. Yeah, and then build them up onto your card to look lovely. I've missed the middle out of this, but it doesn't matter. How long we got left? Well, yes, We've got about 30 seconds left. You should get close for this one because it's really, but it's got a nice shimmer on it. Can you see it or not? It's too light, that. Oh, I've had a whale of a time. Um, no, you can't see. It's too light. Oh, look at the... I've got, I'm like a little production factory now. Uh, thank you very much. Look at that. I've just created... Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, look at these. See, you can be doing this as well. Go for your pearly wings. Thank you very much, Donna. It was amazing what you thank wrapped you. up through in an hour. Don't you go anywhere. I'll see you in an hour's time. Our Janice is up next. Oh, I've had an absolute blast doing this. Uh, so, don't go anywhere. Uh, be crafty. Up next, ooh, I'm intrigued. Uh, Pearlyworks, check out your baskets. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Echander Shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the Studio Light Shows on Echanda. Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Echanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hachanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hachanda Freedom, you could be saving on your deliveries every month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you will benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And you know the best bit, you can cancel any time. Becoming a member of Hachanda Freedom, you will also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom member discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hachanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Just look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 10,000 of you are already members, and we thank you so much for being a part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm now going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hachanda Freedom. It's lovely because you have the special offers, don't you, that are, give you a nice discount, off, sometimes up to 20%. I don't have to worry about the postage. I, I can spend a fiver on something that I've seen as and when I've seen it, or I can spend 20 or 30 or 50 pounds, it doesn't matter. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. Yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, 
You could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no ongoing monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 88888. So don't forget, you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and a members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hachanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hachanda family. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and crafting with La Blanche. I was just adjusting the uh, the hair there. Oh, it never ends. It never ends. That, by the way, is not part of my hair. That's a basket, just 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 in case. Although, yeah, this is kind of a crow's nest. Anyway, uh, it's great to have your company. How are you this afternoon? Uh, the sun's coming out. It's going to be lovely and sunny this week. So it's a nice way to go and start crafting, maybe out in the garden or maybe in your uh, craft area that might be outside and um, what a wonderful way to do it and with some brand new stamps now we've got the lovely jane royston with us hello jane hello janice how Very are you <laughs> <laughs> yeah it looks like you it looks like you're trying to um wax and wane there <laughs> wash on wash off or whatever it is um how are you jane i'm fine thank you Great yep. to have you company. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your relationship with those fantastic girls from Bee Crafty? Um, I joined the Bee Crafty design team about, I think it must be coming up for three years ago now. And um, I just applied for a design team post and I was lucky enough to um, get picked. I've been using Bee Crafty stamps for well, years before that though, when I first ever saw them at, at one of the uh, craft shows. Um, and then at the end of last year, Bev said to me, had I ever considered designing my own stamp range? And I hadn't, <laughs> but I went away and had a little think. Um, and I've always enjoyed doodling, sort of flowers, butterflies. And so I put together some designs, sent them off to her, and she said, yep, I can make them into stamps for you. <laughs> Well, I'm s I am so glad they gave you the okay because these are absolutely fantastic and I love your doodle style as well. There's lots of potential in the stamps, isn't there, to take the designs further if you wanted to, which I like because, of course, with those doodles, if you want to add colour or maybe just have those as the black part of your designs but really go to town on the background, I think these will work really well doing that. Yep. I also, um, if you look at, at these sort of parts of the stamps, I always so made them so that you could cut parts out and decoupage them up so you can make them as ornate or just stamp them simply in white or black and have them really simple. That would be really nice if you were to decoupage the wings um, on there, which yes. would look fantastic, yeah. would it not? And do you have a fascination with butterflies? I do love butterflies. I think... Um, most crafters do like butterflies. They are just so beautiful. But I also think they're just so, so magical, but the way they change from a caterpillar magically <laughs> into a butterfly. I just think it's amazing. So. Yeah, it certainly is. Um, these are absolutely delightful, and half the stock has already gone. We did have a show earlier on this morning, 34 96 saving £5 on the full set that you're getting here. But if you are a Freedom member, for those 16 stamps, it's just £31.46. Saving 
eight pounds and fifty pence. Here's a lovely sample here. Uh, Jane, you were just talking about using these for decoupage, and I think this is an absolute beautiful sample showing you off exactly what Jane was talking about there. What a lovely, lovely card. 403164 is your item number if you want to go for the bundle here today, uh, but half the stock has gone, so we are very, very busy. 403164. Now, we've got some MDF um, here on the show now these are great and individually you can buy these for 9.99 each so for let me just pick this up to show you uh, so for the MDF shape and the stand if you want that on its own it's is it 9.99 for one ah Ah, 11 .99. So it is definitely well worth going for three of the circles and three of the squares for 11 .99. That is an incredible deal, an incredible deal. 799842. If you want to go for the full set of five, either the circles or the full set of five or the circles, they're 9 dollars each. So that's a set of five in the circles, 9.99. A set of five in the square, 9.99. But if you want to go for a mix, you want to mash it up, go for three of the circles, three of the squares, and then that's just 11.99. So it's a great deal. And lots that you could do here. I mean, that is a lovely sample, Jane. We're just looking at the sample here of the circle. Um, and these have been individually stamped and cut out. Yes, so that's the small flowers and the um, beginnings butterfly, butterfly beginnings. And I purposefully asked Bev if she'd do packs of the big circles and big squares because where the butterflies are quite a, a large size they fit really nicely on those plaques. Yeah they certainly do. I think that's absolutely gorgeous and what a lovely way of decorating it as well with all those lovely colours and I think that's what your stamps really do bring out mm. the beautiful yeah. colours that you can use. Yeah and I love, love colour and it's nice to have like a black background and really show the colours to pop as well love that um, just looking at the square one as well um, I think it's a great idea actually to go for a, a bit of a mix-up to have the square and the circles it's about variety yes it is yeah and Kaz designed um, that one that's been shown at the moment so I'd like to say thank you to Kaz as well because she did some design team samples for me yeah that is lovely thank you Kaz for that oh Bev has emailed in the boss the <laughs> boss oh, oh hang on hang on wait a minute wait a minute <clears throat> do I look okay you look fine Oh, she says we're looking fantastic, so that's good. That's good. good. Uh, I messaged Bev, actually, um, and she picked up my message this morning at 5.30, but luckily she didn't reply until about 9 o'clock today. <laughs> but she did tell me that she's in next Tuesday, and that's when she was going to see me next. Uh, right, let's have a look at some stencils. You've got some inkables here. Now, Jane, there are lots of inkables available, but you chose these three to be on the show. Why did you choose these three? I chose these three because um, I do draw a lot of circles within my doodles. I love circles. <laughs> so I wanted to have the alternate circles one in there. I had to have the butterflies, obviously, because of the butterfly collection. But also because, to me, butterflies and flowers just go together. Um, I chose the dahlia as well, just to, so it makes such a statement in the middle of a, of a, a piece of MDF. Yeah, it certainly does. Now, what I love about stencils, um, and I've been using stencils recently, you can use the whole of the stencil to create the background, or you can just use part of it. You could indeed actually mix all of these stencils up in one design. Yes, yes. And use them with different mediums as well. I've used, uh, well, hopefully I'll be showing in a little while using some um, gel texture paste with the dahlia, so... Mm, that sounds nice. Yeah, your texture paste through here will look amazing. Um, your inks as well. Sometimes mm -hmm. I've been using some acrylic paints as well. Just yeah. really mixing it up. And that gives you a chance at home to build up your backgrounds or indeed use one of the stencils purely for the artwork. £11.99. That's for all three, by the way. 159580. Now, the set that we've got for you on the show is the second collection from Jane, but we've also got Jane's first collection. Um, and we were chatting earlier on, Jane, weren't we? This was actually launched, was it the day before lockdown? Yes, the day before. <laughs> so that's something to remember. Well, you know, everything goes down in history, doesn't it? But we've managed to get this back for you, £34.99. Beautiful designs. And this is, it, this is about flowers, isn't it, Jane? Yeah, I love flowers because I just think they're just so versatile. You can just use them any time of the year, on anything. Any time you need a card, flowers are just ideal for me um, and you can again you can stamp them quite simply or you can layer them up or you can really color them you know there's so many op options that you can do with them 
Yeah, I've got some lovely samples here I'd like to show. Uh, like you say, there's something about flowers that makes you smile every time you receive them on a card. And the great thing is, it's all about colour again. So you've got a lovely summer style card there with all those beautiful uh, lemons and oranges and reds and greens. Really, really pretty. And then you've got something a little uh, darker with the golds and the blacks. But that, again, works so well. And I love the design, um, using them on MDF, using them on cards, and also using these, of course, for home decor and just really, really livening things up. Love that. £34.99 for 24 stamps in total. Uh, and this is Jane's very first collection. And if you're a Freedom member, it's £31.49. Now, we do have some more items on the website for you, so it might be worth having a look to add to your basket before you check on out. We've got your super skinny uh, slims for you and that's for mounting your stamps which makes them a lot easier to use. We've also got some more MDF shapes for you as well and also a mini journal trio. That's really intriguing and with those journals you can leave them as the MDF or you could perhaps cut out some pages and put uh, your pieces of artwork in between. It comes with the rings as well so that's a lovely collection to get. Do go and check out your five star reviews on those products. You've got your inkable circles, you've also got your dinkables as well as your inkables. Oh, it's absolutely fantastic. I love these stencils. And uh, the more you see, perhaps the more you want. But that's okay because look at the price $9.99 for a set of five. So go and have a look at a couple of the sets because you might fancy treating yourself today, as people have done in the past, hence the five star reviews. Now, let's head over to Jane for the first demo. Jane, what are we going to have a look at first? Um, we're going to just finish off a, a demo that I started this morning. We got as far as we'd used some masks with the small flowers and we'd stamped in black. And I was just going to do a little bit of colouring just to finish it off using um, some ink tents colour blocks and my water brush. So just to show that you don't have to... I'm going to have to move over that side. If you don't have to... Um, always be cutting things out and colouring them really intensely. Oh, I'm going to just get a big piece of kitchen roll. You can do things a lot more subtly, you can just do lot things a lot more simply with them as well. So I'm just using my ink tents to colour in my flowers. Let's just get a bit more water on there. And this is something I saw Bev do quite a lot. She uses her ink tanks blocks and it's a really handy way of getting a, a really sort of tidy, shall I say, watercolour effect. But the ink tents are actually um, permanent so they will then stay on your project if you wanted to add anything over the top as well. Uh, I think these stamps would look gorgeous when they're embossed as well, don't you think, Jane? Yes. And um, these, these ones I did this morning, I just did them straightforwardly on with um, archive link because I was going to watercolour. But I often do um, emboss with black Versafine, uh, stamp with black, black Versafine, I should say, and then I emboss over with clear powder and it just gives a little bit extra to it. You know when you do that, Jane, as a technique, does that act... I'm thinking about people watercolouring for the first time. Would that act as a, res uh, a resist for you? Yes, I was actually saying this morning, that I often, if I'm not sure what mediums I'm going to use to colour something in, if I stamp it and emboss it, then it doesn't matter what I use after that, because I know oftentimes people get quite confused about what inks you can use with alcohol pens, what inks you can use with watercolours, and it is quite confusing because there are just so many different options. But if you emboss the lines, then it doesn't matter what you use, it's going to work with it. Perfect. So I'm just showing that you just have to can just really simply colour in. And I am not an expert at all on with watercolour. It's not my um, medium that I use lots and lots of. But no, it's just if you want to, you can put lots of detail in. But similarly, you could just stamp in the black and white and could have left it like that. 
I think it looks. I think it looks lovely. Jane, I do need to tell everyone at home though. Nearly half the stock. Oh, sorry, over half the stock of the collection has now gone. Um, I think now you're seeing Jane colour them in, and how lovely that composition is of those stamps together. And I think you're thinking of all different projects that you can put together at home. It's a delightful collection of those lovely doodle style butterflies. You've got the flowers as well, so you can add the backdrop, their home if you like, uh, to those particular stamps. And it's a great collection to get. 16 stamps in total, £34.96. You're saving £5. If you did want to buy them individually, do we still have them individually? I think we do. Yes, £9.99 each. So if you wanted to go for the flowers on their own, £9.99. Mm -hmm. If you want to go for one particular butterfly, maybe you're going for the whole complete set, but you're thinking to yourself, right, I want the whole set but I want that one there for my best friend, or I want that one there for my mum. This is going to give you the opportunity to pop it into your basket. And I know Father's Day is tomorrow, but if you want to buy one for your dad as a gift, maybe he's a keen crafter, you could always print out a gift voucher. I know it's not the same thing, but, you know, you can still get a gift like that if you want to. So, those are your details, but over half the stock has gone back to Jane. Sorry about that, I just needed to remind people at home. So I'm just finishing off a little bit more colour. So if you want to then add other colours over the top, because they are permanent, you can do that and you won't disturb the colour underneath once they're dry. And they do dry pretty quickly as well. And then just finish off the last couple of leaves at the bottom. I managed to somehow put a dirty fingerprint on there. You could always stick another flower on that if you wanted to. And then just to really simply finish off, I've cut a, a card blank and put some foam tape on. And I do normally, when I um, put my pieces of work onto cards, mat with a darker colour. But sometimes it's just nice to just have that white border. You know what? I can't get that off, so I'm going to use some glue. <laughs> If in doubt, glue it out. That's what I say. Because now the glue won't work either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll use some different glue. <laughs> if in doubt, glue it out and <laughs> glue it out some more. There we go. Good old glue gel. And then just stick it. I've managed to get a dirty fingerprint on the bottom one as well. Oh, that's oh, lovely. I don't need to turn it around, do I? There we go. And that's a really simple little card just using the flowers love that isn't that so pretty and again it's going to lend itself to so much color or maybe you want to have the background full of color and have those doodle flowers and leaves as the main part just maybe in some black embossing absolutely love that jane thanks very much uh, right now we do need to give you a reminder of this complete collection because we're starting to get very very busy it's absolutely delightful and I think when you get a collection like this designed by Jane the artist Jane right there it gives you a chance then maybe to add some little doodles around the outside maybe you fancy yourself as a doodler but you need that main composition in the middle or to the side of your card this collection is going to give you just that lots of different techniques that you can use and we've got lots of gorgeous your samples here to show you as well and remember we do have some MDF on the show so if you wanted something to actually start to build your designs on maybe some home decor maybe as a gift for somebody then we've got MDF here on the show as well 9.99 a piece if you want the set separately but the best value for money saving five pounds is to go for the complete collection there of 16 stamps 34 pounds and 96 pence but if you're a freedom member it's 31.46 which is a uh, a fabulous price it really is and it just means that you've got the full set right there ready to go there's beautiful fantasy style butterflies and those gorgeous flowers as well I think when you get this home you're going to love the design first of all when you stamp it out and see all the different detail that's in there but then you're gonna really enjoy coloring it in maybe color isn't your thing but these stamps are going to allow you to unleash the colorist within you look at that I do like that one it's lovely isn't it oh and this one is really pretty really pretty and I think uh, there you go it's a little easel card isn't that lovely now batch making anything is going to be very easy for you because you have that main image of the butterflies or you've got your um, 
your flowers there to add the detail to. But because the hard work's been done by Jane with the artwork, it means that building up and creating those cards is going to be very, very easy for you. Now, we, we talk about colour, but how about making the background really colourful and interesting and then just leaving that beautiful doodle artwork in black and white at the front. Love that. In fact, what a good idea would be, you could actually stamp a book to give somebody and they could colour it in. So you're creating a stamp book for them. Gives them something to do, maybe send them some crayons as well at the same time. Uh, 403164, that's the item number if you want to go for Jane's second set that we've got for you. Uh, they're by Jane Royston. She's here in the studio. We've got some more demonstrations coming up. And that is the Bloom Butterflies collection. Now, we do have some more stamps for you. Oh, these... So we've got, um, we'll show you that card in a moment actually, I just want to show you the backgrounds, textures and borders stamps. These are fabulous. Um, and what I'll do is I'll just pop this up to show you the stamp itself. If you need something to finish off a card, maybe there's something to go around the outside and you're not confident in doodling yourself and you don't have any stamps that lends itself to make and create those borders, you've got this particular set of stamps right here. It's good, isn't it? 14 stamps in total because you're getting that set and you are getting your fabulous circles as well. Let me just bring those up to show you those stamps there. Good size, good size brilliant love these so if you want to build up backgrounds if you want to create borders 16 pounds and 99 pence superb set of stamps there well worth popping into your basket five seven eight four seven two is your item number let's take a look at some seven day savers there you go we've got some jelly bean rainbow craft card love the colors in here actually these are uh, 235 gsm so a good weight to them 12 by 12 good size to them so they say and you've got 150 sheets in total uh you look at the saving you're making there saving 67 pounds that's amazing 25 pounds and 99 pence if you want to go for your jelly bean crafts rainbow card collection now red liner tape is always a must isn't it and that's so handy to have whether you're layering up your butterflies your flowers sticking borders on or creating construction boxes and things like that you've got a hundred meters oh used to run 100 meters in the race uh, 9.99 there'll be a race to get that i can tell you seven day savers are ending tomorrow and um, we're launching some brand new ones tomorrow evening with me at is that seven o'clock tomorrow night Yes, because we launch them tomorrow morning, but we've got a special show. But we've got a special show in the evening. So, what I'm trying to say, in a roundabout, convoluted way, <laughs> tune in at no tune in at 9 p.m. When tomorrow morning, tomorrow night. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna just I'm just gonna shut up, and I'm just gonna leave you with that lovely picture, um, and let you make your own assumptions about that. Here's our lovely Jane. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of it that way. Jane, uh, we've got some more demos coming up. What we're we gonna have a look at. Um, this is a maybe might go over two demo slots here because this is a um, using one of the big square MDFs that are on the show today and the Dahlia um, Stents Inker Ball. Although I'm going to use it slightly different to how we'd normally use it. Okay. So I am going to be using embossing powder with it in a minute. So first of all, I'm going to anti-static my board, okay. which I have coated in a layer of black gesso, and I've used a brayer just so that it was a nice fine layer and it didn't clog up my bits if when I wanted to put it together. Now why did you have to put the anti-static on? Jane? Because I'm going to use um, some texture paste yeah. and then I'm going to use some embossing powder on it. I don't want the embossing powder to cling to the rest of the um, board once I take the stencil off. Got you. You so. see I'm learning every day's a school day. Right, now, normally when I use stencils I tend not to um, stick them down because I've, I've tend to use sections like you said earlier but for this one I am actually going to stick it down because I want to have the whole image so I'm using this is just some removable tape and I want to have my image right in the middle of the square board and the inker balls fit really nicely okay in the middle of these boards so I also don't want to get my texture paste around the edges I just want it in the middle part so I'm going to stick each edge down so just using some low tack tape yeah, this is just a, a matte finish removable tape. Normally I use this to stick my dies down when I stick them through the um, die cutting machine. And then I've got some clear um, gloss gel. Yeah. 
and my palette knife and I'm just going to squeeze some on there and take some onto my palette knife and just And I think with stencils, if it's your first time doing any kind of uh, stenciling with paste, you've just got to get in and have a go, haven't you? You have. They're, they're really easy to use. Like I said earlier, you can use them with paste, you can use them with paint, you can use them with ink. They're just so versatile. And if, it, if they don't come out perfect, it doesn't matter. Quite often you're using them as a background. It's going to be covered up quite often with something else. So you, it's just Yeah, you good can paint fun. them as well, can't you? I've been having lots of fun with the pearly winks a textured paste actually using them on stencils and I've absolutely really enjoyed stenciling for the first time so I'm just I'm not trying to make it perfect because I am going to cover it up in a second so I'm just going to get a piece of kitchen roll just to clean that up before I stick my elbow in it or something <laughs> and then I'm just going to take my tape off so at this point if you have got any little bits around the side you could just get a piece of kitchen roll and just wipe it off and then I'm just going to lift my stencil oh, wow. and I would normally put this um, stencil into water because it is a paste but what I'm going to do is just quickly give it a wipe just to make sure. I don't worry so much when it's something like an, an ink on the top. Yeah. Because it's not going to clog up the holes. But anything that could potentially dry in there and clog up the holes, I do try and wipe off quite quickly. That is a beautiful stencil. And you know something? It really is a dahlia, isn't it? It's gorgeous, isn't it? I, I've got... Um all my dahlias are coming out in the garden. I absolutely love dahlias because they stay with you for such a long time throughout the year. And yeah, that is certainly a dahlia. Right, so this is just super fine gold embossing powder. And I think sometimes we forget that you can use embossing powder with things like texture paste because it's just another sticky medium to put them onto. So I've just got that off of there. I'm just going to just going to grab a brush. Okay. This just is going to, to look absolutely take. spectacular. So whilst your powder isn't heated, yeah. that's the time to take any excess off that you don't want. As it happens, I, I wouldn't mind anyway if it was little flecks around the edge, I think it would still look quite nice. But yeah, it I'll would actually, wouldn't it? Some of that off. And then I'm going to heat my embossing powder on my texture paste. Okay. Might take a while. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, whilst you do that, Jane, I've got a lovely sample here to show. Um, and it might be similar to what you're doing. It's on, um, on an MDF. And you can see there when it starts to bubble and then it just starts to go across the design. It looks absolutely amazing. And you know, it doesn't matter what colour embossing powder you use, each and every time, it will be absolutely outstanding when you finish. Because this particular stencil has got so much detail in there that's picked up with that texture paste. Even if you're using this with inks and paints, it's going to look fabulous each and every time. But I love, I love that height that you get with the actual paste on there. And here's a lovely sample um, of the embossing in the background, but also using the stamps with the butterfly just on the front there. You could lift that forward a little more if you want to. And then the other stamps in the collection used there after stamping out, embossing, cutting out, and then placing it on the MDF. We've got these MDF uh, shapes on the show. Isn't that lovely? Absolutely gorgeous. I love that. It's very satisfying, isn't it, Jane, embossing? It's very satisfying. Jane's on the other side of the studio, everyone. It's hilarious. Uh, we're trying to communicate the best we can so you guys at home don't realise how far away we are. <laughs> I've, I've, I think you did say it's very satisfying. 
satisfying. Yes, yes, I did, Jane. Well done. <laughs> well done. We need we need big boards and signs, don't we? Yes, it is because the texture paste underneath sort of bubbles up, which yes. is really good fun. And then the pa the powder melting on the top. I'm probably doing this really bad. I'm moving around a bit. We really I should keep sticking to one area. Now, is it does it matter what kind of heat gun you have, Jane? Do you need a heat gun like the one you're using, or could you use one that looks like a hairdryer but is not a hairdryer? It's the only way I can describe it. No, it didn't hurt me. <laughs> oh, we've got a translator in the studio, everyone. <laughs> Lovely Hayley Smith um, is, is a couple of yards away. Embossing powder, I'd use a high uh, directional heat um, just for melting the powder. <laughs> This is, you know That's so noisy. This, this is a great way of doing the show, everybody. I'm asking the question. Hayley Smith is, well, still about five metres away from Jane. And J Oh, sorry, I'm shouting. <laughs> she's, turned, she's turned the heat machine off. Uh, so, as you can see, it does take a little while. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it looks fantastic, doesn't it, Jane? It does, and, and you could have done it just with like um, a sticky ink pad and just heated it with the embossing powder, but the texture paste just gives it a little bit more of a different texture yeah. and just something different you can do with your texture paste. That is lovely. That is lovely. Right, um, have you got some more to add to that, Jane? I have. I was going to do some, a butterfly with some gilding flakes. Ooh. Did you want me to go straight into that? or? Yes, please. Right, okay. <laughs> so, I thought because it's a black and gold theme, I would use uh, some... Oh, I can't see the acid. Oh, there it is. <laughs> some... Oh, dear, I've put my stencil on top of it. Some heat-resistant acetate which I'm going to stamp my butterfly onto. I did put my texture paste on the top, so I might just give that a little bit of a spritz and just to clean that off, that has come off. Um, again, because um, acetate is a, a sort of slippery surface, I'm going to add a bit of emboss uh, anti-static, first of all, just to make sure that if there's any of my dirty fingerprints on there, hopefully they won't pick up too much of the um, embossing powder. And I've found that when I'm stamping onto, um, I'm going to use this butterfly, when I'm stamping onto acetate, if I want it to be really strong, I tend to stamp it with a black ink, like VersaFine Claire, and then emboss with black powder over the top. Oh. Because I find if I st stamp with black and then emboss it with clear, it doesn't always tend to come out very dark. Um, oh, I don't okay. know why. But um, I just find that the double black helps. Yeah. So I'm going to use my black Verse Fine Claire. And you do just have to watch when you're stamping onto acetate. Obviously, it's the slippery surface, so try and put it down and not let it move around. I guess if you had a stamping block, not block, stamping platform, stamping platform that would be yeah. a good idea. Yeah, I do have a st couple of stamping platforms. I've just, I'm so used to stamping with blocks that I don't tend to use them. So put it down carefully and then keep your hands on so that you're not moving the block at all with the stamp. Yeah. And then, she says, looking for the black powder. Oh, I didn't bring the black powder. So we won't use black powder. <laughs> Or use clear. Um, yeah, we'll try it with the clear. And you might be able to see what I mean. It'll probably work perfectly this time. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good to suggest using a, the black powder. And it's good to see you using the clear. So it covers all. I have done another one, actually, which you'll be able to see. And you'll be able to see if there is a difference. So this is with clear powder over the top. And like when you are heating, oh, even though this is heat resistant acetate, you still do have to be a little bit careful because it, it will warp if you leave your heat on it for too long. Yeah. And this shouldn't take too long to do with it being a small image um, from last time. But I'm also, I'm also thinking, Jane, with these stamps as well, the size of them, 
if you were to get some shrink plastic, they would make excellent little pieces of jewellery yes. as well. I did, I did shrink um, this butterfly down and it went down to about that size. But I, oh, I haven't wow, brought it with me. that's a good size. Yeah. So that's with the um, clear embossing powder. Then I have a piece of double-sided adhesive. <laughs> Which doesn't want to come off. While you're trying to get hold of that, I do need to tell everyone at home the details again. Uh, nearly 60% of the stock of Jane's collection has gone. £31.46. It could be your collection if you pop it into your baskets and check on out. Freedom members, you've got that saving of £8.50 for all 16 stamps, 403164. So now could be the time with 60% of the stock gone for you to pop it in your basket and check on out. Back to Jane. I did already stick one, but if you look at those two now, you can really see the difference between this is the one with the clear embossing Got powder you, over yes. the black and that's black embossing powder over the black. And would you recommend that for vellum or for all kinds of different cardstock? Um, I think it's mostly just, it seems to be on the acetate. I don't know whether it's because of the clearness of the acetate. That's what I meant, acetate, yep. not vellum, that's me. <laughs> so, because when I do it on other, other surfaces, white card, it always sort of goes nice and black anyway yeah. so I think it's something to do with the acetate so I've got my um, double-sided on the back and now I've got the opposite problem <laughs> well, I'll let you I've just got a sample I to know, show I'm everyone at home thing. whilst you um, get that off the back so I've just picked this one up I absolutely love this one you've got it's like it must be embossed or some form of glossy accents on there that you can see so it's been stamped on once and you see how those leaves can lift up so you've got the image on the bottom and then the other images on the top that is absolutely fantastic and that could be a tag could be a card absolutely love that that is such a fabulous that one actually is by Julianne oh Julianne is a queen bee oh. I didn't because I didn't see their samples, so I didn't know what they'd made or if they'd made any. Oh, so this, that's this really is nice. this is lovely. Have you seen it with the with the uh, petals that come up? Isn't that a lovely sample? And then it's stamped underneath. That is oh, lovely. Oh, <laughs> yes, I was in there just now. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Thank you, Julianne. That is lovely, isn't it? Oh, well done, Julianne. I like that. Back to Jane. Okay, so I've taken the back off of the um, double-sided adhesive, and I brought just a small amount of um, gilding flakes and uh, these are not any particular color there I had lots of different pots of um, all mixed up colors so I just popped them all together because I found that that way I used them more so I'm just putting my gilding flakes over the back of the sticky back plastic and I start by just putting lots and lots on because most of them are going to go back into the pot rub as much off as I can and then I will collect all these up I've got a um, scooty sponge and just oh, wow, look at that. rub the excess off and again you can collect all of these bits up you don't waste them pop them back in the pot And then when you turn it over, oh, that's you've got pretty. your gilded butterfly. And obviously you would take a bit more time just to get the edges off. And, and so it looks a bit tidier than that. That's that really pretty. More. And then you can put your butterfly, can fly onto your um, base of your dahlia. Yeah, absolutely beautiful that is. And here's a finished sample just here with the butterfly on the dahlia and all the flowers from the collection at the bottom there. Aren't they wonderful? What a lovely, lovely sample that is. Really do like that. Something that you can make and create as well when you get home. And also, you can watch the show again. You can watch Jane's demonstrations. You can craft along with Jane because the show will be available for 60 days. But not sure the stock will be available for 60 days because we're having a busy show. 16 stamps, £31.46. Freedom members, you've 
you've got that £8.50 off. If you're not a Freedom member, it's £5 off at 34 96 and your PMP is £2.95. So it's kind of a why not deal. Uh, a why not deal means if you join Freedom today, your Freedom price here in the UK is £6.97 per month. You can cancel at any time. It's a rolling contract, so uh, become a Freedom member today. You'll get that discount today, and you'll get PMP included on all your products and great discounts for a whole month. If you choose not to continue with Freedom, just let us know, and we can cancel your Freedom membership. But so many people are Freedom members. That's why we've got great prices here for you. 403 164 is your item number. Right, let's take a look at the MDF we've got available for you. Why Jane resets for her next demonstration. Oh, these are limited stock, everyone. The circle's on their own. You get five in total, so the stand and the circle. Very easily just place it in like so. Paint it first and then just add a bit of glue. Stick it in there so it stays put. I mean it'll stay put without but it's always best just to add a bit of glue. And then you've got that beautiful stand so you can start to make pieces of artwork just like that but with limited stock for your circles. Five of them at 9 99 That's for all five. Let's have a look at the squares. Uh, again, these are lovely. This sample here by Kaz, a uh, beautiful sample showing the stamped butterfly cut out and placed on the MDF. And then Kaz has had a lot of fun building and creating that background. Love that. Oh, that is nice. What if you put the paint on with like a spatula or something? That looks amazing. Oh, I might try that technique. Lovely. Love the colours as well that you've used there with that white butterfly. So, all five square. Uh, art boards 9.99 for all five 9.57891. Now, if you want to go for three of each, we've got a great price for you at 11.99. That's three of the square and three of the circles, but half the stock has gone. If you wanted five of the square, five of the circles, then it would just be 11 uh, 9.99 times two, so just under 20 pounds. So this is a great way to get three of each for 11.99. That's an absolute bargain everyone. Absolute bargain. 799842 is your item number because it's 9.99 for 5. You're getting 6 here, 3 of the square, 3 of the circle and it's only 2 pounds on top of your 9.99 to get that extra one. Brilliant, I'd say. Uh, right, uh, we've got some stencils for you. Uh, these are the ones that Jane has chosen for the show uh, because Jane believes that these will be perfect for the butterflies and flowers. You've got your dahlia, which is lovely. And Jane used this. Let me grab the sample um, in the demonstration previous. But let me just bring... Can I drop the sample just in? Yeah, look at that. Look how well that brings out that dahlia shape. Beautiful. So that's your dahlia stencil that's included. You've also got your butterfly stencil, just like so. And remember, you can just use one of those butterflies if you want to, with it being a stencil, or use all of them as your background. And then you've got uh, your circles. Love that. Imagine stenciling your cir st um, circles and then just colouring them all different colours. That would be good. That would be good. Uh, 159580 is your item number. 1199, and that's for all three. That's for all three. Now, if you love the collection of the butterflies and the flowers, which clearly you do because we're very, very busy, we've got Jane's first collection here. This was launched, actually, the day before lockdown. That was March the 22nd. I know that because it was the day before my birthday. Lockdown happened on my birthday. Oh, well, um, I'd sooner have had a lock-in, but unfortunately, it was a lock down instead. Uh, 597685 is your item number. £31.49. You've got flowers here. You've got some lovely shapes as well that you can use those geometric shapes. How about using those and getting a pen and drawing a stalk? Those could be the tops of your flowers if you want them to be. Uh, they could create backgrounds. They could create pathways leading to flowers in the garden if you want to use them in such a way. Uh, but many, many different ways of using them. Let me just bring up a couple of samples to show you. Lovely colours in that one. Here's those geometric shapes used within the flowers. So that's a really nice filler as you can see just there. Um, sometimes going for a nice vintage look looks fabulous when you've got the right flowers to use. Adding your own doodles uh, around the edge to build and create those lovely pieces of artwork is a great way of using these stamps and also using your MDF uh, tags as well. Uh, that one is by, does it say that's by? 
No, it just says who's used it, but it looks, whoever's done that looks brilliant. £31 and 49 pence if you want to go for Jane's first collection. 597-685. Just one more sample to show you there because that's lovely. Isn't that gorgeous? Lots of ideas for you there. Uh, and 34 99 if you're not a Freedom member. Right, let's have a look at the Slims. Head to the website, get these. These are great for your stamps and also a little bit bendy as well. So they're really good for laying down the stamps or laying down your backgrounds. You've got four assorted super skinny slims there. £19.99. and pence. It's been a long time since I've been called a skinny slim. Uh, especially over the past three months of lockdown. Uh, 194754 is your item number if you want to go for those. That's a great investment. That really is. Uh, right, so those are your slims. Shall we head back to Jane? Jane, what are we going to have a look at now? Um, I'm going to see if I can make this um, final card. It, and it's a vintage -y theme as well. Okay. And using book paper to create my butterfly. And I have got some bits um, ready so that if we, we run out of time, I can get it finished. So I'm starting off on a piece of uh, watercolour paper. And I'm going to create my vintage -y background using distress oxide. So I've got um, antique linen vintage photo and walnut stain. So I'm just going to start off by squishing some onto the mat. So I'm going to start with my palest colour, which is antique li linen, and I'm just going to smoosh it in just to create my base. And I'm not going to worry about drying that because I'm not worried if they they mix up. So I'm going to put next my vintage photo. I do love a good mop up, don't you, Jane? Yeah. And these, uh, the distress oxides make such a nice finish with their chalkiness where they do that, the oxidization. And just for a little bit of darker tone in there, I'm just going to put a little bit of the walnut stain in as well. And if you want to get more sort of subtle dabs, you can just dab it rather than smoosh it. And then just quickly give that a blast with the heat tool. We used to do effects like that at school with a tea bag. And really good. We used to make treasure maps. I was just saying, Jane, we used to do um, colour like that with tea bags and vinegar when we were at school. Yes. Yeah. No, now we can just use distress oxides. Because <laughs> it's it smells if you use vinegar. I wouldn't recommend oh, yeah. making yeah. a card out of vinegar and sending it to somebody. It's it's not no. the thing to do these days, is it? <laughs> it wouldn't be that nice. Um, I'm using one of the um, dinkables. I know that, that all the sets are on the show. I'm not sure which number set that's from, but it's the uh, Metal Alpha Dinkable, and it's one of my favourites. And I'm just going to get my blending tool and just, and then because it is a sort of vintagey background, it doesn't matter if it's not perfect. I'm just trying to get some sort of interest and texture on there. And whilst I'm, I've got that out, I'll just also just run it around the edges just to help frame the card. We're going to bring the details up on the screen for the dinker balls that um, Jane is talking about. That includes this particular stencil, and it's three eight five eight two four. Only nine ninety nine for five assorted designs, including the one that Jane is using there. So if you do like that, just nine ninety nine in your basket. Great investment. Okay, I'm also going to use some of the texture circles. We, I presume we still got the texture circles and borders. So. Oop. And I'm going to again just stamp with my distress oxide. So I'm going to do a bit with the walnut stain going off the page as well. And then I'm going to switch to vintage photo. And let's have, let's have this one. But the, all the circles are so lovely, it doesn't really matter which ones you choose, that they all work together.
and the details are on your screen now if you do want to go for the texture borders and circles there's 14 stamps in that collection jane's using them now 16 pounds and 99 pence saving three pounds uh, again a great deal and i'm going to use one of these borders i think this looks a bit like um rick rack rick rack ribbon so i'm going to go again go in with my dark color and just add a little bit coming in from the sides okay so that's my background made so you can really quickly and easily with the the texture stamps just make up a really quick background and some of the dinkables right, and then i'm going to make my butterfly and i'm using some um, book paper now I know some people don't like the idea of using paper from books, but this is from a book that was, would have been thrown away from a charity shop as well. So it's um, giving some money to charity and it would have been thrown away anyway. So if you don't like using book paper, you can always buy. There's all the sorts of papers you can buy that have the same sort of look to them. And I'm going to use the Blossom Butterfly, which I drew to sort of have a sort of petally look about it. It's very and I'm going pretty. to use my up black archival jane do you have a favorite butterfly out of real butterflies or these butterflies but the real butterflies <laughs> i do like um the peacock butterfly oh yes i think they're beautiful yeah they are beautiful and british as well so yes yeah they're, they're the ones that look like they've got big eyes yes on their wings i used to see them quite a lot when i was younger i haven't really seen one no. for quite a long time I've seen some different butterflies of late, some, mm. some really lovely scarlet coloured mini butterflies which have been beautiful. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to just, to tie that in with the rest of the um, card, oops, I'm just going to put a little bit of colour into the centre. And then what I did was I cut out three of those butterflies leaving just one with its antennae which oh, I, I then layered up together and added a bit of glue gel inside each petal so that I got this so I don't know if you can see that uh, glue gel just inside at the top so that it just holds it out then I've got my card base. I'm just going to stick this through here. And use some more glue gel to attach my butterfly to the middle. Would you always recommend using like a 3D gel, Jane? Um, I use 3D gel quite a lot because I do like my things to be dimensional and I find it, it just sticks really well. But I mean, you could use um, foam tape as well if you wanted to get that 3D yeah. look. And then I just stamped using the typewriter alpha set, which I think is on the show as well. Yes, for it you. is, yeah. Yeah, we'll bring and the details in for that. Card. Oh, that's great. I can see why you're on the design team, Jane. I can see why the girls thought, yes, we'll have Jane's designs. That's absolutely beautiful. Thank, oh, thank you, very you much. for that. Thank you. Uh, right, if you do want to go for the Be Crafty Wordage stamp set, uh, the typewriter alpha, the details were just on your screen just there. Uh, right, details on your screen right now, though, are for this brand new collection. Brand new today, actually. We had a show earlier on um, with Jane. This is Jane's second collection for the girls at Be Crafty. And these are beautiful art stamps that have been drawn and doodled by Jane um, of butterflies. Aren't they gorgeous? And you've got the flowers as well. And you've got some sentiments in there to boot. So you've got 16 stamps in total you can mat and layer these you can build them up you can use them uh, as decoupage lots of different techniques lend themselves to these stamps and they're absolutely beautiful whether you're using the whole of the butterfly or using part of the butterfly maybe using the wings as flowers themselves you've got a lot of choice in this particular set and we've got some lovely lovely samples to show you as well i mean that's using one of the mdf circles that we've got available on the show 
and this one right here is on a card we're using the dahlia in the background absolutely superb and the two butterflies one each side lovely sample that is if you're using the flowers really nice tag here could be a tag for a birthday present could be a tag to a door you could use these with shrink plastic and you could make some lovely um, jewellery from these absolutely stunning i think it's going to give you an idea of color so you can be very very colorful this is nice. Do you know, I've just, I've just had an idea, actually, Jane. Uh, we, do you know, sometimes you'll see cards and it brings an idea. If you were to get a spring, you could have the butterfly springing out. I know you can get oh, something nice. like that in card making. Yes, you can. You can buy little springs. The other thing I did think was if you had a strip of acetate, you could somehow stick it over the top of the card so that, and then stick the butterfly to it yeah, so, so it's, it's it coming flying down. in front of your card. Yeah, I didn't that, get round to doing that. That would, be, <laughs> that would be fantastic. And if you used that particular technique on some shrink plastic, somebody would have um, a little butterfly brooch that they could take off. Mm, oh, Jane, we should go in business together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some beautiful cards here, but you do need to check out your baskets to get hold of these. We've had a very busy show. Saving £5, 34.96. But if you are a Freedom member, then you've got the extra discount and your P&P &P is included. Absolutely delightful. Imagine those on your wall, maybe. Um, having a row of butterflies, a picture. Don't forget you can use these with your fabric inks as well. So you could perhaps build and create your backgrounds, make some wrapping paper, make um, a lovely bag with the butterflies on as well. So pretty. Even if you just use the stamps themselves with the black and white doodles on there. Absolutely magnificent. Um, Jane, it's been an absolute pleasure working with you being here with you <laughs> well are you designing any more have we got some, some new stamps to look forward to in the future i have already got some new designs in the pipeline yes have you <laughs> oh i'm very excited about those thank you for all your demonstrations jane very thank very, you very inspiring much. And thank you to everybody out there as well oh thank you you see, the girls know a good thing when they see one. They really do. Um, please do check out your baskets. And Freedom members, you've got that discount of £8.50. If you want to become a Freedom member so you can get that extra discount, you can also be one today. Triple eight, triple eight in your basket. Have a look at the first collection as well from Jane. It's absolutely spectacular. You might want to get both. Uh, thanks for your company, but stay where you are. There's more coming up on Hochanda. Right, Craft Yourself Silly Fabazine is coming up next with our Adam. And Pretty Punch Needle after that at five. And then we're launching a brand new one day special with All and Create. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. from Artisan Design. We're a family run company uh, from the Midlands um, and we have been going for around about a year now. We design 
handcrafted stamps, stencils and designer papers. Personally, uh, I love crafts and I've loved crafts from uh, childhood, right from when I first won an art competition when I was five years old. I love to inspire and what, what my aim is, is to get the crafters um, to see their own potential. I like them to be uh, in charge of their own creativity. What I hope is that our images um, provide the kickstart to your mojo and help you create your own works of art. Tune into our channel, be part of the artisan design world and come and join me on this creative path. Hi, I'm Joe from The Mill Shop Online. Welcome to The Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss The Mill Shop Online shows on Hotanda. Hello, I'm Barbara and I'm Julie and together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business, been in business for two years and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on a channel. Chanda News! We're excited to announce that from the 1st of July, our broadcast hours on Freeview will be extended to 10pm each day. We know that many of you have been missing our live shows in the evenings and we look forward to having you with us once again. Just having, I say we were having a reminisce. So I was thinking a bit of who's sorry now, who's sorry now. Oh, love it. If you only could see what happens during those breaks, people running around frantically, throwing bits of stuff in the air. No good reason they just do it anyway. So they put things away. Anyway, I digress. How the devil are you? It's Saturday afternoon. It's four o'clock. Should you be checking your watches? I don't know why. There's nothing else on. It's four o'clock. <laughs> Stay with me for the hour. I'm not on my own. Last time we spoke to each other, she was in the Riviera of up north, the Sol. I can't remember exactly where, uh, but it was lovely. It was oh, a was it you that saw the man in the fish and chips? Yes, it was <laughs> us on the Skype. We had a beautiful, and a my beautiful messy living room view. because I was busy sewing all these samples. Oh, it was good. <laughs> she panned around the room. It looked like she'd been burgled. The dish, but yes. <laughs> she is here. We're talking about. Ah, hey, Lizzie, how are you, my love? <laughs> I'm fine, thanks, Adam. How are you? This I'm is good. better this time because we're kind of more opposite each other. Yeah, I can. So it's much better. I can see you now in person. Just peek through the camera holes. Peek through the little camera across a monitor but you're there um and uh, i've finished where derek more or less left off bless him uh, he's yeah he's he had a hard morning he had three as hours of me oh and how's the duck oh duck's excellent yeah Fred, I've, I've done a little bit of facetime with the duck in between the shows. if you if you've missed out if you're on the if you're on the socials i'll give you a plug you might have four members by the end okay. of this uh frank the duck on insta Instagram, yeah, Frank Instagram. the Duck, I was yeah, right. Frank, Frank uh, there's, the there's only four of us, the three of us. One's me, one's Janice, and one's a girl from marketing. Bless her, that's it. Frank the well, Duck on Instagram, to be fair, Frank the Duck. he's only had an Instagram for less than 24 hours. Well, he's doing well then. It, so. Let's show the duck. There's the duck. There's Frank the Duck. It's a real duck. Anyway, I digress. I must talk about products because someone will tell me off otherwise. Uh, right then, it is four o'clock, which can only mean one thing. Yes, first of all, well, it can mean two things. First of all, we're going to have a bit of fun this hour. I can see it now. I've already been looming. 
And not in a weird way, <laughs> with an actual loom. <laughs> weaving, just, just standing you mean, there weirdly. I think like, you looming. mean weaving. <laughs> I've been with weaving. A loom. I've been doing a bit of weaving. Look, beautiful bit, beautiful bit of weaving. Now we've got these on the show. Do not fear about this. Look at that. I did that. And before you say Derek did it, he didn't. He made a right pig's ear of it, so I've had to tidy it up. Now, <laughs> what we now what we're talking about is we're talking about what you see here in front of you. Now, the details are on the screen. Issue one was, I'm not sure Hayley won't mind me saying, was sort of a sideline. It was only showed ever once on one show I've been told. I've done a bit of research. It was sort of a sideline show. It was on the show, but it wasn't it wasn't the main item as it were. Well, it went mad. It went crazy. It went loony. Oh, you were buying them in your droves. You couldn't get enough of it. So, there they were, sitting in head office towers. They craft yourself silly. Big block, very posh. And then they thought, well, we need to do another section. We need to do another booklet. And this is what they've done, issue two, funnily enough. And this is your one day special for issue two. Now, what are we getting? Well, I'm going to talk about issue two first. There is a bundle for issue one and two, so if you missed out, don't worry. Bear with me. I will get there eventually, Margaret. But 585123 is your item number for issue two. This is your craft yourself silly. Fa I've been trying to say this all day. Fabazine. Fabazine. Fa Fabazine. Fabazine? Yeah. Is that like a, is that like a fab magazine? It's a, like fabric magazine. Fab a fabazine. Uh, now, it contains £123.91 worth of projects. Now, I know what you're saying, because I was saying it earlier. Well, where did they get that figure from? Where did they pluck that figure from the edge? Well, have that. Put that in there. No, we're not allowed to do that, you see. What it does, it's a whole magazine of 12 items. 12 little projects is what you're going to get in here. Now, individually, if you went for the projects, that's where that price comes from there. £123.91 is if you bought the projects individually. OK? But for two flexible payments, as you can see down here, two flexible payments of £20, this will get you issue two. Issue two today comes with 12 amazing projects, which means you can now make a cup holder. So it's a mug tidy. So oh, that a mug one, tidy. I, I've, got, I've got another one that's nearly finished here, and I've got some stuff to put in the pockets as well. Yeah. <laughs> so so you've, got... Uh, you've got your mug tidy. Yeah, what, what else we got? got? I'm waiting for the pictures. We've got the hedgehog pin cushion. Oh. You've actually got two of those because when I put all the elements onto the fabric panel, I had a little gap. So I filled it with a baby hedgehog. So you're getting two hedgehogs. So in theory, it's 13 projects. It then. is, but that I'd already put 12 on all the yeah. stuff. Okay. Oh, What's that? oh we, hang on. That's the lunch bag. So Can we go back one? Jelly, jelly bean lunch bag. And this is the uh, foundation piecing spiral cabin background, which is very, very cool. Then that's your lunch bag. What's next? There you go. Ah, this one is your storage box. So your storage box comes and you don't have to put that lotus on the front if you don't want to. Obviously, the fabric that's in the background does match it. But you've got the template in there, so you can make that design as many times as you wish. Okay. You've got your Victorian tile cushion, and this one's great for quilting. You can just do the basics by doing those straight lines, or you can really go to town in that centrepiece. It's up to you. I like. Oh, this is what I've been this playing with. This is yours. With. Go on, then. Uh, well, it's a loom. And I thought looming was quite hard, and you have the little trigger. It's not, is it? You've... No, it's really easy. That's why, that's why I've given it to you. Well, it is. From a distance, I was like, well, I, I came to the studio early, you see. And I thought, well, I'll have a little go. It can't be hard. It can't be that. I didn't pick up a booklet. I didn't pick up an instruction manual. I just saw it here. Um, and I just went in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. And then I took the other colour and I just went up, down, up, down, up, down. Same in and out, but up and down. So you sort of get that weird look that I made now. Which is basically what this is. And yep. as we were saying before we came on out, there's no right or wrong way of doing this, is Absolutely there? Absolutely not. The, the whole point of the Fabazine is to bring things to you that kind of give you a starting point. So give you a taster of either a craft or a way of stitching or a project or uh, maybe it's just a technique and it, that's your starting point and then where you take it from there is entirely up to you. I like it and then oh, oh and this is our turtle. Look at His him. name is Flappy. Flappy Because he's got turtle. all floppy arms and legs. Oh because he flaps about. Yeah. Floppy flappy. Oh and then this is good. <laughs> You've been playing that by yourself I haven't have you? Been playing, I won every time. <laughs> So it's um, it's actually designed to teach you how to make a drawstring bag, but I thought, well, wh what are we going to put on the bag to make it different? So we made a little noughts and crosses game, right. and there are happy little people, and their eyebrows kind of go go up like that, and they're happy. And then there's some grumpy ones where I've stitched that in. Apparently, Yanis says that looks like his uncle. 
with the big black eyebrows. Oh, here he is again. Look, you had to get his name Sorry. in, didn't you? Every time we well, worked together. Well, he did together. last night. Why, why are you so jealous of him? What's the problem? Everyone loves him. He's a great guy, isn't he? I'm just, I'm just so you've got jealous. An embroidery doodle and you get the hoop included as well. So once you've finished embroidering it, you can use that hoop to display it. It's got a little hanging hole on the top. Oh, a little Splendid. hanging hole. Can't yeah. go wrong with a little hanging hole. Is that, is that a mole? Oh, 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 it's frozen. Oh, the system's broke. We're that busy. The system's oh. frozen. It's like... Too many projects. Too we many broke projects. the system. Well, this is what you get. But it all comes neatly bundled. Now, what I like about it as well, all your MDF segments are in are in this said loom. This is your loom. Okay, everything pops out of what you actually see here as well. Not only are you getting your loom though, and everything in MDF, so you know it's going to be high quality. You know what you're buying into with this as well. But you get every single thing that you need to create a kit. This is not like one of those magazines that you go out and buy and the first issue has all the really good stuff on. The first issue has all the pens, it has all the, has all the threads and the next issue just has a pin. <laughs> issue three has a thimble. And then you have to wait and wait and wait. It costs you more and more money just to get what you finally want. With this, you're getting everything in one bundle. Now, this is issue two, two flexible payments of £20 is what we're talking about. Now, I asked a question before I came in as well. I said, oh, this is all well and good. What else do I need? Do I need anything else? And the honest answer is no. The honest answer is if you stick to the booklet, you won't need a single thing. But there is a but. And I'm going to tell you because you might be able to get your money's worth. Uh, if you want to turn any of the artworks, so maybe you go for your little cousin, the purple one down the front, or you go for the, and you want to think, ah, I want to turn it into a cushion. That's fine. Well, they've not given me the stuff to make a cushion. I thought you add that man on the telly, and that woman said, you get everything you need. You do. But if you want to turn things into a cushion, obviously you need to provide your own wadding, and then you need to put your own backing on it as well. In theory, we are giving you the fronts, but these fronts are still amazing. So the, there are, uh, the um, tile cushion is a full cushion kit. It's just the um, beach panel. So Four that's, cushion. the beach panel is a panel because it's designed to be uh, more wall art. Oh, we didn't, that wasn't on the pictures, was it? No, we've not seen that. Oh, uh, okay. It's here. So there's one, one on the front of the counter, and then there's one on the back of the counter as well. Uh, the one I was trying to pop in a frame for you, I've Adam. Got it. There you go. So this is exactly the same panel. This is just, um, I've kind of put it down into a smaller frame there and just taken an element of it. So this one is designed with all of those applique pieces so you can use your free motion techniques and take that plain backing panel and make it into something of a little little holiday scene. I like, I like the holiday scene. I'm liking this a lot, I really am. Uh, it's a good little, no way. Uh, it's a good little project kit is what you're getting here, but I know what you're thinking. Well, I'd like, I like project two. Yeah, you've got amazing projects here as well. 12, um, 13, slash third, 12, and a little baby pincushion of a hedgehog. Uh, 13 projects, in fact, is what you're getting for two flexible payments of 20 pounds a day. 585123 is your item number. But if you're thinking, I like this, but I'd also like issue one, you haven't missed the boat, do not fear. You still can go for issue one. Issue one, the details now are on your screen. Now this is for issue one on its own. 44 pounds and 99 pence, 22 pounds and 50 pence across two flexible payments. If you want issue one on its own, but please, if you're going for issue one, you think, well, I'll have issue one and issue two. Hold the phone a second, because these deals I can really make better for you. You've got five pounds saving on this as well. Five, five, four, three, eight, one is your item number. Now, in this, you are going to be making, first of all, this icon go, I think this is stunning. I really do. This is sort of like a wall hanging slash tidy that you've got on here. You get the material, well, you put in the pockets down the side that you can put in whatever you want, but not so only the, can you do that. On that one, Adam, go the on. only thing that isn't included, I've Ooh. added as a kind of a, a top up element to the project is uh, the headscarf is printed on, but I've added, <laughs> you messing about. No. I've added an extra piece of fabric to make that headscarf, and I do show you how to do that in the tutorials. Okay. Um, but if you want to make it 3D, you can, but if you don't, the headscarf is already printed on there, it is ready to go. I like this though, I like it. So you get, you're getting the girl in there as well, so you get everything that then you get a little bit of cross stitch in there. So you get the MDF owl and then you cross stitch into his chest for all those beautiful hearts that you've got in there as well. Uh, you've got the uh, black and white cushion at the back. This is a cushion that you're actually so getting that, black and white that's one. That's the one where you get the template, because we always try to put uh, one project in there which is for you to use your stash. So in the... Um, 
issue two, it's that spiral backing. So you've got the backing, it's up to you to add the fabrics to, to complete it. Yep. And that one is the one from project from issue one that has the same theme. So you get the templates, it's up to you to use your stash to create that project. So you've got the stash on there, so you've already got, you know you've got your stash at home as well. Uh, so you're getting the templates then. You're also getting your beautiful notebook holder as well, so you can really go to town on these. These are absolutely open that beautiful. up in the centre, there's a really nice printed fabric as the lining. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Fancy. That's nice. Mm hmm Now, obviously, book's not included? No. Book's not included. Book is presenter's own. It wouldn't, it wouldn't fit in the in the box. That's true. But well, you can do it. I mean, you could, <laughs> that, in theory, could be a... Other Kindles are available. Uh, could be a Kindle holder. Yeah. If you wanted it to be, or a tablet holder. It doesn't yeah, have to be for a notebook. Yeah, you don't have to. The size of the panels are big enough that you could do it as a flat piece and make it into a, a holder. Absolutely. I like, I like. Then you've also got your pencil case as well. We've touched on these before. You get your beautiful pencil cases in there. You also get your Westie bunting as well, right the way down the front. Um, I can't reach to grab, but you get your Westie bunting that's in there. Uh, you also get your in number embroidery doodle, which is this one just here which you can go to town from. Uh, you've got your camper van as well. Uh, now, do so you've you, got the is the project van? a bag or is it a cushion? Okay, so the first project is um, how to work with uh, turned edge applique. So you get your template within there and that will create your camper van applique. Now, mine is the prototype one and that has the plain white lining in. Yours has actually got a printed camper van lining. Nice. To yours and... Um, the the kind of the backing is a kind of countryside backing, so you don't have to put the camper van on there. You could put some little sheep on there, some other oh. bits and pieces on there. I've kind of combined the two projects into one. Um, I like that. Just because I didn't have enough space. No, I'm liking <laughs> it. Uh, but then you also get the pencil case as well. This could be a music yeah, beauty bag. Yeah, a little if you kind of pouch there, which would make a nice um, ah. makeup bag or something. And then there's another. There's a printed lining in there as well. Um, it's and the I've the got, there's another the sample back. of that on the back actually, and that one's been done slightly differently. So I've used, uh, I think it's over, it was in that corner, unless they've tidied it up. The one with the flowers? Yes. This one? No, the other bag, the little, like the little bag you had. No, I don't have a bag here. Oh, it must have been put away, that's fine. And um, just to show you, there's different ways to do that, because I've done that one with a, um, a satin stitch. And that's what it's been intended for, a satin stitch plique. But you absolutely can use other techniques because there is another sample kicking about that's been done with a scribble technique. Well, like and that them. one's really cute as well. Then you get your hippo in <laughs> you here as well. You love the hippo. I'm loving this. You love the hippo? I love the hippo. I think the hippo is beautiful because there's so many. It could be a little pincushion, it could be a little doorstop. Yeah, you could put if beans in him and he could be a doorstop easily. You could quite easily sand him against the door so it looked like he was pushing the door closed. I um, absolutely <laughs> love the little doorstop. Once again, you get everything you need in the kit to create the images that you have just seen here now. Okay, two flexible payments, £22.50. 554381 is your item number. But what most people are going for are the combined values. So take your value, uh, your money saving from uh, project two. Take that £5 from item one, to that project one that we just looked at. Then add another saving on top of that as well. You're already saving £5 across the two, but then you've also got that saving as well. We're not allowed to do the maths, I don't know why. Uh, it's actually £10 on the one day special, £5 from this, and then you've also got another fiver off here as well. Uh, £39.99 and across the two flexible payments on this. Now this did sell out. We've got it back on extended delivery now, 27th of June, only a seven day wait on this, and it will be shipped to you. That means you now have 24 projects, 24 projects that you can do at home, that more or less, there are different scopes in this, which means that most of the family can have a little go at something that's in here. It works out to be £3.33 a project. And that means £3.33 for a complete project for zips, buttons. Go on. Yeah, go on. Because everything is put together in one panel and one set of packaging, that means it's less time yeah, for our guys to, to pack it and it's less... Um, packaging in its in its own right, so it's kind of more economical to do it like that. 
And that, and that does make sense. When you actually break it down, that really does make sense, doesn't it? Because for the sheer fact, it's the, obviously it's overhead costs, as it were. If you're going for everything individually, which by all means you can, if there's a project you like and you only want, you just want the hippo or you just want the turtle, you just want the cushion, by all means you can do that. Jump to the website. It's the quick and easiest place to go. But you can get everything that's here. Maybe you've already got issue one. You're thinking, well, do I want issue one again? Buy it for a friend. Then you're getting issue two, then you can gift item one if you want. Well, maybe not even gift the whole item. Maybe make the 12 projects, then you've got 12 presents, Christmas sorted. Now this is true, and also on the show as well, we've also got happy hours as well. Um, I stamped my little feet around in the office, and I got my own way, nine times out of ten. And we managed to bring back all of the happy hours that we could well, get that haven't sold out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We've, uh, we've got... We've only got the two left because unfortunately we, we did sell out of the... <gasps> we've got three! We've got three. We've got the pins on the show. It is two. Right, OK. I've, I've got them here, so I shall do them over here. Let me just move these projects out of the way because we need these for in a minute. Let's have a look at these happy hours okay. live. So, with our um, which, do you want to do the needles first? Yeah, OK, let on. me grab all of these. So, uh, what you've got is you've got a pick and mix of loads of amazing needles and there's kind of a tool for every job in here. So, what you have is two options of your embroidery needles. You've got your five tens and your three nines. Now, the, basically the difference, because people always ask me this, what is the difference? The difference is generally in the size of the hole, the size of the eyes in the needles. Okay. So, the five ten, sorry, the three nines have got slightly bigger eyes than the five tens. So um, you've got options. I think it's pick and mix any four on these, isn't it? Any four, okay, yeah. So you've got two options on your embroidery needles. You've got um, your long darning needles and your beading needles. I'm going to actually open this one up so you can see the length on these because these are whoppers. These are great big long ones, so these are really, really handy for, um, especially if you've got kind of uh, uh, upholstery type projects and you're going through thicker fabrics, these are a great option for that. You've got your beading needles. Now, beading needles are always long, so you can get lots of beads on a single needle and also very skinny so that you can get um, through those little holes in the centre of things like seed beads. The next ones we've got, we've got the Easy Threads. Now, you'll enjoy this one, Adam. Go on. You, oh, I've already taken one out. OK. Oh, they're quite tight in the packet. There we go. I think you'll enjoy this. So, if you have trouble threading your needles or if you have a difficult thread that is splitting a lot, you can thread these. There's two holes in. If you have a look at the top there, there's, you can see there's a, there's a hole, a traditional one where you'd thread your needle, and then at the very, very top, there's a little notch. OK, so I'm going to try and hold this as still as I possibly can. You go into the notch and then pull down and that needle is threaded. Oh, so yes. If you have trouble threading your needle, that is a great option. And also, do you know the, remember the double eye needles that we have for the machine? Yes. You can do that with this. You can thread one colour into the normal eye, pop another in the top. So I, let me just see if I can show you that. Just bear with me while I get that bottom one done. Oh, I need a pointy end. Pointy end. There we go. Oh, oh. There you go. There's that one. Got a different, different colour here. And then if I just hang on to that with that finger and ping that in from the top, that means I can sew with two colours of thread at once. Over. So this is, uh, sorry I didn't tell you which one this was, did I? This is the easy thread needles. Uh, let me show you the picture for them. <laughs> there you go, easy thread needles. And the last option for the hand stitch needles are these ones, the little tapestry cross stitch ones. Now a cross stitch one is a really short needle but you've got a nice big eye on those so they are really really handy for lots of your hand stitching projects as well, especially kind of embroidery things. Then you also have three options on your machine needles. So you've got your 80s, you've got your 90s in the middle there, and then you've got your mixed sizes. So you've got everything from 70 
that you'd use for your finer fabrics, maybe like your um, organzas and things. Uh, 80s would be your traditional kind of quilting cotton, poplins, that kind of thing. 90, you'd be going up to something a little bit heavier, something like a, a lightweight canvas. And then 100 is for some really tough stuff, things like your heavyweight denim and really heavy canvas. So we're getting everything really we need in this pick and mix. And it's a pick and mix, so you can choose whatever is, is kind of best suited for your needs. So if you're doing just a lot of quilting and maybe just want all size 80s, you can do that. If you want to have a, a bit more of a mixture, you absolutely can. Beautiful, so, so that's I will one get of our happy hours. Uh, the other one of the happy hour is our five metre white right. quilting cotton. <laughs> this is blatantly half a metre and not five metres. <laughs> But uh, I did not. I, I forgot it. Just straight up, I forgot it. It's a huge piece. <laughs> now, it is exactly the same fabric as we print the um, Fabazine on. So that will be... <laughs> oh, please don't put terrible stills in. OK. Because the, the one for the calico, I hate that so much. And the super soft, super soft batting... You know my feelings on that one, and I've been stopped from saying what I think about that one. Um, but this one is um, exactly the same weight as the one that we use on the um, Fabazine print. So if you're looking for backings and uh, things like that, it's an absolute perfect match. I'm loving them. The details are currently on the screen at the moment. 438256 is your item number, £27.99. pence. No, we're, we're staying with you. What, what are we up to now? Uh, I don't know. Oh, let's do some projects. Right. Let's do some projects. So, we've got a couple of things to kind of recap on from the previous ones. So, one of them is the um, mug tidy. Why are you just grinning at me like a Cheshire cat? Because I'm, I'm watching. I've got like okay, three learning. monitors of you and then you in real life. It's quite amusing <laughs> to watch. I'm like, where do I watch? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So... This one, um, where we left it last time, we were just t stitching around the edge. So I've done that and I've turned it right side out. And then all I've got left to do is just top stitch around the edge here. And that will do two things. It will stop the white fabric on the back from rolling out. And secondarily to that, you will have a little opening where you turned it right side out. The little top stitch will just close that up for you as well. And then that is that project complete. I've lost my mug. I'm coming. There we go. There's the mug. So you'll pop the pink side onto the inside and the other side on the outside and then looping it underneath each of those handles. Kind of, well, you want to go underneath the top of the handle and tie that and then underneath the bottom of the handle and tie that. Gosh. And that means all of your bits and bobs. Put the pen, we'll put the pen in that way up, I think. We've got some more scissors. Get this would be good for, for your pencils and your paint brushes and your... Yeah. yeah, it's great. It's just a, it's just another way of storing things, but because you've got the weight of the mug holding it down, it doesn't get too top-heavy and, and so top-low. if you're travelling, if you're staying a lot of... Ho well, obviously not at the moment, but you will eventually. If you're travelling <laughs> about, but you're in a lot of hotels or you're in a lot of guest houses or things like that, what a perfect way to take your supplies with you. Just, just filling up all the holes now. But this, no, but then you always get you always get you always get mugs in travel uh, travel yeah, hotels. Yeah, you, and you also like get mugs that maybe are uh, special to you and have been chipped and can't be used anymore. It can still be there, but it's it's repurposing it, so it's kind of it. upcycling old mugs. I absolutely love it. It's a it's a it's a project that you wouldn't normally think of, and you get this as part of the details on the screen, as part of your twenty four projects. So the details on the screen are for issue one and issue two bundle. It contains. Over two hundred and forty-two pounds and eighty-two pence worth of projects. Now you're thinking, well, where did they get that figure from? I wonder. That is if you bought each individual project on their own from the website. For example, you are more than welcome to jump to the website and go and get those individual projects if you wanted. If you wanted the mug tidy on its own, here are the details: seventeen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Three six eight one four three is your item number for these as well uh, for the mug tidy on its own so remember that's 17 pounds and 99 pence that's just for one project now obviously if you only want one project it's entirely up to you but if you want more than the one project as well uh, you're more than welcome to another one that's been busy as well is the loom kit now this sold out but we've bought and managed to get it back. 27th of June is what we're looking at nine pounds and 99 pence if today you're thinking I would like I'd like these 
I'd, I'd like to have a go. I'd like to have a go at something. You're more than welcome. This is a perfect thing to have a little go at. It, any of the balls of wool that you've got left that you don't really know what to do with anymore, put it towards the loom. You can start creating beautiful pictures. I've just been playing while Hayley was showing you that demo and um, while we were looking at the needles. I've been continuing with my loom work. Oh, yes, I've been looming. Oh, I'm a loomer. Yes, a loomer. Uh, but I've had a little go. You can create beautiful things with this. Um, Hayley, does the loom kit come with full instructions as well on how to like, cast on and cast off? Within the book, there are about three pages of instructions for the loom. So it tells you how to start off. It also tells you um, a few different stitches in there as well. And there are loads of videos that we did um, for our larger loom that we used to do, which all of those apply to this. Which is amazing. So go and check them out. Once again, it's quite there. For some reason, I find it quite. I've sat in here uh, with two bits of yarn. Uh, off I go. Look, this is this is where I'm up to at the moment. Uh, I've just been busy looming away. Uh, just a little, I'm just learning, just practicing. Just having a little practice with the loom, having a little go, uh, going up and down. Then you could cast that off, use that as a little keyring for my keys or something. It's quick. And your rag rugging. Hiya, sorry. No, I'm here. <laughs> no, it is, it is that same technique as what you're latch hooking and your, your proggy as well. It's one of those in front of the telecrafts. Yeah, which is what? You can just kind of do without paying complete attention, but still get you know, quite a lot of progress. And that's the thing. You don't need to be an expert. I hold my hands up, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not a loomis in the slightest. <laughs> no, I'm not. I know, you, I know to look me up and down, you'd think, he can handle a loom, but I can't. But you can do as well. You can get this home, sit in front of the telly, use those balls of wool that you've got and just, just go through, run it through. Bit of green. Bit of blue, bit of sky, put a sheep in. It's entirely up to you. You can go in and out as many times as you want with this. I was creating a scene in my head, but it didn't come out like that. Um, but you get the Loomis Party kits. The deals that you're seeing on screen are two kits. This is 24 projects is what you're going for. 24 individual projects that if you bought them on their own would cost you £242.82. Today... Two flex payments of £39.99. Everything that you currently see here will be yours. We've got things like your mug tidy in there. We've got your storage box in there as well. You've got your cushion in there. Now, obviously, it doesn't come with the cushion on the inside. You just get the pillowcase. Uh, it comes with the, um, the doodle in there, embroidery doodle as well. Uh, your lunch bag, which I think this is a beautiful... Let's, uh, let me just look at this. This is a beautiful little lunch bag. Look at that. It's like a, it reminds me of a little sweetie bag that you'd have at the cinema. Little pick and mix. Um, but I'd love that as a little pick and mix bag. Uh, it's got a little hook on it. You could even use it as a little like laundry bag or a little thing to pop to pop your bits and bobs and you know, hang it on the end of a table, catch your scraps as it were. Uh, you can use that for that if you want to. You also get your turtle that's in there. Your little tur oh, your little and you also get the little beach scene that you could turn into a cushion if you wanted to. Obviously, apply your own backing because you don't get that. You also get your hedgehog. In fact, you're getting two hedgehogs in here because uh, you get this little one and then. You get a little baby one to match. So in fact, 13 projects is what you're actually getting. But we've only put 12. Uh, you're getting your purple spiral cabin in there as well, which is this purple one that you see the hedgehog is on. You get your noughts and crosses, or happy face and sad faces, however you want to call it. It's entirely up to you. That's set two. In set one, oh yes, there's more. 79 pounds and... No, I don't know where I'm off to. 79 pounds and 98 pence. You get things like your notebook holder. Now... Now, the notebook doesn't come included, but look how beautiful. It's the lining I want you to see. Look at that. I'd Once again, I'd love a shirt in that. Taking the piece that w was in the lining and putting it on the back of the notebook, if you wanted to, and just cut a plain piece, maybe go for the five-metre happy hour, and just put a plain piece on the inside and cut what would be well, the you, lining. You could turn that around. Hang on, let's take this out. It's the, it's the last hour. So, it's the last hour. You can trash it now, Adam. Look at that. Look at that for a lining. You have that on the outside. That would be beautiful. You imagine that and then you open it out and that's what you've but got actually, on the inside. Actually, you can make it... It is completely reversible as it is. So if you just turn those pockets inside out... <gasps> then you could sew that 
you could um, you don't need to sew that now you can just put it straight back on the book with the embroidery on the inside you don't have to embroider a stitch if you don't like the uh, embroidery side of things so now you can, obviously I would turn the other way as well but you can now have that so you're thinking oh I'm not a big fan I'd rather have feathers you can have that you get this part of the kids well, I'm gonna put that on the other way when we go back over to demo you get the pencil case in there as well once again with the button and the ends you also get your doodles in here you get your beautiful makeup case this would be a stunning makeup case you stamp someone's name at the bottom how beautiful that would be for a wedding day or something like that. Uh, perfect giftables that you've got in here as well. Uh, you've got your camper van applique that's on there as well that you're more than what you're getting. You're getting your hippo, could be a doorstop, could be a pincushion, entirely up to you. You also get your Westie bunting in there as well. You get that beautiful Westie bunting that you can do so much with. Then you also get the pattern in there as well. Uh, your uh, Westie. Oh, they've slid down a bit. Bear with. Bear with. Hey, there's your Westie. So you get your little Westie bundle in there as well. And you also get your Land Girl, which you can really go to town with. We've not even spoke about your applique as well. There's not applique, it's your cross stitch that's also in the owl as well. Remember, you get the full length. Then you get your cat pattern, pattern, oh, hello, cat, cat pattern patch as well. Uh, it's all in there. Everything is in there. Everything you need. 24 individual projects. One for you, one for mum, one for dad, one for nan, one for the granddad, one for the uncle, one for the aunts. Giftables. 24 gifts. Imagine 24 gifts, 24 days to Christmas. A gift a day, a project a day. So going to make me make is a... Uh an advent fabzine now, aren't you? Well, I'm just saying, my face could be on the front. Would you like that? If I make one, you have to model all the projects. I'll model it. I will and model I'll put them you all. on the front of it. I will be there. Will you dress up as Santa? If you, if you would like me to model the Christmas edition, email now, studio <laughs> to chanda.com. We can make this happen. We can make this happen if you want. Studio to chanda.com. If you would like me to model each project in the Christmas edition, I can do that. I've only got one pose. It's just that. Oh, I can do oh, it. Well, I fancy need at least... a Christmas fabazine, but can Yanis do the modelling? <laughs> That's what's going to happen. <laughs> Leave her mic down. She's talking about Yanis. <laughs> now, there'll be people very upset. Uh, now, this will be dispatched from the 27th, 7th day. It sold out this morning. We managed to get it back is what we got it back for. But now we are extremely busy across the board. This, this is perfect. This is the projects individually, but you can see what each individual project consists of. And you are getting all of these. 24 projects is what you're getting in total. And if you're thinking, well, I don't like to give one a go, give one a go. But at the end of this one day special, it will not be back. You will not see it at this price again for a while, I can tell you now. Uh, those pop-in frames as well, if you're going for some of your art, mate, you won't want one. The Craft Yourself Silly uh, set of two fabric frames, they sort of pop into each other, as it were, and hold your um, holds everything taut. £21.99, the freedom price on that as well. £17.50, absolutely m marvellous. Uh, you've got your uh, mini bolsters in there as well. And we've also got happy hours, the pins, pick and mix, any four, £9.96, any four, it's up to you what you want to go for, and then you've also got your Craft Yourself Silly white quilting cotton bundle. That's a beautiful picture. Uh, 150 centimetres wide as well. Lovely swirl. Oh, it's, like it's like a bed sheet. Go on, Hayley, my love. That picture. It's a hey. nice picture. Well, I'm not allowed to say what I think no, it looks don't, like. No, don't say what you okay. think. <sighs> okay, so we started this in the previous hour. Um, and I'm going to finish it off in this one. So in the previous hour, we added the zip, we stitched the two panels together, put some bias binding on in a straight line, and showed you how to put the bias binding on round the curve as well. So really it's now just down to assembly for this. So the uh, first step is the one that we've done there where we did in the last hour. We turned it up. There are little marks printed on the panel to show you where to turn it up to. Um, and the next step is to add the next pocket along. So we're going to look for the marks, make sure that's nice and even. And then I'm just going to stitch either side to hold that in place. Then we've got the flap that goes on the bottom there. And that is just attached with a top stitch running across the top. Now you'll notice I haven't chopped these ends off yet because I want to tuck them under, catch them with my top stitch, and then do that. Well, actually... I could just...
good job I've caught myself there because this goes on last because if you have that now and then you put the binding around the side you're not going to be able to open that flap so I'll put that to one side we'll do that one last so that needs to go on to there uh, and just be stitched down the side along the bottom up the other side then you're going to want to put another row of stitching just underneath the kind of top edge of this pocket here because this zip has uh, this pocket here and now you can leave that open at the top if you want to but if we don't put a line of stitching here everything's going to slide right down to the bottom well it's going to slide right down to the bottom of this pocket where you put your line of stitching there so um, what we need to do from here is also there's one more step because I've trimmed you see I've trimmed the zip down on this side yeah and as I've gone I've tri trimmed the excess bias binding down from all the sides as well now I do need to trim the excess of this zip off before we put the bias binding all the way around the edge but I do not want to trim it yet because my slider because we give you a zip that's a little bit too big my slider is out here so if I trim that off now no more zipping because <laughs> I've trimmed my slider off so I've got to open that zip up and then trim that back so let me just get my snippy scissors so these are the little ones I think they're down as um, uh, an end of call offer and these are smashing little things and really really sharp really really nice fine point as well because some of the projects that we've given you for the applique projects let me just grab a couple here some of those have some real fine detail I'm trying to look for the ah this is the one I want I want the car you can see there that if you spend the time to kind of cut out these little bits in here and the bits inside the handles you'll get a much better effect and those really tiny serrated scissors are brilliant for that because you can see that both sides have got that serrated edge on and what that means is when you're cutting especially things like uh, round things like threads they don't roll out of the blades as you're trying to cut them because if you've got smooth blades like these ones as you try and cut, especially embroidery floss, I don't think I've got any over here. Oh, I've got some wool. I'm going to just put my scissors down. I'm coming back. Hang on. I've got a big bit of wool. There. Right. So if I put them in uh, the non-serrated scissors, they'll kind of want to move. They'll want to slide as, a, as they work their way. So you can see that kind of, rather than cutting, it's pushing it down to the bottom of the blade. But with the serrated ones, it kind of grips it and hangs on to it so they don't stuff doesn't escape as easily and they're really really handy with those super super pointy points really really handy for getting in those tiny nooks and crannies with the, the applique as well so they're the end of call and when we say end of call they're the things you'll find on the end of the website just as you check out your baskets all the operator will say oh by the way while I've got you on the phone would you also like a pair of uh, you say yes please pop them in my basket and split it across two flexible payments right. why I'm going for issue one and two so the last piece to do on this one is my bias binding but I don't know where I've put it it's exactly the same way as we showed you for this piece here so it's take it all the way up the sides slowly slowly kind of stretching as you come around the corners pin it all in place and then stitch that bias binding all the way around and you'll end up with one like the one you've got over there now, like the <laughs> Simon now, Mark. that one has a blue zip. It's because when I was doing the videos, um, I couldn't get the white zip to show up properly. But obviously, the one that you've got here has got a nice kind of white zip that tones in and is kind of almost invisible in the scheme of things. So, you have a white one. Unfortunately, my sample has a blue one. So no, it's fine. That one kind of takes us almost to the end of that project as well. And I wanted to squeeze one more in yeah, go on. before we finish, because we've got about 15 minutes. So I'm just going to trim some of these excess threads off of here. Um, and then we can go. So this is the Baby Hedgehog pin cushion. So um, I've just put the two pieces face to face and stitched all the way around the edge. And then I'm going to go right side out with, uh, actually, I'm not going to go right side out just yet because we've got to put his bottom on. So putting the bottom on, uh, if you fold it in half lengthways, you can see we've printed little feet on the bottom, which I think is just super cute. Look how cute it is. Um, and to get this in, what we're going to do is put that crease down the centre. Now that's going to give me um, the points that I need to match up with the nose and the tail and obviously when you line it upside by side 
you're thinking, well, that's never going to fit. It's miles short, but you've got to remember it's going to kind of come out and round. So what I would recommend is I would hand stitch this if you're not that confident with the machine. Start at the front, work your way round, matching up the lines on either one as you go, and come round to about an inch or so from the back, and then start at the front again and come right, right back round to the back. So I'm going to go and thread a couple of needles up and get starting on this one. We'll try and get this one finished for the end of the show. We is indeed. Remember, the little hedgehog, you are getting two little hedgehogs is what you're getting at the moment. So you're getting the big one uh, that I've got in my hands at the moment, and you're also getting the little hedgehog in there as well. I'm just feeding him. Uh, you also get the little hedgehog that you see as well. So you're getting two for the price of one. You've got these beautiful pink cushions. Do you want some more? Uh, you get some beautiful pink cushions that's in there as well is what you're getting. Oh, he's getting tired. Uh, so uh, but it's two projects for one. But so in theory, in one set, in issue two, you're getting 13 projects. 13 projects in issue well, two and I 12 projects. I couldn't leave a gap, Adam. Pardon? I couldn't leave a gap. Well, you know, you couldn't, Fair and that's that. the thing. What Hayley's done for you, in theory, <laughs> is just filled the gap. So instead of just saying, nah, we'll leave that gap there. We'll, we'll put, we'll put a, a logo there. It's easy. Just print a logo. No, they give you another project on board as well. So you're getting two of the little hydrics. Here's some more of the project. Oh, sorry. Uh, here's some more of the projects that you're getting as well. So you've got the beautiful mug tidy uh, that we've seen as well. Once again, mug inside. There's my little, my little hedgehog friend. Uh, my little hedgehog that you've got. Uh, then you've also got these beautiful, you know, there's three different methods you can use for doing this as well. Remember, there's full instructions included as well. But they're not really instructions, they're more of a guidance. It sort of sets you on the right path and then leaves it more or less down to you so you can really enjoy and explore. Uh, then we've also got as well your little, your little lunch bag. It's like a little sweetie bag is the easiest way to describe it. A little sweet bag that you've got in there as well. Uh, up next, you've got a little, oh, a storage box. You know those cubes you can buy for that well-known Swedish shop? I reckon these would fit perfectly inside there. I think they would. Uh, then you've also got the cushion as well. Obviously, cushion inside, not uh, not supplied. But you do get the actual full cushion cover. That and if you've you got look at the back, well. we've made the little buttons that go on the back of there exactly match the pattern that we've printed on there. So there's like a little flower can... type button. I don't know if we can see. Can you? You? I've only got the one camera here. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, no, it's all right. Oh, hello. Go on, just do it on this one. Blow it. We normally have other cameras for close-ups, you see. We've got to share, though, haven't we? But the other side of the studio. So you get the buttons. The buttons are included as well. Now, obviously, Hayley was saying, now, you look at the back of this, I thought, oh, that's nice. But what we got is this would line up beautifully. We've just got rather a large plump cushion yeah, in here. Yeah, I did bring quite a big cushion. So pattern matching-wise, this will pattern match beautifully. It's the same with your Lotus box as well. The pattern matching on there, because it's printed fabric and Hayley prints it, the pattern matching's all been done for you, so it makes it twice as easy as well. And not only do you just get the cushion, though, you also get your loom in there, so you can start looming as well. Uh, take all those bits of thread, take everything that you've already got, combine, combine your so thread, and you can really go to town. It's a great way of using leftovers. Oh, it is. Weaving. You can use fabric in there, you can use yarn in there, you can use embroidery floss in there if you want to make something kind of really small and delicate. Don't be worried about adding kind of random bits and pieces in there as well. The kind of, the more the merrier. So bits of ribbon, bits of all sorts can go into there. It's a true kind of mixed media art weaving. Then you also get your turtle in there as well. Now, once again, you can use this as a pin cushion if you wanted to. It's entirely up to you. Uh, well, why would you stab a hedgehog? But uh, well, you've also supposed got... to be spiky, so he's uh, he's allowed pins. I know, but a little turtle because it's all weighted. Weight your table down. Use it a table weight. Then you get your noughts and crosses in there as well. Happy face, sad faces. Uh, this is more or less the project of how to make a drawstring bag. So if you don't know how to make a drawstring bag, this will tell you how to do it. And it's also a little handy game for the for the little aeroplane or on your travels that you want to use as well. Then you get your doodles in the kit as well. Two of your doodles so you can sit for hours. And you also get the hoop as well made of MDF with a little hangy hole that you can also hang it up with as well. Uh, then you've also got your uh, well, a little story bag. I was thinking about this. It's like a little travel bag. Well, um, Derek said that as well. Hang it up. Yeah, we like your Put little... jewellery and bits and pieces, small pieces. Jewelry, bits, bits your little, pieces you know your little bottles that you can get these days? Little bottles of shower gel and the ones you take from the hotels. Uh, would go <laughs> perfectly in here with your little sewing kit. Like an, an emergency um, thing that you just leave in the bottom of your suitcase. Like your little dolly trolley that you take with you from places. Those sorts of things as well. Uh, then you've also got your, oh, your large applique that's in there. Look at that, what you can do. 
You can go to town with these. They're all the ones from the one day specials. That's issue two. But there are another 12 that you can get as well. Uh, what you've also got are things like your book, I've turned inside out. Now look how beautiful uh, the book is. Then you've also got your pencil case in there, your Westie, um, your bags, your hippos. There's so much in these two kits. 24 projects is what we are looking at for £79.98 or £39.99 £99 is what we're looking at. Right then. Um, what's the time? We haven't got long left. We've got about 10 minutes on my knowledge. Uh, oh, go on, Meg. The five metre happy hour. <gasps> Let's bring the details in for these. He's now limited stock. So the five metre of white quilting cotton bundle, 150 centimetres wide, is £27.95. Is now limited stock. Okay? So five meters, twenty-seven ninety-five limited stock. You're saving thirty-seven pounds on this as well. Um, get it while you can. Four three eight two five six is your item number. Right then, let's get back to demonstration. shop. Okay, so while you've been chatting and doing numbers, which is good, I like it. Thanks. It's good. You're very That's good fine. at it. It's uh, yes, it's kind of one of those necessary evils, aren't you? It is real. I am really, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a necessary evil. Have you ever been described like that before? Never before, but I might put it on my CV. Okay. <laughs> it's, another, it's another tick box I've done. <laughs> okay, so I am just going to secure this off and then, <laughs> um, whoops, there we go. I'm just going to tie that off and then I'm just going to flip it right side out so you can see how this is starting to come together before I put it back the other way around. So. There's his little face. Oh. Pop that the right way out. And he's going to be super tiny. So that's one side in. You're going to repeat that same process, working all the way around. And then it's just a case of adding some stuffing. And he's good to go. Uh, there's so much you get. And remember, I don't even. I, I, I know we said it at the start, but I've not said it for a while. You get everything you need in these kits. Everything you need to start creating everything that you see here. I think that's amazing for the price as well. Yeah, well, the, the reason we can do it in such a way is because we make everything in-house. If we had to go and start sourcing things from, you know, several different places, then it would be a lot more difficult to, to do it. But because we can source everything in-house, then we can bring it all to you at an amazing price. Which is, which is phenomenal. We've had one email from my nan saying she'd like to see me in the Christmas catalogue. Who are you waiting to? Uh, sorry. <laughs> I just, uh, We're still was, on you. <laughs> oh, so I didn't realise. I thought it was on you. I no. was just waving. We're with you till the end of the hour. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we can see what you're doing. <laughs> you've, been, you've, been in this, you've been in vision all this time. Have I? Okay. Yeah, it's a good job I wasn't up to anything else, isn't it? <laughs> was, really, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to it. Just kind of, you know, chatting. I do like to have a little chat. You oh, know we this. never would have guessed. <laughs> All right, they're telling me off now. <laughs> would you say, um, getting it back on track, right, so would I, you say <laughs> that... I'd actually probably need to tell you the stitch that I'm using in this. That would probably be a helpful thing to do, well, wouldn't it? I was just going to say, are they okay. beginner projects? Are these things that if you've never picked up a needle and thread before that yes. you can have a little this, go at? Yes, this one you could easily do because it's three pieces. The seam allowances are all the same. So all you're really doing for this is you're lining up those edges and there is a little printed line on there which you can follow if you want to follow. But as long as you keep those seam allowances lined up together, you will be absolutely fine on this. And I'm using a, a running back stitch. So a running stitch generally goes in and out and travels kind of in one direction. So we're going to go back on ourselves and then skip forward. And then same again. Just be careful that it doesn't kind of bunch itself up when you are doing a, a running back stitch because it's really tempting to pull it a little bit too tight. Um, but what that's doing is, although it looks like I'm putting quite big stitches in, because I'm coming back on myself every time, I'm actually halving the size of that when I come back on myself. So there's plenty of kind of points in there to hold everything together. And I just need to keep going and work my way all the way around. 
uh, to the back and then we can turn him right side out and find him some stuffing. Ooh, you, stuffing. you see, it's as easy as that and you can be doing that as well as we're staying with Hayley, watching her finish the hedgehog. Because remember you have to stop at a certain point uh, so you can turn him back through the same hole uh, that you came from so you get the right way round. Yep. And then is and it then, called poking? What uh, do you do? Well, you turn him right side out, you stuff him and then um, it's a ladder stitch to close ah. up his bottom. And then you're all done. Do you need one of those pokey tools, though, to poke the end out? Uh, no, it's fairly rounded, this one. Okay. So you should be able to get away with just... Oh, there's a little tiny fly. Um, you should be able to get away with just a, um, a pair of scissors or uh, just your finger for this. It's not, it's not so tight that you would have to... It's not like a really sharp, pointed corner. It's good to know. It's all, these, it's all these little things. As we said, everything you need is in the kit. Every single one thing. of the oh, things that is in the kit. You know, you've been doing some weaving, yes. and you've been using the little kind of needle shuttle things yes. that we've included. That little needle shuttle thing we were using last night to thread the tape around the edge of the uh, little knots crosses bag, the drawstring bag. Oh. We used that to thread it through. Remember as well, um, Remember, go back over the one day special hours as well, you're going to get all these different hints and tips uh, throughout, there's different projects throughout the shows as well. Uh, so we saw the end of the bag that we saw on this show and then it started on Derek's show, so if you want to go all the way back, uh, go back through the happy hours as and well. And there are going to be YouTube videos for everything uploaded to our Craft Yourself Silly YouTube channel in the, over the next kind of four or five days, they'll, they'll all be up. There is full details on the uh, book that you get as well with full colour pictures, breaks everything down for you, uh, what you're going to need, there's a code on the back, tells you where the, where the, where the websites are, so you're, nev you're never going to be lost with this, you're never going to be lost, you're always going to know where you're going and what you're up to. 24 projects across the board is what we're talking about, if you bought those projects on their own individually, £242.82 and pence is what we're looking at for these as well. But look how quick now, as I said, we're still with Hayley at the moment watching us. Right. So, I am uh, just about finished. I've left uh, about inch, inch and a half at the back there just to turn him right side out. So I'm going to stitch this and just finish it off so it's secure. We'll flip it right side out and then we will get it stuffed and he will be almost finished. You see, quick and easy projects that you can now achieve at home as well, which I absolutely love. Uh, the quickest and easiest place to do is jump to the website. Everything is on the website for you. Uh, once again, all individual, look, 14 99 12 99 12 99 7 $17.99 um, for the loom, £9.99. pence. Everything is on there if you want to go for individuals, but the bigger the value, the best saving that you are going to get here is the saving from the pick of the day, the saving that you also get on issue one as well, and then you've got the combined saving that we've added on for you. There is so many on there. All dispatch from the 27th of June. It's a week away. Uh, seven days dispatch. It's sold out this afternoon. It's back on extended delivery. It's only seven days. It's not that long to wait at all. We've only got 30 seconds left of this hour. Thank you very much, Hayley, for the last 24 <gasps> hours. Oh, thank you, Adam. We're with you. We're with you. What are we looking I've done at? There. There. Oh, I just need some stuffing. There, there you go. You see? A completed hedgehog by the end of the hour. Don't you go anywhere around. Janice is coming up next. And one door closes and one day special. Another one is about to begin. Yes, indeed. Don't go anywhere. Our Janice is up next. Then join me for a brand new one day special. It's all and create. Oh, and then I've got a happy hour. Oh, can't wait. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. 
In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Chanda prides itself on its ethos towards the family-run boutique companies that offer the variety that we know you love and appreciate. Following such a positive response to our previous family favourite events, we are very excited to welcome and introduce you to many more brand new Chanda family favourites. Please tune in from Thursday the 25th of June at 6pm to Monday the 29th of June at 6pm to support many of your favourite guests and also our very loyal family room businesses that have grown and prospered with Achanda since our launch in August 2015. We will be running fantastic prize draws where winners will be drawn live within each hour during our event, giving you opportunities to win prizes worth at least £25. So join us from 6pm on the 25th of June for your family favourites event. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family-run company. Sam is my sister and we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to a Chanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Be Crafty shows on a Chanda. Good afternoon, I hope you are well. Oh my goodness, we have got a very, very special show lined up. Uh, wonderful products, gorgeous designs and an amazing guest as well. We've got Elaine in the studio. Hello Elaine. Hi Janice. <laughs> very far away I might. I might have to get one of those megaphones out and say, Hello. Hello. Unless we do a little bit of yodely to each well, other. I can't manage that. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone at home has just gone, thank goodness for that. Uh, it's great to have your company, Elaine. What are we going to see in the show today? Um, well, I'm going to demonstrate how to do punch needle embroidery. I'm going to go through all the materials and how exactly it's done. It's a really simple craft. It's dead easy to pick up and learn. And you get great results straight away. So good, good craft for a beginner to have a go at as well. 
Perfect. Oh, looking forward to the demos then. Right, let's go through the kits available for you um, because we've got some great prices. You might want to add one or two to your baskets. Uh, and we've got some new todays as well along the way. Right, now this is a beautiful design, this gorgeous heart right here. In the kit, this is what's lovely about Elaine, everything is provided for you to start creating and get that finished product. Love this. I love the look that you get with the punch needle. As you can see just here, uh, it's almost like it's Elaine, did we say before it's like a, a terry? It's terry, like a toweling. That's yeah, it. Yeah, like a toweling kind terry of effect. Terry toweling. Yeah, that's terry toweling. Call, that's it. Um, but it's really, really easy to do. It is an amazing, amazing craft to get into. And you will enjoy it. And it is uh, very, can we say addictive? Probably not. Yes. It kind of is. Yes. <laughs> we can. <laughs> we is. can. <laughs> um, so, we've had the design before, but these are new colours. It's a new design for you on the heart. £19.99. You get your hoop, so that's included. So you don't need to go out and buy hoop. You get your needle as well as your threads and your fabrics and, of course, the instruction booklets as well. Now, you also get the stuffing that's included. But, Elaine, if we wanted to, if I wanted to put some lavender inside this heart, I could do yeah. that. Yeah, you could easily pack some lavender inside it or even just as you're stuffing it, just put a cotton wool ball with some um, some kind of aromatic oil of any kind. Yes. And, and put that inside as you're putting the stuffing in. And you can even top it up by just injecting some more in because I've done that in the past with things. Oh, I say. Don't say that. <laughs> don't say that too much. We're on the wrong channel for that. <laughs> £19.99. 126850 is your item number. If you want to go for the Hearts Punch Needles starter kit and you're getting the hoop as well. So there you go. 126850. Right. Another kit we've got for you. Oh my goodness. We've already been busy for this because our Elaine popped a picture of this particular project on Facebook yesterday, yeah. didn't you, Elaine? Yeah. And you had a really good response. I did. Probably the best ever that I've ever had from a product. Really? Mm. Now, my mum always used to tell me with elephants, if you have them in the house and you decide on this and get your own research, but my mum always used to say it was a lucky thing. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah. And she'd say, always have them pointing towards the door or a door. Oh, Not well, that I've they're never leaving, heard that one. I didn't know that one. That's what, that's what my mum used to say to me, but it's all about good luck. Again, you make your own mind up about that. But it is a gorgeous, gorgeous piece of artwork, isn't it, to have? And you've got it in a frame. It would look great in a frame, on a cushion, a cushion on a bag. Cushion, it would look lovely. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it really would. Beautiful colours that have been used in here. And you get all the threads. Everything is included, including the hoop as well. You get the nine-inch hoop. So the thing is, you can use that hoop again, can't you, Elaine? Absolutely, yeah. Which is perfect. So the whole of the kit right there. I do need to tell you, though, we are busy for this. 617249, mm. over 10% of the stock already gone uh, mm. and we're only four minutes into the show 21 pounds and 99 pence everything is on a two-day delay but that's that's not long to wait i mean we are at the weekend no. so it's mm -hmm. it, i'd say that's normal really Probably, yeah, yeah. Uh, 617249 is your item well if you look at it like that it kind of is a uh, beautiful design there and is that an indian elephant because it's got smaller ears uh, yeah, because it's the Indian elephants that have that decoration yes. on them, and that was kind of what I, I I just wanted to do a decorated elephant. Yeah, so yeah, love, love that, absolutely beautiful. Six one seven two four nine. If you like this, many of you do. We're busy, busy, busy. So over ten percent of the stock gone already. Okay, move. I told you there's some lovely designs. Um, now bees, they're all about at the moment. In fact, I've not cut my front lawn for a couple of weeks now because all the bees are out feeding from the plants. <laughs> I'll say it, the weeds. Um, but, you know, you've got to give them their time to collect their pollen and to feed as well. So they're, they're very much out there at the moment. So this is a lovely image to have in your home with the bees and the flower pot. You get the 10-inch hoop included in this, £24.99. You get the threads and everything. Everything is included in your kits, isn't it, Elaine? All the kits can, um, contain everything to make up the piece, not necessarily the cushion or the frame, but the, the actual piece of work. Everything is there to finish it. It's beautiful. And again, this is in a frame, um, which we've chosen to show you. You could put yours in a frame. It would look fabulous on a cushion because it's that Terry Towling style feel to it. It's very tactile, Textured isn't it? and tactile. Mm, beautiful. Nice and soft as well. I think this would make a really nice bag. 
Do you know that's it? My, one of my next projects really? is to actually make a, like a um, like a clutch bag mm. to do the whole thing in it. But um, th that's probably way down the queue of things <laughs> that need to be done. But yeah, it's it's on the on the I list. I guess it's something you guys at home could turn this into if you want to. And remember, Elaine would love to see your photos on Facebooks when you get the uh, yeah. Facebooks. There is only one Facebook. Uh, all the books online. Um, when you get these home. Uh, 596200 is your item number. I've got, I've, I've got to do it, I've just got to put my head. I don't know why I have to do that. See a frame, put your head in it. There. It's almost like a gurning thing, isn't it? Do you remember gurning, Elaine? Yeah. <laughs> like that. Okay, just, yeah, there you go. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Sorry, I can't help it. all right, it. no, no. I see a hoop, <laughs> and I just need to gurn. <laughs> now, this is one of my favourites. I absolutely love this. Um, I, love, I love stags. I love the imagery of the stag as well. Um, and this is a beautiful kit to get. £13.99. pence. Beautiful colours used in here. And that backing fabric as well is a lovely colour that makes makes the stag it's really stand just out. plain cream poly cotton. Mm. That's all I used for it. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And there's two different um, samples here and two different ways you can use it when you get it home. Um, pop it in a frame or put it on a cushion. And I really like the, the nice size of this cushion that Elaine has put this onto. So with the price at 13 99 if you wanted a pair of matching cushions, it's a great price. Mm you know, to add mm -hmm. another one to your basket, and then you can have two cushions. There's no hoop and tool with that one, though. That's the kit only. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's an, like an add-on if you've already got the hoop and the tool. Can we use it without the hoop? Not really. Right. No. So, get, get a head, get a hoop. If you want to get a head, get a hoop. There you go. Um, and, that's, <laughs> and, and the stag's your head. There you go. Bring it back to the product. Uh, 103624. If you're buying one of the other projects, well, that will have a hoop with it. What size hoop would you need for this? Um, that one is an 8-inch hoop, so any any of the hoops that yes. are there today, will that will be suitable for. Perfect. So if you are going for one of the other projects, then this would be great to add to your basket. So you get the fabric, the threads. You also Do you get the needle with this as well? Uh, no, that one is literally just the, the kit only. It's right. the fabric, the threads, yes. the pa and the pattern. Great. So if you've got that needle, if you've got one of the other kits on the show, add this to your basket for just £13.99. It's a great opportunity to get another kit to go with your hoop and your needle in the other kits. It's a great, great um, item. 103624 is your item number for that one. Right. Is it too early to talk about Christmas, Elaine? I don't know. I snuck it in. It's a kit only. That's why I've snuck it in. <laughs> well, you know, I've got two holly trees, three holly trees, four holly trees, actually, mm -hmm. where I live, in my garden. Um, and they're there all year round. So mm. a holly isn't just for Christmas, like a puppy. I have been selling, you know, maybe two or three a month of Christmas pieces. So I think people are kind of... Especially now at the moment where they're at home and they don't have, some, you know, they've got yeah. the time yeah. to do things. I think it's a lovely image. Again, I wouldn't just say this is for Christmas. Mm. It's nice to have at Christmas. Yeah. But it's a lovely image to have as well. Because as I say, Holly is with us all year round. Um, now, this one is just the pattern and the fabric and the threads. So if you've got a needle, you'll be able to do this. If you've got a hoop already, you will be able to put this together. So these are really nice add-ons to your existing projects that you're going for, or perhaps you've gone for a project in the past and you've still got the hoop at home. £13.99. Great little add-ons, great little projects. 327187. Now we've got some returning favourites for you. When was the last time you were on, Elaine? Um, it was it was only a month ago, actually. Was it? Was it indeed? Yeah, yeah. I, was just, I, I did one remotely last month. Oh, but now you. But then in... prior to that, it was November. Wow. So it was a big gap for yeah. various reasons. Well, this one is absolutely delightful. Have you seen, everyone, what you've got here? These two hedgehogs looking at each other, absolutely in love with that love heart right there. Uh, £24.99, 831166. Fabulous hedgehogs. I don't see 
a speed vehicle inside. So these aren't going to go on that racing game. These are just there for you to fall in love with one another. Um, but they are lovely. And you've also got, where are we? You've got the toadstools underneath as well. Um, now, the piece of fabric that you get um, included is a different colour to the one that we've got It's here. all supplied on beige at the moment. So if I just lift that, that's the beige that your hedgehogs will be going on to. But I really like that colour. I know. Like the stag. Yeah. Natural. And it will make the toadstools really stand out. It does. Yes, certainly does. You get the needle, you get the instructions, you get the hoop as well. Project-wise, for a beginner, would this be okay? It's got a, a different technique, which I am going to, to um, demonstrate as, as we go through, um, but it's, it's not difficult. Um, okay. But I would suggest that it probably would take a little longer for a beginner to do, but it is not beyond a beginner. Perfect, perfect. So, if hedgehogs are your favourite animals, there they are. 831-166 is your item number. Hedgehogs are very special, actually. If you're planning to build a building um, and there's a hedgehog within the area, you have to build hedgehog houses now for them. Mm. Don't take my word for it, but you don't. That also do. would look amazing on a cushion. Yes, it, it would look would. really nice. You know, in a room setting with a cushion, that would be pretty. Or if you dare, how about getting home sweet home? Going you on can. the top of that. that you can add any text to it, yes. Yeah, love that. Okay, let's move on. Uh, another project for you. Beautiful, beautiful lavender. And this is always popular, isn't yeah. it, Elaine? Yeah. Love a bit of lavender. Gorgeous colours. Uh, it's quintessential British, isn't it? I think so, yes. Yes, I have a friend in Florida who's from, uh, who's an American, and she loves that one. That's her favourite one really? out of all of them. Yeah, it's... Um, now, this would be clever if you were to make this into a cushion and actually added some lavender yes, to it, yes. which would be lovely. So you'd be seeing it and smelling it. Uh, no, I never thought I'd say that twice on telly. <laughs> uh, £19.99, 396-358 is your item number if you want to go for this particular kit. But it is proving popular, so it's a good idea uh, to pop these into your basket and check on out as you're enjoying the demonstrations. Now, we do have another kit for you. Um, it is the butterfly kit. And now, do we have it in the yellow? And the, we yes. do. So we've got both these kits. So let's show you the yellow kit. This is what your butterfly could look like. Love this gorgeous butterfly. And add this to a cushion. Add it to a bag if you want to. Um, that's your yellow option. Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Six two four four seven three. We'll show you everything that you get in the kit. There you go. You get the hoopla. You get the needle, you get the threads, and you also get the instruction booklet as well. So that's for your yellow. And then you've got your fantastic lilac. This is my favourite. It's beautiful. Lilac and blue butterflies, absolutely adore them. Um, and there is the kit to get the blue. There's the item number, 477140, new today, £19.99. And, and you get the full kit to complete this, including the hoop. So you get the threads, the hoop, the pattern and the instructions. Um, the, the, the hoop is in there, it's in the bag and you get that included. Only £19.99, you might want to add that to your basket and maybe go and check out those other kits that don't include the hoop um, the stag and the holly because that would be a really nice addition right so we're going to head to elaine now and have our first demonstration what we're going to have a look at first elaine right well, i'm going to start with absolute basics i'm going to show you show you how to thread the punch needle okay so this is our punch needle tool which is a basic punch needle tool and they come with threaders because that's the end there that's the business end that's your needle there that needs to be threaded so we're going to start by putting our threader down the barrel of the needle it goes all the way down until it comes out the bottom there you go you can see it there peeping out the bottom and then we're going to take our thread now this is all standard embroidery thread um, which has been split to three strands so pop that down there and then we're going to pull the threader and it will pull it to the top so that's it up to the top so now we can thread the needle oops there you go down through the eye of the needle this time let it go all the way to the bottom because look what happens if it doesn't it wiggles and jiggles and then you'll be fighting with it just let it go down take your thread open that with your fingers and pull it through 
and then all you're going to do is pull that to the top and that is your needle threaded and if you pull your thread back if you're not sure if you've done it correctly it will be at a right angle because it will go up the, through the, the, the barrel of the needle and then out of the side. So just pop that to one side and now we're going to start our punching. Now first of all I'm just going to briefly go through um, the fabric and things. The, the hoops are not standard embroidery hoops, they are what's called a super grip hoop and they've got a lip and a groove on them, perhaps Janice can show you that later on. Um, because obviously I, I haven't got one here to show you that's open, yeah? So Janice will be able to show you that, but it locks it in place and then once it's in place and tight it won't slip at all. It needs to be very, very tight. So we're going to take our punch needle tool and let me just check that I can see it, you can see there. And all we're going to do is punch, lift, slide, punch, lift, slide punch lift slide so there's no it's not like putting a needle in through down and back up again no it's in it's a it's in all or in all the way every time so down to the bottom all the way every single time now this is a bit different from standard embroidery because this is the back of the work you're working from the back of your um, of the design so when you turn it over, it will be the right side. But I'll show you a bit more of that in a minute. I just want to show you a little bit more stitching at the moment. So the correct technique is to rest your hand or your wrist on your hoop and your arm on a tabletop. If you've never done it before, start on a tabletop. And then you're going to, the needle goes in at a right angle, but your hand never leaves the fabric. There's no lifting, you're just scraping it along from stitch to stitch. And you want nice, neat little stitches, about one or two millimetres long, because each stitch helps hold the next one in place. Now, we're going to go, we can just go round and round here, but when you first, when you get to the end of a section, so for example, you do along that leaf, and then you want to come back again, you have to turn the whole thing around. And I'll turn it around and show you. So now we can come back again. I'm not going right up against that because I just want you to see the lines. Now, the reason you have to turn it around is, I just want to make sure that you can see this. Let me get there. Yeah, we can see that. Yeah, you see that there. Can you see there that the thread is coming out the top of the needle there or the back of the needle? You have to stitch in the direction with that coming out the back of the needle. I'm not looking at the, the, the my work here, I'm looking at the, the screen to make You're sure that well. you can see it well. So, but that's how you have to work. And if you don't do that, if you just come back again without moving anything, which I'll do this time, I'll show you what will happen. It probably will take two or three stitches, but then watch what will happen. And again, I'm not watching my work, I'm watching there you go and it's all starting to pull out and unravel and it's because you have wrapped essentially that around and you've caused extra tension now the beauty of this is again watch this if you make a mistake and you need to pull it out there we go let's just get that right in there all you do is is put your thumb or your finger on the end of your punch needle tool and you do that Oh no, you've just done undone all your work. I have, but that's to show people how wow. simple it is. So I'm just going to quickly do another piece, very quickly. Right, there you go. Now Elaine, I've got a question. Very I've... easy to undo, yep. which is fantastic if you go yep. wrong or you don't like it. When you've done it yep. and completed it, yep. it's not that easy just to undo it then, is it? No, it's not. Right. It's. I will tell you, every piece on that table has been through the washing machine. Really? Yeah. Each stitch holds the next one in place and it becomes really, really firm on the back. Um, so I always get, because I'm, I'm, I do a lot of demonstrations and sometimes my, I'm working, you know, in different environments, the piece gets really grubby around the edge yeah. here. So when I take it out, it's got a ring mark. So they all have to be washed. And I just pop them in a sock, 
and chuck them in the washing machine on a you know on a a, a low temperature in a, a delicate wash that's a good or idea. you can just hand yeah. wash them it's a good idea to pop it in a sock yeah just roll it up pop it in a sock and it's just to take the hoop marks off but so there's the piece that i've just done i'm going to turn it over and i'm going to show you in a second so i've done that little bit you can see how fast that is to do but before i just turn it over i just want to quickly talk about the pattern that we've got on here so all the patterns come with everything you need but these patterns are slightly different because these are not pre-printed they come with a piece of carbon paper so you put your fabric down then you put your carbon paper and you put your design on the top and you draw around it yourself which means you can reuse your pattern Oh. So that's so again that's something else you can do again but this one because this was a little heart and it needs to be backed and turned I've even put the little snip marks on here it does say that on the pattern but I just put this up and there's the the two arrows there are the, where I've left the gap for you to turn it and to, yeah. to stuff it. Now, just to let anyone know at home, if you have just joined us, we've got some fabulous kits on the show. This is Elaine demonstrating how to put together those pieces of artwork. But Elaine's working on the back of the work. You wait till it's turned over and you see that fantastic effect that right, you get. Are we ready to do that now? Shall we? Yeah, Let's come on it. then. Let's right, so it. this is your side that you're working on with your pattern and everything and it's got all your little tails and all your little ends and there's the piece that I've just done while I was talking to you and when you turn it over. Look at that. That's what it looks like on the front. I think that is amazing. I still don't get how it works because it's just mind-boggling how you put the needle just in yeah and it creates that it is almost yeah. like magic now this one is the little blue heart that you've got yep. over there this is the same colors but done in the opposite way so we had oh. a that i think the one you've got there i can't see that far because you're right miles away you've got a blue flower with yes. a silver center green center green center but it's got silver leaves yes. and green leaves that's it well this one is a silver flower yeah with blue and oh. it will be blue and green leaves like it and that kit has got enough in there to make two pieces really yeah there's some wow. enough to make one of each, but I didn't have time to make a second oh, one, so that's you. why I'm demonstrating this one today. Well, yes, you can make two if you want yeah. to. Um, if you go into the basket, the basket's got a, a there's two um, that I did last month, and they're kind of orangey and they're yep. reversed, and that's what I fetched for last month's show. Mm. Yeah, so you can make two uh, from this particular kit. Whilst we're here, actually, I'll just show you the hoop uh, that Elaine was talking about. When you put your fabric inside, you've got a groove just there if you can see that yeah and then that fits inside the hoop and that makes your fabric fit nice and snug and then you've got your tension that you simply adjust by screwing that in which is perfect and this comes part of the kit for 19 pounds and 99 pence this is your six inch hoop you get the stuffing, you get the needle, you get the fabric, you get the instructions, and you can make two of these delightful love hearts. And if you want to, you could add some little lavender in there, or some bergamot oil, or something like that. Um, so it makes a really nice decoration, and then you can just simply hang that where you wish. 126850. Now, we'll be heading back to Elaine in a few moments' time. I just want to run you through the kits that we've got for you on the show. Now, a third of the stock of the Blue Heart, a third of the stock has already gone. Remember, you can make two. Uh, 126850. Is there enough fabric to make two as well? Yeah there's, yeah, there's everything in there to make two pieces. Superb. Love that. Excellent. And that includes your hoop as well. £19.99. 126850. I'll just lean that up against there. Uh, proving to be very popular is the Elephant. And 40% of the stock has gone of your elephant uh oh, it's lovely isn't it i really do like this um you've got lovely colors in here it's an indian elephant as well because it's got the smaller ears but also the lovely dressing on there as well um the fabric the hoop the needle and the threads 617249 is your item number absolutely beautiful would make a really nice cushion or a bag um elaine's chosen to put this in a frame just to show it off to you and then Instructions are very, very easy to follow, and you can see just there. So you've got your chart, the colour chart, where to put your um, threads, 
and then you can see, oh, that wasn't the best one to pick up, white against white, there you go. Uh, you've got your lovely threads, it's really easy to do. Uh, £21.99. How long do you think that will take to make, Elaine? Which one? The, the elephant. elephant. Um, I think for a beginner, I would say three or four days. Yes. I, I, you know, I, I tend to work in evenings rather than days, yeah. because people, you know, work and pick it up in the evening. It's also really good to pick it up and put it down, it's very simple to do that, yeah. but three or four days is, is really, you know, Lovely. Yeah. It's a nice little project to have on the go. Have your elephant on the go. 617249 <laughs> is your item number. Very, very busy for that one. Uh, next up, we've got the bees and the sunflower. It's a lovely image, isn't it? Especially at this time of year in the summer. Uh, so you've got your hoop. You've got your fabric, you've got your needle, and you've got your threads to build and create this lovely design. Again, on a bag, on a cushion, um, as a piece of wall art as well. It's lovely, gorgeous and tactile, and beautiful colours as well. Uh, 596200, £24.99. We are very busy for that one. <sighs> right, moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, the stag. Now, this particular kit is a great addition to what you're buying already with one of your other kits. This one doesn't have the hoop and it doesn't have the needle, but it has the threads and it has the backing fabric and it has the pattern as well. So if you've got a needle already at home from one of the previous kits or going for one of the other kits on the show, if you've got a hoop, you can use this with that. 103624 is your item number. Lovely image there of the stag on a cushion. Uh, nice size cushion. I'd say size-wise, this would probably be ooh, nine inches by nine inches if ish ish. Right. Made it up. I then you know reduce it in size yes. to make it fit the cushion. Yeah, yeah. lovely, lovely, uh, and also looks really nice uh, as a piece of wall art. Thirteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. If you've already got a needle, if you've already got a hoop then this is a great add-on for you, 103624. Uh, another good add-on, actually. Again, you'll need a hoop, you'll need uh, a needle, and this is your holly heart. Love that. Uh, also with the full instructions, £13.99. Easy to follow, directions to put together this beautiful holly. Thirt and, and do you know what's really nice about this? Holly can be prickly as I've found out over the past few days, picking some up. Um, but this is nice and soft, really nice and soft. £13.99. 327187 is your item number. Uh, next up, hedgehogs. We love these, don't we, hedgehogs? Uh, you've got, oh, sorry, I was leaving before I should. And now we're here. Uh, two hedgehogs, one heart. Isn't that lovely? Uh, you've got your toadstools, your mushrooms at the bottom. Now, with this particular kit, you get the hoop, you get the needle, you get the threads, but the actual backing fabric is this beautiful, beautiful beige colour. Love that. So the two hedgehogs right there, they could be husband and wife, they could be girlfriend and girlfriend, boyfriend, boyfriend, or it could be man and his uh, best friend. Or lady and her best friend. £24.99, 831166 is your item number. I can't really tell what they are. I think they're just feet at the bottom. 831166. Uh, right, another lovely kit that always proves to be popular is the lavender. And it sells out time and time again when Elaine brings this. Half the stock has gone already. £19.99. The hoop, the needle, the threads. Beautiful colours in the threads as well. A lovely sagey green and those lovely purples as well to bring out the very best in your design. £19.99. 396358. And then we've got the butterfly kits. The first one being the butterfly in yellow. And in the kit, you get the hoop, you get the fabric, you get the threads, and you get the needle. Um, is that the lilac one? I'll just lift that one up. So that's your lilac one, £19.99, four double seven one four zero. Beautiful design. And then there's the yellow butterfly. It's lovely. That is gorgeous. Love the colours in that. Love mustards. Uh, £19.99, six two four four seven three is your item number. This is everything you get in the kit with your 8 inch hoop 624473 being your item number 
Love that. Uh, right, we're heading back to Elaine now. If you have just joined us, you'll be amazed at how easy these kits are to put together to make and create. Elaine, what are we are going to have a look at now? Right, well, I'm um, just, as, it, as you've been doing that, I have, I, I just want to illustrate how fast this is to do as well. And as you've been going down the line there talking about those, I have completed one and a half flowers. So I just want to show people exactly what I've just completed in that short time. And also, when you're finishing off, when you come to the end, I'll just joke, this is a really nice, quick, easy one. When you come to the end of whatever you, you're doing there and you want to finish it off, just put your finger where the, the, the tip of the needle is. And then when you lift it up, you're not going to pull the last stitch out and then just snip it. But I'm actually going to snip it back here because that's where. So there you go. So as Janice has been doing that, I've finished all of that. And that's, you can see, it's a really, really fast thing to, to learn and to do so speed wise to learn it probably only takes 20 minutes or half an hour an average to actually pick up and and do the stitches so once again we're just going to punch lift slide punch lift slide punch lift slide the the biggest mistake that people make is it's a technical thing people say oh it doesn't stay in it doesn't work and 99 percent of the time it's because people lift the hand like that as soon as you lift you make your stitch and you're pulling it straight back out again so you have to work with your hand leaning on there and you're just dragging that needle across and just go round and round because as soon as you start lifting you'll end up with lots and lots of loops if you're lucky oh I've come to the end of my thread so there you go that's how you finish it off it doesn't go anywhere you just stop but if you can on your last stitch just get a hold of it usually there and pull it there and you'll pull the tail through to this side so again all of these little tails because you're going to cut those off when you're finished Perfect. So there you go. That's what that looks like on the front. Now, there is one other technique I want to show you. I'm going to load up with this because it's a nice bright colour so that you can see. So just On again. some of the designs, Elaine, Yes. if you've got enough room yeah. on the actual piece of fabric and if you've got enough thread, yes. could you, with an erasable pen, maybe put some initials and then do some initials? You could, but you must remember it needs to go on in reverse because you're working at the back. Ah, good point. Mirror image. Oh, you my have goodness. To, yes, because... I would have done it completely wrong. Yeah. Yes, you've got to do your... If you're going to put initials on and anything, it needs it to be... be reversed. Yes. Yeah, it yeah. has to be reversed. So, again, thread in your needle, thread up to the top, down through the needle, open that with your fingers and pull it through. There you go. That's it. That's it threaded and we're good to go. Right, now, one of... A few of the patterns have got some double-sided work on them. The lavender being the perfect example of that because the lavender, if I can just move across to this one and just show you what I'm talking about here. Let's have a look there. Yeah, you can now, see the lavender there. is really busy, Elaine. Yeah. Very, very. It always yeah. is, isn't it? It always is. The lavender, if you look at it closely, you can see that the, 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 um, the actual flowers of the lavender are bobbly, but the stems are Ooh. flat. Yes? Now, normally, you'd have to be French not in that one, wouldn't yes. you, to get that effect? So, to get that effect, now, the same effect is used on the hedgehogs, oh. because the hedgehogs' faces yes. are flat-worked, yeah. So that you get the extra texture on when it comes to the, the spiky bit, as oh, it were. Yeah. I can see that. I don't know if you can it. do a close up over there to, to show that. Yeah, so that's that's like there you a go. tight tight weave. Yeah. And, and then yeah. Right, so I'm gonna show you how that how we do that now. Oh, it, 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 it's, it's very simple, it's 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 not complicated, it's just a different way of working. Okay. So normally you have to pretend that this is the green for the stem for this because obviously I'm not working in the same colour. So normally you would be working way on the side for, that your design is printed on, which is here. So we're just going to pretend that this little line here is our stem. 
Now the stem needs to be worked flat. So the stem is worked from the front of the work ah. to get it flat. But you, how, you, how are you going to know where it is? Because your design is on the back. So what you're going to do is you're going to put any sewers will know what I'm saying when I'm saying you're going to put a tailor's tack in. A tailor's? Tailor's tack. A tailor's tack. It's just like a, a mark. tailor's pack. Yep. So there's your one there. So it's just two stitches and then you're going to cut that off. That's at the bottom. And so then you're going to come we... up to the... No, no tying. I just, but these are little printing. markers. We're going to pull these out. These are like little scrap bits that we're going to pull out. Yeah. So, and then we're going to cut that off there. But when we turn it over, we now have a mark. So now we can see where the line is on the pattern. Got you. So now we're going to go... Bearing in mind this is stems, so it doesn't have to be precise. That's the other thing. You know, the flowers aren't unnatural. They, they don't have to be absolutely perfectly straight lines. So you're going to work slightly to the side of your tailor's tack. And you're going to neatly and slowly do a line of flat work. Do you know what that reminds me of? What's that? Piping icing on a cake. <laughs> right. <laughs> now all my patterns, I've done them all, which when you do a line, you always do two rows. And that's because, again, that helps hold everything in because each stitch helps to hold the next one in place. So the, the more you've got, essentially, the, the, the less likely it is to pull out at all. So now, there you go, that's our nice straight stem so we just turn it back over take they see and there's the nice bobbly bit on the back we're going to take our tailor's tacks pull them out and when we turn it back we've got a straight line do you remember before i said if yeah. you've got a tail you pull the last stitch out so through here we're going to go and we're just going to oh, i haven't got any nails at the minute just pull the last stitch get a hold of it so quite often if I'm doing stems like this, I will actually go over so that I've got the right length. Oh, not quite, haven't quite finished it there. Let's just get hold of it. Let's say I've got no nails. There you go, that should. There you go. And there's your nice flat line. That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. So it's, that. it's simple to do. It's just you, ha you have to kind of think about it a yeah. little bit. Be and the, if you put the tailor's tacks in, and I did the same with the hedgehog's face. With yep. the hedgehog's face, I took a piece of the red from the um, the toadstool because it's nice and bright. Yeah. And I did that in a, as a, like a tacking line. Right. So that when I turned it over, I could see. It does explain all that on the pattern, but yep. sometimes it's easier to see. So to do a tacking line, you just literally are doing that. Perfect. Now that won't stay in, but then if you come down here and say that was his nose there, and now we're just going to come round. So I'm just showing that as a rough example. So then you would fill in there nicely your nice beige flat work, and then when you're finished, you just Look pull that, that out, and then you've got your nice neat line and your nice flat. I love that. Orange juice wants sang, rip it up and start That's again. That's the one. Yep, I love that. Uh, right, let's go through the items we've got for you on the show because we're busy for the lavender. Did we say 60%? 70% of the stock has gone. My word, we have been busy. £19.99. If you have just joined us, there's a chance to get this in your basket right now so you can check on out. 396 358. You get the fabric, you get the instructions, you get the threads, you get the needle, and you get the hoop as well. The hoop is an 8 inch hoop, and you decide whether you're going to put it in a frame, whether you want to put it um, on a cushion, for example. That's going to be your choice when you get this home. It also looks nice on a bag as well so let me um, just place that down because my stand has just broken <laughs> that as they say that'll learn you I know it's that will teach you but you know some people do still say that'll learn you right next up the hedgehogs uh, hedgehogs what a delightful little couple this is uh, these have been very popular very very popular I think these look nice as a little sign to go on a bedroom door they look like uh, a lovely uh, image to have in the kitchen or your conservatory beautiful two hedgehogs giving a bit of a kiss kiss to each other there and then you've got the lovely toadstools underneath well maybe not kissing just yet 
Maybe they're just having a little chat. Maybe they're brother and sister and they're just saying they love each other. £24.99, pence. you get the hoop, you get the fabric, you also get the threads and the needle as well. The fabric that you will get for your hedgehogs is this piece of fabric here. So it's not the blue, but it's that colour. So you'll, you'll get an idea of what they'll look like. I think they'll look fabulous on there, more more authentic love that um and that's 831166 busy for that you also get your 10 inch boop now the holly heart this has been very popular uh over two-thirds of the stock have gone you don't get a hoop and you don't get a needle so the people buying this are people that have already gone for a kit previously from our lovely elaine or people that are buying other kits on the show and they're using this as an add-on, another project, £13.99. Because you don't need the hoop if you've already got one. You don't need a no noodle. You don't need a needle if you've already got one. 327187 is your item number. Instruction booklet, fabric. You've got the threads to create that beautiful, fluffy image. And it really is easy to do so. Uh, 327187. Uh, another add-on kit is your stag's head. And lots of people have been going for this with the fabric, the threads. Again, you choose whether to put it in a frame or maybe pop it on a cushion. I think that's a great size for a cushion. Um, you will need to get the backing fabric and the wadding for the cushion. But you get your panel for the front just there. And you also get your threads for that stag. It's so sweet. It's so sweet. It really is. Love that. Uh, £13.99. pence. One oh three six two four. Uh, remember, you don't get the needle, you don't get the hoop. This is a great add-on uh, to items that you're buying already. Or it might be your second project because you've already bought one from Elaine. Uh, right, okay. Sunflower and bees also proving to be popular. Uh, lots of bees around at the moment, which is a great thing. It truly is. There's your sunflower in a pot. You've got the blue of the sky. And it's a beautiful, beautiful design of the bees. You've even got the little flight of the bumblebee. Just wisping away as he's flying around. There you go. And with this, you also get the hoop, the 10-inch hoop, the needle, the instruction booklet. The instructions are very, very easy to follow as well. So everything will be in there for you. Um, and then you can follow them step by step. 596200 is your item number. Oh, let's have a chat about the elephant. Uh, we didn't forget this one, did we? 80% of the stock has gone, but that means there's still a chance to get this in your basket. So I'm glad we've come back down to this. Uh, £21.99, 6174249 is your item number. You get the punch needle starter kit. It is the hoop, the fabric, the thread, and of course the booklet to follow all of the instructions with the pattern. And then you will make that beautiful, beautiful um, elephant. I nearly said penguin then, I don't know why, but it's an elephant. You know, you just get in a flow. And penguin, maybe that could be your next project, Elaine. Yeah, I was thinking that as you were saying that, maybe really? penguins, yeah. Penguin. <laughs> Look forward to that. Uh, but this is an elephant. Uh, six on seven, two, four, nine. I'm sure. I'm sure that is an elephant, yes. Uh, right, moving on. Moving on. Uh, this is proven to be really popular. That beautiful heart. And this is your blue heart. You'll actually get in a fabric and thread to make two. There's one hoop. You've got your wadding in there as well, your stuffing. You've got your needle and you've got your threads. So you've got enough to make two of those. £19.99. That's an absolute bargain. It's proven to be very, very popular. 126850 is your item number if you want to go for that. Everything's on extended delivery. It's only extended by uh, two days, which, let's face it, is the weekend. So that kind of makes sense. Let's have a look at the uh, we, let's have a look at the weekend. Let's have a look at the website. And these are all the different projects right here on the website. You can pick and choose. We've got some lovely uh, butterflies on there as well. We've got returning favourites. We've got some brand new todays as well. So have a look on the website. Have a look at the five star reviews as well. Have a look at the four star reviews. Why don't you? They're all there for you to have a look at. Um, and we've got the seven day savers available to you. These will be changing tomorrow. If Grandad can't fix it, well... Who can? Let's face it. Um, have a look at your seven-day savers. Great savings on those, but they will be changing tomorrow morning. And we'll have a special program, actually, tomorrow night at 9 o'clock, featuring all the seven-day savers, all the brand-new ones. Right, we're heading back to Elaine. What are we going to have a look at now, Elaine? Right, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the fabrics and tensions. Um, so I, I quite often get asked, um, 
can you do this on any fabric? So, for example, the bag there with the butterfly, it's a cotton bag. Okay. The short answer is no. Oh. Because this needle is really, really sharp. And what happens with a cotton, 100% cotton, is it will act because your stitches are very close together and the, the needle is really sharp, then what happens is it will actually tear the fabric. Ah. As you're cutting, it will cut the fabric. And as you do a nice, neat little circle, a nice little berry, it will just fall out and you'll have a very sized hole. Oh, OK. So the, the fabric that I use, that I've used in all of these patterns, is 100% polyester. Right. That actually was a question sent in by Avril. So thank you for emailing in. Anyone else with any questions? You've still got to the top of the hour. It's studio at hochanda.com for Elaine here in the studio. Yep. So I know these all don't, they're all, they all look slightly different, but I, I do purchase them. The reason for that is, is that when, because it's a, it's got a kind of a stretch to it, polyester, as you push this needle down into the fabric, those fibers will part as long as the tension is good and then when you lift it out they go back they kind of pop back in behind it and they will grip it there's no stretch in cotton so that's why a cotton fabric isn't good now you want your tension in your fabric to be able to bounce a coin on it or it should sound like a drum neither of which you can see very well here but sometimes people say I can't get the fabric tight enough well here's a little tip for you Get it in the, 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 the hoop and as tight as you can and then as you're working with your other hand, just either press down because it won't slip in the hoop or just pull it. I don't know if you can see that I've kind of pulled and gathered the fabric up there and that adds a lot more tension. Can Got you see you. there? Yeah. The little movement. That's just a little... Or you can just push it with your thumb, push it down because it won't slip once it's in that super grip hoop. And I will tell you, just to, to illustrate that, this piece, I fetched this piece to the show last November. Really? And I've never taken it out of the hoop and it is still nice and drum tight. tight. Yeah, you can yeah. do that at home, actually. Yeah. Th these projects would be great for someone maybe that's got dexterity problems and who can't actually put a needle through and pull a needle out, uh, perhaps yeah. as freely as they used to, because it is yes. just the one action. Yes. I actually started doing this um, with uh, girls who had um, limited physical abilities. Mm. That's how I started doing this. The only thing that I will say to that is, is if you've got a shaky hand, yeah. it wouldn't be suitable because you need, you can go as slowly as you like, yeah. but you need to have a very steady hand okay. because these stitches are only one or two millimeters apart. You can make bigger stitches, but the chances are that they'll come out. And the other thing with putting bigger stitches, let me just, I can show this quickly. Just, I'm gonna come around here a bit, and just find a clean piece of fabric. So you want nice, neat little stitches like that. Remember I said about doing two lines. So I'm gonna come back and there's my nice, my line, my edge, my border, my stem, whatever it is. And if I turn, oops, I've just stabbed myself. If I turn that over there, you can see you've got a nice, dense line of stitches got you if you make big stitches there you go if you make bigger stitches like that and even if you come back i've got to watch my thread i don't want this thread to disappear out the back if you turn it over can you see there it's not oh hang on let me get there you go can you see that it's quite dotted yes there's not, there's not, the density isn't there. Got you. Yeah? You know how you said your thread, you don't want your thread to come out the end of your needle? Yeah. What do we do if it well, does? Well, the thread, well, you would have to cut it. And okay. I, I would just have to re-thread it again. So just for the sake of demonstrating today, I don't, once it goes down inside yeah. that barrel, you yeah. have to just keep stitching. Oh. So, and I don't, well, I want to pull it out, so I want to keep demonstrating. Yeah. So. It's really important that you get nice, neat little stitches like that because if you don't, 
that piece there that I've just shown you that's got dots, you will need then to fill in that, those gaps when yeah. you've finished your piece. Yeah. Now, I'm going to pull this out again. See, look how easy it pulls out. Isn't that much easier than um, standard embroidery where you need threads and knots and everything? When you're doing your pieces, you will always find when you, when you turn it over, actually this piece isn't so bad, but you usually will find that there are pieces where there are gaps. There's a little bit there which is in beige there. There's a little gap there though I can see the fabric. Now, there's a couple of ways you can fill those. One way, which is something that the girl from the, one of the, this, um, that the girls from the home showed me was she couldn't do it the way I said, so she does it that way. And you just look and see where your needle is and fill in the gap. Oh. All right. No, now, I, I would also suggest yeah. when you fill in little gaps like this, and it's quite hard to push it through, there you go, and that's that little gap filled. Got I'm going to unfill it though because it's green. But um, there, there's that way, or you can do it from this side, but this side's not so easy to see. And if you do have a problem with poor eyesight and you have got gaps, you see, because now you've got to look underneath your, your loopy stitches to find the gaps ah. and that's not so easy to do yeah perfect so that's the way to do that and I mean it is very simple it is very quick it is very easy but that doesn't mean that you're going to pick this up and do it instantly it's like any craft you do have to spend some time on it you know but I, I, before this lockdown happened, I used to do a lot of shows. Yes. And I used to actually give people my hoop, the piece that I was working on, and say, there you go, have a go. And I used to say to them, you know what, if you can do that standing there with your, your, your coat on and your bag on your shoulder, you'll yeah. be flying when you get home. Yeah, you certainly will. And that's, that's well, a good, you know... My producer just came up uh, with a good point, actually. If, if, you, if you get the project home, and you practice and practice and practice if it's not right as he says you can just pull out you can just but the other thing is is if, you, if anybody does struggle every single pattern has got my contact telephone numbers on has it. it every single pattern that I produce so it's on the front cover underneath got all it. the writing got it yep yeah so there's a landline number and a mobile number just give me a text give me a call and I will help and I'll talk anybody through oh, any problems. You. Yeah. That's amazing. I do find it absolutely fascinating, Lane, when you start to put the project together and then it's that reveal. It's when you turn it over and you go, oh my goodness, I've just done that. Um, it really is incredible. It's so satisfying. Yeah. And I think once people start, they, they won't want to stop. I, it, it is quite addictive. It, it's one of these things is you do a little bit and you think, well, I've got to do a bit more and a bit more and a bit more. And then yeah. suddenly you, you're almost finished. Yes. And I will tell you, the stag's head that's there, mm. that's one of the easiest pieces for a beginner to do. Is it? Well, yeah. we've been really and busy for I this. I can do that easily. I did that in an evening. Did you? Yeah, the whole thing from start to finish, I did it in an evening. So I think any beginner would easily be able to do that yeah. and finish it in two to three days. The, 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 less de if the more blocks of colour there are and the less detail, the quicker it is. Of course, yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's like colouring with numbers. It is, that's exactly yeah. what it is. And, you know, people say that, you know, there are more or less um, difficulty levels. Yeah. There's only one stitch. Yes. So as long as you are, you've practised and you've got that one stitch off, they're all just a case of the difficulty is just whether you can read the pattern accurately yeah. or whether you have got the ability to, you know, to feel confident to just cut them and, you know, do the little bits. Superb. Elaine, it's been an absolute pleasure. We're running out of time. It's such a shame. I could watch you all day long. <laughs> uh, and you guys can watch the show again if you want to. It's available online for 60 days. Do check out your baskets. We've been very, very busy for the add-ons. The lavender is just about to sell out. If you've not got it already, get it in your basket. You've got a chance to do so. Uh, you, carry, you can carry on shopping after the hour as well. Thanks to Elaine. What a wonderful show. And remember, Elaine is always there for you if you need help. The details will be on all the instructions. Um, stay where you are. We've got a very exciting launch coming up.
Yes, our Leone is next door. She's getting ready. It is the All and Create One Day Special with Leone and Adam coming up next. Happy Hour deals after that. And then back to the One Day Special at 8. Hi, my name is Catherine Sturrock and I work in collaboration with FMM. FMM creates some wonderful cake decorating cutters. We've brought them to a chander and used them with air dry clay to create some beautiful flowers, leaves and other florals. We use them then to decorate various products such as laser cut designs, mixed media, card making and many other items. So join me on a chanda and let me guide you through the process of putting together various flowers such as roses, peonies and lots more besides. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows we aim to inspire you, to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chandler. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away, we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. If you're watching a show with me on Hochanda, you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce, and it's all very much mixed media, so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on Hochanda with Stamps Away. Hochanda News! We're excited to announce that from the 1st of July, our broadcast hours on Freeview will be extended to 10pm each day. We know that many of you have been missing our live shows in the evenings and we look forward to having you with us once again. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. I've been working closely with Crafts 2 on the development of the John Next Door brand and also working with their fantastic range of products. I'll be bringing you some fantastic shows that are combining the John Next Door and Crafts 2 products. We'll be sharing things like the press cut dies and some of the Find It Media and some of the other fantastic tools, accessories and other products that Crafts 2 bring to everybody at home. I hope you can join me on my crafting journey and learn some tips and techniques from me that I share with you. So don't miss the Crafts 2 shows with me, John Lockwood, on Hachanda.
<laughs> yes, indeed. Good evening. It is evening. It's six o'clock. It's six o'clock. It's Saturday night. We've got a brand new one day special. As you can see, it's all and create a brand spanking new. Uh, um, well, I'm just going to go straight in with this and I'm going to hand it over uh, to Al Leone. £34.97. Flip that around. There's two flexible payments on this. £17 odd. £17 and a couple of pence and 49 pence will get you these three beautiful, beautiful stamp sets. You've got the beautiful florals that are in there that once are coloured are absolutely stunning. I'm looking at the colours um, that I've currently got back here. They're beautiful. Then you've also got that beautiful grandfather clock that's in there that you could make bigger if you wanted to or make small and use just a pendulum or the clock that's from there. That beautiful old typewriter uh, that says be creative but you could change that with the ink splats as well. Um, it is very all and create. When you look at these you immediately think all and create as well because they're a stamp within a stamp. They're not just like the clock as it were. Like this one. You've got the alphabet, you've got that text in the back, you've got those ink splodges in there, the circle like you're reading a paper, like you're looking for a job. Again, those those sorts of things, you know the circles that you'd use with different colour pens, that's what you've got in there. And once again, uh, there is so much more that you've got in there. It's a stamp within a stamp within a stamp. 966822 is your item number. Um, now I know Leon is going to show you these in a minute, but I just want to quickly, I just want to quickly get this in. Look at that. Already inked up and penned up. As I said, Leon is here. Uh, she's going to go through all these. I just think these are absolutely beautiful. Um, before I go, 10% of the stock has already gone here. 10% has already gone, Ali. Right then, I'm going to hand over. Is it this? Is this the what? Oh, oh, gosh. oh you missed it. Oh, gosh. We can do a double one. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. It's beautiful. Now I'm stuck. <laughs> Oh, it's marvellous, isn't it, that? You know what we're doing? We're practising for birthday, aren't we? Oh! oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, it's lovely. <clears throat> Lovely to have your company. Very excited about this. The incredible Papasha, of course. We've seen Papasha's artwork a lot um, throughout the All and Create. Um, um, oh, what am I trying to say? <laughs> throughout the All and Create uh, years. Um, and she is so talented. Uh, she's very, you can tell, as soon as you see Papasha's work, you can tell it's Papasha. She puts a lot of detail into her stamps. I love that she kind of hides words in there. She'll put beautiful sentiments, but they'll be hidden within the, the detail of the stamp. Um, there's a lot of cutability, of course, because all, um, all the images have a, a main focal point, if you will, that you can easily cut out. Beautifully collaged. I love that the sort of ink splats and then, you know, the, the main thing. I just think it's a stunning collection. Now, as our Adam was saying, let me show you the, the colour versions, because these... Uh, well, in fact, if I spin that first stamp round... Hold on a minute. No, I've got it. I don't need to do any spinning. Jack's already so sorted it all out for us. So your first stamp now, <clears throat> you can see the detail there. So you've got the beautiful um, grandfather. Well actually it won't be grandfather's will it that one? What's it called? When it's, because it, a grandfather goes all the way down. Will it be a grand, there is a grandmother isn't there but I can't email in. Yeah, yeah. Because um, the one that isn't straight at floor, it's one, anyway, that's what that is. You've then got the beautiful old typewriter and then um, the, the sand thingy. What are they called? Egg, oh, time, egg, time. egg timer. But they're, I, hourglass. Hourglass. <laughs> the hourglass. Do you know what I like? Let me read this to you, right? Let me read this to you. Um, it's always possible to overcome a tough situation through out of the box thinking and not give. And then she's put an ink splat. What do you think she were going to put in that ink splat? I think Papasha was being a bit... See, the, see, get out of a tricky situation by thinking outside the box and not give 
<laughs> and I think she's leaving that to your imagination, what you want to put under the ink spot. Made me giggle, did that. Um, which is really nice. Read Papasha's words, because that's a lovely thing. She'll like hide things within it. Stunning. Um, the florals. Now, you, if you saw Abs' show the other day when we had that beautiful, we've got it on today's show, the gorgeous big um, glass. Oh, I'm so sorry. My words today are rubbish. I haven't drunk my coffee yet. Um, the magnifying glass. You had flowers around the magnifying glass. These will match. So these will go absolutely beautifully with that stamp if you didn't get it. Um, if you did get it, if you didn't get it, we have got it on the show. Again, you've got these. I love these, the script. But Pasha does those so well. I mean, her styling is amazing. The detail in that stamp is beautiful. She's such a talented artist. Um, I absolutely adore the... Um, look at that little stamp. How cool is that? I love it. Now, we have got the bigger stamps of this, and we've got the reverse one on the show as well. So if you haven't seen them yet, we've got those. Let me show you the coloured inversions. This is so busy. If you do want to get hold of this, you need to check your baskets out already. 20% of the stock has gone. It's flying. No wonder. I mean, two payments, $17.49. I love that. It's so affordable. It's so usable. Now, look, these have been coloured in, in two different variations to show you how different it looks. Look at the detail of that stamp. Absolutely stunning. I love all these wispy bits as well. And again, there's all sorts hidden within it. The florals are beautiful. And you've then, of course, got that at the clock. Has anyone emailed in to tell me what it's called yet? Please email in studio at chanda.com. Oh, Angie said it's a case clock. But she could be wrong. Me and you, Angie, we kind of know, but we don't really. Um, Love to hear from you. Studio at tachanda.com if you know. Um, now, let me show you a couple more finished samples because, as ever, the team, thank you. You are always amazing. You've already sent in gorgeous finished samples. The All and Create team are so, so good. I mean, all the work is amazing. Look, Janet's told us what stamp she's used. Thanks, Janet. Um, I'll show you a couple more. Have a little look at these. See, it's so, so pretty. The florals are beautiful. I love that she has florals, but then you've got so many other elements. You know, really gorgeous. That's gorgeous, isn't it? I think that background... Oh, no, it's one of the stencils. In fact, that's a butterfly stencil, I think. Really pretty. Look at the clock. I absolutely adore that. And this one, um, good, good things um, take time, which works perfectly. Of course, one more and then. Okay, if you do want to get hold of this, really, really busy, brand new from Papasha, only 34.97, and you've got a flexi. If you want to make the most out of this, your first payment, £17.49. pence. Obviously, just add into your gorgeous collection from Alan Cray and from the very talents of Papasha. And that is 966822. Now, uh, we've got loads on the website, but we've also got happy hours. And remember, happy hours do refresh on Sunday, don't they? Do they? Is it Sunday? Oh, yeah, it's seven day servers. <laughs> Tell you what. Oh, my brain. Yeah, that, that's seven day servers. Ignore everything I say. <laughs> oh, do you know, sometimes when you just want to take yourself off and sit in a little dark room for about a week, that. <laughs> Happy hours. Happy hours are only for the hour. Yes, I knew that. The, the, it's in the title, kid. Um, now, these are a happy hour. Whoa, are you saving a tenner? Okay, now, with this, you are getting two massive stamps. Let me just hold these up for you. Because, have a little look, see at that. You are getting both these huge stamps for $14.99. That is incredible. Essentially, you get one of them almost for free. I mean, you just paid a fiver for one of them. That is amazing. That's your first happy hour deal uh, from the wonderful Tracy. Absolutely adore them. 071069, it is busy. No wonder. Have you, look at the next one. Okay, 071069, look at the next one. I mean, this is sensational as well. I love this stack. You're saving nine pounds. Let me hold this one up for you. Right. If you haven't got this, for fourteen ninety nine, 
Look at that stamp. This is absolutely glorious. Really nice to cut out. This is beautiful. The background stamps are beautiful on this. Um, for $14.99, you have to check your baskets out. Right, that deal is only for this hour. Um, it's flying. Only for this hour or until stocks last. And it is. Both of those happy hours are seriously busy. 055758. Um, a stunning check the website now on the website we have got for you um the release that um that our abs had last um i can't remember when it were it were only a few days ago to be fair um but pasha's other stamps which are just glorious i mean you've so many options today you've so many beautiful beautiful things to choose from um all you need to do is have a little perusal on the website have a see what we've got obviously um, the one day special is absolutely flying. How much has gone already, Katie? Right, 30% of the stock has gone. You need to be checking out your baskets. If you don't check your baskets out, you might miss out. Please check your baskets out, everybody. Um, yeah, very, very busy today, and I am not surprised at all. If you have any questions, email in. We always love hearing from you, studio at chanda.com. Um, if you want to show us what you've been creating with some all and create, I would love to be very nosy. So do email them with pictures. Um, now then, shall we crack on and do some stamping? What I thought I'd do, because I haven't done it in ages, I haven't worked on one of my um, my art journals in such a long time, so I thought, you know what, that's what we're going to do today. So I've got my little art journal. This is one where I've got loads of things that I haven't finished. I mean, look at state. I don't think I've got one finished piece apart from that one, which is an all and create, so that's quite good. So I've got one finished piece in there. That one I fell out with, so I need to work on it. That's another one. But I'm going to start on a plain page. So... Um, them happy hours absolutely flying please 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 do not miss out on those I'm going to do a relatively quick page because um, well because I think I need to get on with it because um, it's very busy so what I'm going to do I'm going to take um, some of my, my beautiful magicals I'll actually take the other one to be fair because I want different colours I'll take that one because I've already coloured my flowers in um, Lily Stamp Gang Magical so I'm going to be um, be popping those on and then, so just turn those round, and I'm going to do some inking as well. Okay, so getting those ready, let's get my, my thingy, get a block as well. Boom. Okay, sorted. So what I'm going to do first of all is actually get some uh, colour down on my page. Now, I have already, I've, I've already been very good. I've been sat at home uh, prepping, cutting things out, colouring and prepping. Now, this is what I love about Look, oh, before, if I did nothing but just put these images on a piece of paper, how gorgeous does that look? And the no lovely thing is, look, if you literally just took the images and layered them, I mean, have a look at that, how beautiful they look just layered those images that you've got in there you don't need to do anything that's it job done that's my demo <laughs> boom <laughs> but wouldn't that be it's so easy to create something absolutely sensational with these stamps so easy but we'll do a little bit more on the background other than just that um but i will be just using i think i'll just use the one day special in this one apart from all the the color obviously okay Right, it's, it's flying, a third of the stock has gone. Um, gosh, uh, thank you, everybody. I know, as ever, I know the team, especially our lovely Papasha, will be thrilled, um, as ever. Because, let's face it, it's so nice when you love um, love the work that they've done. Okay, so I'm just taking the, the magicals. Do you know what I want to do? And I've said this before, I want to try and always make, um, use the stuff that I've had on my other shows just to show how everything works together. So taking those, because we had these on just the other day, they might still be on the website. Do have a little look, see. There we go, a little bit of colour. And just pop the lids on there before I get my spritzer so I don't create a mess. And then just add in my spritzer and that'll create that, that beautiful blast of colour. Boom. Like that. So, we've got that, which I really, really like. Love that colour. Now, what I'm going to do, while this is still wet, I want to start working on the background. So, I'm going to take that beautiful number stamp. 
I remember the number stamp we have got this is the baby numbers we've got the bigger numbers as well on the show we've even got the mirrored so you've got the bold and you've got the mirrored the mirrored is perfect for your um, gel plate and I will be having a go with that so do check those out as well love them they're really cool stamps so what I'm gonna do I'm just going to while the ink is wet I'm stamping with distress oxide and I'm doing that because I want it to already meld into it I don't want it to be a, can you see it starts breaking up some of them will be perfect some of them will, will stay where they are but the rest will start to move that puddle I am gonna just I don't want it puddled so I'll pull that up a little bit don't be puddled there that's lovely so you've started getting that beautiful movement and we'll take this one good grief it is very 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 busy I'm really happy thank you folks and I, we've not even done anything. Eee, I wanted to wipe that on my pinny and I can. Forgot I had my pinny on it's ace when I wore a pinny. Right, so let's just, so picking this up now and just filling in. So, because obviously with the, the stamps, you don't have to use the full thing, <coughs> which we always love. Right, loving that. Happy with that. Thank you. <clears throat> I do apologise, I've got a croaky throat as well today, haven't I? I've got my water, I've got coffee, I'm on it. Now, the background one that I want is, where is it, that one? I love this. Um, ah, Anne. Now, Anne was in the antique business and they call wall clocks. Perfect, thank you, Anne. So that is your wall clock. See, what I love about this, look these images just just that on its own looks well cool doesn't it i love this you can literally take any background and make it look good with these seriously it is one of those that oh you can do so much with it now that one i'm going to take that just changing my ink slightly i'm keeping with the blue oh am i doing it upside down we'll find out in a minute ah no i'm not okay and I'll just start stamping this as well. Now, I love it because, again, it's just little bits that I'm getting. So I'm just inking up little bits. And, of course, I'm stamping into the wet ink to get movement, which I, I love. I really like that. And I'll pop some at the top there. So I've got it coming down here. That bit looks like it's just ended. So let's pop a little bit of ink there as well beautiful happy with that really like that stamp it's just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous right i'll give this a blast whilst i'm giving this a blast dry it's oh now this happy hour deal how much 70 right 70 percent of the stock has gone you have to check your baskets out with that it is only available for this hour at that deal or until stocks last 70 percent of the stock has gone that is not going to last. 071069 is your item number. Saving a huge £10 on that one. £14.99 is your price. Boom. Okay. And that has nearly dried. And the bits that haven't dried, I'll just get a bit of tissue and take that off like so. I was going to stencil, but I, am, I forgot to get my stencils out, which is a bit silly, isn't it, now? So I won't be stenciling. Right, I like that already. I think it's gorgeous. So what we'll do is, um, let's have a little look-see. I want to bring these in, but what I did, I've got, you know um, when you get ribbon and you get the card on the side, end of the ribbon? I thought I didn't want to waste it. I quite like that. So I've, sta I've um, gessoed that because I just thought that would be quite cool on here. So I bobbed a little bit of gesso on there. And then what I'm going to do is take the flowers and I'm going to stamp on this. Now, because it's an uneven surface, I'm going to get my uh, stamping platform. I've been using Paula's stamping platform today and Paula's got really, really good um, magnets. I have magnet envy which is a really weird thing to have envy about. Right, <laughs> magnet envy, tell ya. Oh, she has. She's got, oh, she's got a fine magnet, is that, Paula? <laughs> I mean, you know, you know when you, you know when life could be a bit more entertaining when the, you, what you're getting out, you're like jealous about is someone's magnet, don't you? It's like, I think I need to start getting out more. The magnet, 
for goodness sake. And she did say, don't don't lose the magnet. <laughs> so she knew it was good. One. Right, okay. So I've popped my magnets down, popped the flowers, so it's just going to go over the top. And I thought this would be really pretty because that's my background and then these can be um, in, in colour. So you'll get that, that variation. I'm going to stamp in stays on because this is my juicy ink pad at the moment. The other ones all need re-inking. There we go. And stamping that on there. Oh, there go my magnets. Boom! There. Doesn't that look pretty? Um, and it's busy around. People are joining us from around the world. I love that when that happens. It's very exciting. An international audience. Thank you ever so much. And again, if you have any questions, like, Leonie, what are you saying, dear? Or if you um, have been creating with All and Create, we would love to see what you have actually made because we're very nosy. I'm going to use that one again because I adore it. And I'm going to pop that there. And again, just put my magnets like this. Better remember to take that off or else. Okay. And I'll pop it there. I won't put it right next to it. Let's, oh, my magnets. Pop it there. <coughs> Stop. Good, you're having a laugh. Okay, the one day special, 40% of the stock has gone within 20 minutes. It's so busy. Um, yeah, I'm not surprised. It's beautiful. And it goes so well with the um, the one that you might have bought the other day. Because that was, that again, absolutely beautiful. Boom, there you go. Happy with that. See, that looks really interesting. Now, I thought I'd want that black and white. I might put a bit of colour on it. But mainly black and white because then the it'll sit on the background nicely. And also the flowers will sit on it really nicely. So that's going to go like that. That's going to go like that, you see. And then I'm going to put my flowers around it. What I am going to do is get some detail in the background, however. So... Let's just, I want some of the writing in the background. So what I'm going to take is just building this up like this. And it's a lovely little stamp. That's one of the, the gorgeous little sentiment stamps. So I'll use that one, first of all. So I've got my positioning, know where that one's going to sit. And then, there you go. Hey, bud. Hey, bud, how's it going? <laughs> like that. I'll get my other one, there it is. And with this now, I'm just adding a little bit of detail. So again, I, you know, if you've watched me before, you know I like doing this, put it upside down. The nice thing is, because I've only done a little bit, you can't tell, because I've got a Z. That's lucky, isn't it? I did it upside down, but it was a Z. That, now, that never happens, does it? So I, this must be a good day. <clears throat> if I you do that, normally it's it's butter side down, isn't it? Okay, popping that there as well. See, I like all this teeny tiny little writing, and you can read it as well. That's what makes it really special. So I'm just picking up tiny elements off the stamp and just having it coming down like this, and then we'll just have a little bit of that going up here, like yonder. So we've got that going on there. Boom, like that. Okay, now let's have a look. Still needs a bit up here, doesn't it? So what I am going to do up there, let's take one of the other stamps. Which one shall I use? I love that one. They're all rather beautiful. But I do like, again, it's all the numbers and the, the little extra elements that you're getting. Oh, I love that. So popping that, coming down, perfect. So that one is there. I might, do I want any other bits? Let's have another little bit there. It's perfect, perfect. Um, we've got a question from Angie. Oh, the sprinkle stuff needs it in my life. Um, the sprinkle stuff is called Magical. Um, yeah, it is rather beautiful, is this? We had this on... Um, in fact, it was 7 day, uh, not a, oh goodness knows, I don't, it was 7 a.m., that's what it were. Um, Lindy's Magicals. Now, Lindy's uh, gang, we had them on just the other week, so have a look at the website. We might have some left. We had the sprinkles, and they have got mica in. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a shine to that. 
So it has got, boom. So it has got the mica in there as well, which is just gorgeous. And there's some beautiful colors. The one I'm using, if it is on the website, because I'm not 100% sure, um, this one is Drop, Drop Dead Diva. Man, that was marvelous, so thank you. But yeah, and I love it because everything matches. So, happy with that now. I'm nearly, I've actually nearly finished a demo. Can you believe that? <laughs> this feels quite weird, doesn't it? It's like, me you, nearly finished demo. Taking a tiny, tiny bit out and just getting a tiny bit of water because all I want to do is just edge this, same colour as my background, you see, so it'll match. And also then I'll get um, a little bit of the, the spring... Um, the colour coming through, uh, the the mica as well. So get a little bit of that beautiful sheen and just let it fade out a bit so you haven't got a hard edge. Really like that. I'm going to try and do more recycling as well. There we go. Beautiful. Really, really like that. Um, in the centre, I want the centre darker, absolutely darker in the set. So what I want is my black ink pad for that one, because I really want the centre quite intense. So just getting my sponge and just going like this round the centre. And what I would like with this, actually, I had some crackle glaze on the other day. That'd be lovely, that um, crackled. I mean, I'm not going to have a chance to do that, but it would look absolutely stunning. Um, so Anne said, is it better to do the background first and then stamp on? Anne, it is up to you. Uh, there's so many different ways of doing it. I wanted to do that because if I saw... So, if I just stamped, first of all, with a Distress Oxide and then sprinkled, so if I'd have done this so, sorry, let me get my words out. If I had a stamp first, then sprinkled and spritzed, because you spritz thin water quite um, randomly, that will have moved. The, the thing is, because I um, because I spritzed first, then when I stamp into it, I can see where the dry patches are. So it allows me to know what's going to move, but also so I am going to still see some of that stamp. So that's why I did it that way. Um, you can definitely, I mean, if I had a stamp with stays on first, and then put the sprinkles the stays on wouldn't have moved so it just depends what ink you're using and what kind of effect you want i mean it would look beautiful i might even do it for you on in the next one i might stamp first and then sprinkle over top of it so you can see the difference because it does it's nice to, to have a bit of a play with that to be honest um oh now i've stamped that upside down i'm not don't matter we'll do it that way okay happy with that so let's glue that on and now it's just layering. Layering and maybe a little bit of drop shadowing. And uh-oh. And a little bit of detail. Too much glue, she said. A little bit too much glue. Get rid of some of that. There we go. So that one is going to go like this. Boom. That's there. And then look at the flowers. And then all I'm going to do is have these just beautiful i love these just have these coming up now i'm gonna put some on flat i'm just gonna have that on flat like this and then i'm gonna have that on flat as well but i am gonna bring in a tiny bit of 3d form now it is in my my journal however i have got sorry i'm gonna disappear from you i have got some 3d form that's really quite skinny and this is lovely for card making um, it's the art fix stuff um, art fix air fix stuff and it's lovely because it's not too it'll give me a little bit of dimension but it won't be too much so for my journal that's absolutely perfect because obviously mind you art journals you can have them as bulky as you want can't you but there we go but it is quite nice to have it with a slight dimension, but not too much. I, I know I'm doing this, you know, put your 3D form on first. It's me just being my normal self and not really thinking about it. And then this, I'll put a little bit there and a little bit there. Like this. So I'm going to pop a little bit on there 
and a little bit on there. I won't faff and do more. And then what you do with this, because it needs more shadow, it needs a little bit more depth. So I've got that, beautiful. The tiny little bits, because they are tiny and delicate, what I'll do with those is put glue on those. So you've got a little bit of depth in the centre, but those will be glued down so I won't catch them when I'm looking through my book because you don't want them to, to rip. And then, and that one I can save for another, which is, doesn't it look pretty? It's just pretty. I just adore it, adore it. So, for a little bit of dimension, taking my, uh, my Distress Ink and just getting my, where's my water brush? That's easier. So get my water brush and then just taking this and getting a little bit of dimension around there. I probably won't do it all, but you'll be able to see, especially if I go around here, see as soon as you add this, just going round, and especially you need it in the centre. And as soon as you add that, there. Can you see it adds that, that, there you go. See, it adds more dimension and you can just fade it out with your water. But you can do that with the flowers as well. So you just go around the flowers like this. And then again, just fade it out a bit. And as you fade it out a bit, it just comes natural. It looks more natural. I'm not going to do the whole thing for time, but I do that. And then let's have some splatters, shall we? Yay! Because it's all and create and all and create show won't be an all and create show without some splatters. So I'm gonna go. Where's my white? I've got. Um, where's my wife? <laughs> Paula's at home <laughs> cooking tea. She's not. She's not really. Don't know what she's doing. Right. Okay. <laughs> I'll just get some white. What? Whiten it down a little bit, not too much, and then we can do a few cheeky splatters on here. And I'm happy with that. I mean, I could do lots of lots of faffing with this one. This is a page where you could do loads of little marks and things. You know, like I want to now start. Oh, that's not very bright, is it? I want it a bit brighter than that. But you could start doing loads of little marks. With splashes, I'm going to pick a different a different paint because that's not white enough. Shall I have a rummage? Yeah, so I'll let I'll let you do your thing and I'll have a rummage. Now, um oh see, I like doing that as well. Oh here we go. I'm gonna start playing now. I won't play. Um if you want that, you have to check your baskets out. I'm really chuffed with that actually. I'll twiddle with it. I'm gonna have a twiddle, but I'm happy with it as it is. Um oh now viewers images, that is amazing. Look at that. Joanne, that's well cool. That's the happy hour uh, stamp as well. Amazing, Joanne. That is some um, some cutting out is that as well. Stunning. Uh, we've then got from Gina. Oh, that's pretty, Gina. Thank you. Absolutely beautiful. So that's Gina. We've got another one from Gina as well. Oh, Gina! They were the ones that I had on the other week. Oh, I love that. Aren't they cool? Gina, thank you. That's well ace. Uh, next one is Shelly. Let's have a look at Shelly's. Oh, Shelly! Now then, that is the stamps that I've got on today's show. The beautiful Pecan. Um, at the, or Pelican. Or uh, Toucan! Pecan. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I tell you. Oh, look. <laughs> Look at that beak and that big beak. <laughs> Look at the beak. <laughs> Look at the beak and on that. <laughs> um, that is abs. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely gorgeous. Keep your, keep, keep your pictures coming in, please, and marvellous. I'll land over to you, love. <laughs> oh, 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 all her heart. Who was that photo by? From Shelley, poor old Shelley put her heart and soul in that, and more or less, we, just, we didn't even look at it. We were just looking at a peak and <laughs> the little peak on the wheel. <laughs> anyway, beautiful Shelley, my love, absolutely gorgeous. What it was? Father's Day. That must be for tomorrow. Father's Day tomorrow. That'd be yeah, that'd be lovely. It is, Father's isn't Day. It? 
tomorrow, just saying, and I'm here all day. Anyway, I'm not bitter in the sun. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, hey, my word. Day day. Every day is Father's Day, my ass. This is correct, but we don't get presents. Uh, so, uh, half the stock has already gone here now. Half the stock, 50%, in case you don't know what half the stock is, 50% uh, of the stock has now gone. This launched 34 minutes ago, and we are 50% of the all and create stock of your one day special, a 24 hour deal. And 50% has gone in the launch hour. We are international this evening. Yes, we are across the globe. People in America, Europe, even Swansea are watching us this evening as well. Good evening to all of you. And I can't, you can't grumble, can you? £17.49. Look at what you are getting. Now, once again, when you look at them, the minute you see them, you think All and Create straight away. They've got that trademark of All and Create on there already. So you've got those beautiful clocks, but it's not just the clock of the stamp that you're getting. You're getting the details of the background as well, the numbers, the paint splatters that you're getting in there. And then when you start colouring up, I've changed the front so you can see them in the colourways as well, which are absolutely beautiful. They really, really are. Look at the detail that you are getting in there. That beautiful hour glass the sand you can see the sand trickling through and with the flowers one as well it's absolutely stunning the detail uh, the blooming that you're getting in there uh, once again the numbers and one th these numbers look like you've gone in with a fine line pen and you've just put them in on yourself it doesn't look like a stamp at all but once again it is it's a crisp stamp but then remember that what you're currently seeing at the moment how stunning is that? Because then if I put this one in, oh, wrong way, Adam. Sorry, Jim. Uh, look how different they are, but they're exactly the same stamp. 966822 is your item number for these as well. £34.97. Uh, there are some beautiful, beautiful samples that we've got here as well. I'm absolutely loving this. This is like being stamped and then fussy cut out. That's what I like about these as well. They're easy to cut out. Even though they look so detailed and so delicate, they are so easy to cut out. Um, as you can see, this has been uh, raised up on there, so that's been cut out. And then also the clock's been cut out as well. But once again, you still get the detail of the clock in there. The flowers, even the flowers, you can cut out as well. <laughs> Which way does it go? Uh, even the flowers you can cut out, but then just using your backgrounds and the stamps as well that we've also got on there. <laughs> I'll get these the right way around soon. Uh, let's do the clock. I know which way that one goes. But look at that. Using the stencils that you may already have from All and Create already and just popping that clock on the front, you have a beautiful piece uh, for your journal. That is frameable. You could quite easily pop that in a frame and hang it on the wall straight away. Uh, then you can go even uh, you can go even bigger if you wanted to as well with your stencils of your butterflies or your moss that you've got in there. Uh, Seventeen pounds forty nine pence is what we're looking at here. Nine six six eight two two is your item number. Now you only have twenty more minutes to get those happy hours that we were talking about at the top of the show as well. Now. The Nature Elements has now gone limited stock. Once again, I've turned them around so you can see the size of the stamps that you are getting here. Uh, they're A4, A4 stamps. Both of these for £14.99. Uh, you saw some beautiful Finnish uh, cards uh, that viewers sent in. People, just you watching now, you saw them. They, this is what you can create. They, you can create so much when you get these home. Uh, that's, that was it there. Look, look at that, Jim. Fingers on the pulse. Uh, for that... That is from you. That is, you have created these. This is not what we've worked in the studio. This is not from the design team of All and Create. These are from you at home. And then you've also got that beautiful, sort of like butterfly, but it's not just a butterfly. You've got sort of the ink pen in the middle. You've got the old fashioned quilt that's in there. So it really ties it all into that art form as well. It's going to go. It's super limited stock. 071069 is your item number. I don't think it's going to last the hour at all. Check out your baskets if you've got that in your basket at the moment um, and you definitely want it. I'd start checking out now if I was you. We're another happy hour that we've also got on the show as well. Beautiful flowers. 50% of the next one has already gone as well. And you've only got 20 more minutes before the price will go back up to £23.99. At the moment, it's £14.99. 
99 pence. You're saving nine pounds on this. 055758 is your item number for a super large set of stamps that you are getting here as well. Just look at that. The nature has now sold out. Nature sold out. That was a happy hour. Well done if you managed to get your hands on that one as well. Uh, now, the next product I'm about to show you, I've just been told in my head, it's the best stamp set that our producer has ever seen in her life. It's unicorns in a rock band. Oh, the Rocking Corns. What a band name. Uh, this is one of our seven day savers that we've got on the show as well. So you've got a uh, guitar unicorn, you've got lead singer, you've got a drummer in there as well. Um, back up little sing. Oh, you could have the Supremes out of that if you wanted to. If you and then you've also got the little bodies and the schools as well. So you've got all those different bodies in different positions at the bottom of the one on the right. Then you've got all the little schools that you can add on or add your own little heads if you wanted to as well. The price will go back up tomorrow at 8 o'clock when our seven day savers finish to £23.98. Uh, if you want the unicorns, £14.98, you are getting both of these unicorns and your little school babies as well, I think I would call them. Uh, absolutely stunning is what they are. Uh, get them, just get them now. Katie's like favourite, favourite ever is the unicorns and I love the little school babies. Oh my, I adore those stamps because you can swap and I, it's funny when I'm doing the little people, you know, when I, the, the little girls that we do, when I've been doing them, I've been on about cutting the reds off and swapping the reds. The school one already got a bit of an obsession. I'm now chopping heads off and putting them on different bodies. Uh, okay, next. Uh, shall I show you what I did finish? That's how I finished it. So I literally just put some ink splat, um, some yellow splats on. I love that. And hasn't it? Oh, and it turned out nice. <laughs> oh, turned out nice again, hasn't it? Oh, it's like a day at Blackpool. <laughs> I always get more thingy when I'm at you. Like more, oh. More <laughs> is that what you're trying to say? Sports it is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say northern, but maybe it's... Oh, well. Oh, well, eh? <laughs> oh, well. Like um, George Formby uh, rock band. <laughs> like George Formby. Um, OK, so <laughs> let's have a little think what I'm doing. So I wanted to create a tag. It's a, a mud of tag um, that I've already put um, gesso on. Um, but I am going to put it on my stamping platform because I want it to stamp beautifully. So I'm going to pop it on here. I'm not bothered if this... I don't, I don't actually really want the typewriter, truth be known. I kind of just want the writing, and it's this writing that makes me giggle. It's always possible to overcome a tough situation through out-of-the-box thinking and not give... A two hoots. A two hoots. Two toucans. <laughs> two peacons. Two could have sworn a beacon for a bird for a little moment. Oh, gosh. Hey. Oh, look at that. There's a beacon flying over the house. <laughs> I think we got beacons nesting. Right, OK. So what I'm doing, stamping again in stays on because I want it to do just that. And I'm just aiming like that. Beautiful. Like that already. So that's that bit. And then... Let's take this off because I want that bit on the bottom. And what I'm going to do, because obviously I'm putting that back over there, so I'm going to put my packaging for that one on there. So I'm not going to mess it up there. Okay. Smashing. So let's pop that on there like this and stamp that. I like this stamping platform. We do have this on um, wherever I'm working. A chander. <laughs> My bra I'm not. I am. I am. My brain isn't very good. It's a. You might have already guessed this. I'm a little bit. Yeah, I'm a little bit thick at the minute. It's a bit. It's not quite on fire. <laughs> uh, um, and it is only just. You know, it's been busy, hasn't it? So yes, you just have to excuse me. But I don't. I've no idea what I was going to say before I started babbling on either. It doesn't matter, does it? It just doesn't matter, pecans. <laughs> um, OK, so happy with that. Again, this is why I like these stamps. I think that already looks cool. You know, they, that's a beautiful thing, isn't it? It's like, yeah, like it already. 
smashing and I think that when you play with things like this to be able to create so many things easily quickly that you love boom um okay I'm gonna bring a stencil in but I have to turn me back on you oh no I don't I already got it I already got my inks out <gasps> oh that makes a change I'm actually ahead of myself so um I'm gonna ink over this but I want again I want an ink that's gonna stay so I'm gonna go for a dye ink which isn't in this box, which is my other one. Oh, I thought I were doing so well, folks. Let, yeah, I have got many boxes of... Um, oh, shall we go grey? No, I want to go blue. Many boxes of inks, many gorgeous, gorgeous inks. So I will have to turn my back because I can't quite remember which box it's in. Uh, yeah, we can see the images again. Thank you for emailing in. You always give me a, a reason and an excuse to be able to snip away. Um, they're beautiful images. Please, if you've been creating, we honestly, I genuinely love seeing what you've been doing. It's really inspirational and obviously it's lovely um, for, for the designers, all the different designers for All and Create. I know they love seeing what you've been doing as well so keep those coming in and thank you i love that with the what is it toucan, toucan. <laughs> with the toucan thank you so much uh, studio at achanda.com remember when you email studio at achanda.com it is to the whole gang so if you are emailing in we all get to read those emails so just bear that in mind okay <laughs> just bear that in mind um Emails you don't want us to customer services. <laughs> okay, look, so stenciling <laughs> over like so. And I'm using permanent because I'm going to work over the top of this. It's funny, I have an idea, but I'm not sure if it will work. So you're on the journey with me yet again. So popping that on like this now i think obviously this is an all and create stencil i know we've got some stencils on the show um but every all the stencils work so well so just have a little look um this one is this the one is this the smaller one or the bigger one that we've got on the show right it's the a4 one so i've got the baby one and for some reason i don't know where i've put my big one um but i've got the baby one if you want the a4 of this so it's slightly bigger that uh, we have got that on the show um there, i really love these are tribal lines because there's so many elements in this absolutely adore this stencil it's one of my favorites um so much going on there obviously a4 even i mean it, it's got so much detail but it's bigger as well 9.99 that's all you're paying for that okay so i've got my layers i already know that this is going to be going on the top okay so I already know that's going to go on the top but what I'm going to do is put some layers on first of all so I've got my um, wonderful ice and, and it, again what I was saying before about trying to mix products because I think it's important you know I do sell a lot of different products for lots of different companies it's really nice to show you how everything mixes and matches together you know because obviously can I get yes I can get the lid off because obviously you know we we all collect these products it's really important not to put them to the back of our cupboard and forget they exist so I thought yeah I'm definitely going to start um making sure I'm mixing those beautiful products and I love this because I know I'm going to see underneath this oh I love it already and it's just so cool so if you've got these at home honestly I mean the the the, the Bipasha st stuff is going to go so well with things like this I mean look at this and these are sets of course yep that just pops doesn't it look at that colour it's one of these as well. I always wonder if you can see it as well as I can because sometimes you don't get the, the colour quite as well as I do because from where I'm looking, that looks well cool. Okay. There. I love it. And done. I'm not aiming for even. You know, you, you want to have it all um, choppy and, and, you know, and fabulous. So that's... Um, that's I think ice so I'm not sure if we have got that on the website we had it a few weeks ago um, I know that it was ridiculously busy but look how it goes with all and create stamps of course it's gonna go with them everything everything blends together so well um, 
but I knew, I thought, yeah, they'll really, really work. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of black because I do get a bit carried away with the black. The black is fabulous because it gives you, um, it gives you a bit of intensity. So they are on the website, are they? Oh, they're on the website so have a look on there and um, these are the ones from Seth of course do check that out on achanda.com there they are you've got loads of different colors the one I've used is um, I've used the black I've used Seth's favorite which is baby poo <laughs> I calls it that so I'm allowed to say it but it is uh, the beige and then I've used um, blue ocean so do check the website out for those absolutely stunning and then do you know what all I want to do with this now I'm really this is such a quick tag to be honest because it's one of those that um, you could create layers and layers and layers and layers because of time what time oh then again shall I do another layer about five minutes I could possibly do another layer hold on I'll just I'll dry it first because then I can go over the top of it quickly okay and I can see it from the side Drying. Now, you want their special flying. 60% of the stock has gone. If you want it, you know what to do, but you do need to be quick. I'm going to go back in with the stencil, so of course you can get that Air Force stencil. You need to be careful working on this with a stencil if it's still sticky, because um, this will stick to it. So you do need to be careful. What's she owing up? Oh, picture! That is well coach. Can we show it? Oh, sorry, sorry, Jimmy. I like Jimmy. Give him a time. Give him a chance, girl. Give him chance. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna stencil this on a little bit. So just to frame it. So just taking this. And again, your gorgeous stencil. We've got the A4 on the show. Check out the um, Shop By brand because you'll probably find the smaller one as well. So do have a look at that. But let's have a see. Oops, a daisy. So just getting a little bit of detail. Let me take that off. Look how cool that looks. Gorgeous, gorgeous layer. Absolutely adore that. Um, right, well, I clean my stencil. Shall we see the dog? Look at this. Oh! Daisy! Daisy is very clever. Daisy's been crafting. Um, oh, that is so cute. Hi, Daisy. And um, she's made this beautiful card. <laughs> Fabulous. Um, who's a mum? Oh, Amanda's a mum. Um, Amanda, thank you very much. We're presuming Amanda's helped Daisy uh, create that lovely concertina card. And that's using those wonderful characters that we had on the other week, which I absolutely adore. I think that's the lovely thing, isn't it, about All and Create. There's so many different designers, but they're all so strong. Thank you, Amanda, especially for sharing a picture of lovely little Daisy as well. We do like that a lot. Okay, so <clears throat> what I'm going to do, I'm really happy with that. I'll go in afterwards when it is dry and darken the edges because I want that to have more impact. But then you're going to go in with the gorgeous typewriter. Already cut this out, so I'm going to pop that in and that's going to be sat on there as so. Because it's going to be raised, I want a little bit of heavy body gel for that one. So I've got my, uh, my Pentite heavy body gel and I'll just stick this on my finger. So I'll stick this on here, like this. And then what I want to do so I want that uh, paper, but I want to cut that out again. So that is really, or at least to be creative. And of course with this, I'm going to do that thing afterwards. I'll drop shadow it so you've got that real impact. But then the creative, I really want that to stand out. So all I'm going to do, and this is actually going to be finishing it, which is amazing. So... Just taking the stamp again. And because I only want one word, I'm not going to stamp the whole thing. All I'm going to do is take a scrap piece of card. And this is when it's really handy to have a scrap, um, a bag of scraps. And I'm just going to ink where it says create, be creative. So just popping that there like so. And then just stick that on there. Um, so I've got my be creative 
and then I might, shall I, I might have all of it rather than just the creative. Let's have all of it. So just chopping that out as such. And then when it's dry, I'll do the rest of the shading. But I'm going to let it dry. Oops. Oof, gosh, I couldn't even see it. <laughs> Minute, hey, two cards finished. Happy days, popping that there like so, and then bring that back in again. And let's have this really pretty blue because I want it to stand out. So bring that blue in right there. There we go. And that's nice. I like that. Oh, and let's have the B as well. Oh, 30 seconds. Come on, kid. Come on. Right. So. So just take that off there. Like that. So that can go there. So I'll have that as a, a B. And then let's have our creative. I would have 3D'd it, but time. Happy days. Finished. Okay, check your baskets out, folks. I'll be back with you at 8 o'clock. Thank you. Now it is happy hour deal, some bargains for you. We've then got me again with the All and Create One Day Special and then Saturday night deal. We'll stay tuned to the Hachanda. Hey Adam, what are you going to say? Well, look at me in Leone's warehouse. Look at this over here. Uh, well, oh, I've got to read this again. Here we go. Uh, for all of our wonderful viewers in the USA, yes, that is you. You I'm talking to now. If you're not in the USA, go make a cup of tea. Uh, we have a special message for you. As you know, due to the Corona-19 uh, pandemic, basically, we couldn't send anything to you. There were no flight seats. We tried EasyJet. We tried Ryanair. Not, not a seat could be found. I wanted to go to the Costa del Sol, but I couldn't get a seat either. So, guess what? We've now found seats. But, slight problem is the sheer fact every item now costs £12.95 per item. So, we've come up with a little plan. We sat around a table, become a Freedom member, they said. What do I get? A newsletter, a little badge, um, a discount, and you're in it for a month, and then it's a rolling on thing. Which means... All your postage and packaging is wrapped up in a nice little bow among that. It all makes sense. Check the website for full details. £19.99. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured.